வணக்கம் வணக்கம் வெரி குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஆல் மை டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் வெல்கம் பேக் அகெயின் டு யோ அன் அகாடமி நீட் இங்கிலீஷ் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் யோ பாபா எச்எஸ்பி ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் சுவாகதம் அண்ட் விஷ் யூ அ வெரி வெரி ஹாப்பி நியூ இயர் on this new year i pray to almighty god hey god bless all these students with all happiness and prosperity along with the best rank in the coming exam in this year 2024 so my dear students the baba is here and i want to see in the chat section that your baba always true by heart the baba is audible as well as visible yes my dear students i want to see in the chat section the baba is here my dear students everyone let me check it out that are you able to hear me are you able to see me let me see in the chat section how is the josh my dear students i want to see the josh in the chat section yes my dear students today we are going to deal with the entire p block according to the new syllabus i will let you know each and everything and not only i am going to teach this awesome amazing chapter i will try put each and everything of this chapter in your blood and in that way fantastic way so that no need of further revision my dear students the very very amazing chapter and too much chaos too much chaos you can see about this chapter what to study what not to study so all these things yeah both class 11th and class 12th see 12th and 11th my dear students i will start with 12th and then i will let you know 11th the whole p block so first of all show me thumbs up or hearts blue hearts green hearts whatever the hearts you want to see if everyone can you hear me can you see me your baba is completely audible as well as visible if yes show me the blue or green heart my dear students i want to see in the chat section that's really awesome that's really fantastic i can see that everyone is able to hear me able to see me that's really something really very fantastic my dear students that's really awesome 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 my dear wow that's great that's great now second thing my dear students i want to know one thing that what do you want you want to understand from the zero level if you want to understand this p block from the zero level and if you want to keep it in your memory the two things are required one thing 70 to 80% we will go with the brain 20 to 25% we need the cramming part are you ready for this if you're ready for both of these two things then i want to see some fire in the chat section i want to see some fire in the chat section if you're ready for both the two things my dear students now zero to hero yeah everyone yeah pdf i will provide the pdf my dear students i can see avinash srivastava number of kids are there i can see fire yeah that's really fantastic now i will teach this p block in such a way that you don't know anything means from zero to the first rank starting from zero level reaching up to the first strength my dear students now whatever i am going to teach you that really will hold a hell lot of weightage each and every question will be framed from this part whatever the time i am going to teach you have to sit 
with good brain, that is active brain, you are sitting in front of me, not only thinking like that, I will complete it later on, I will do the revision, no my dear students, no further revision, whatever you are going to do, you have to do it right now, you have to keep each and everything in your brain right now, are you ready for that? I will take some time, it will require some time, it will require some patience, are you ready to show your patience so that we can understand each and everything with different angles? Are you ready for that? If yes, I want to see the red hearts. Red hearts, then I'm going to start. This is for both. If you are, if you are going to give your neat examination, then also important. If you're appearing for J examination, than also equally good because my dear students in organic chemistry is common to both whether you are aspirant of NEET or you are going to appear for J exam ready wow that's really awesome I can see my voice is directly going to you we are now connected I can see in the chat section that yes we are connected and this P block is going to be the rank decider. The rank will be decided from the P block only my dear students. Before starting this, let me tell you kids, this is your Baba HSP. If you are new to this channel, Harindra Singh Parhyar, Baba HSP. Teaching for the last 24 years, given number of ranks, first, second, third, like that, AIMS or IIT. I did my MTech in 2004. 1999, I'm the MSc top gold medalist. Gold medalist, then GRF, GATE, and then MTech. My dear friends, I will give you tricks, in-depth knowledge, explanation of each and everything, whatever the tables given in your NCRT. It's, I want to see likes, everyone smash the like button and then I'm going to start and if you're new to this channel, subscribe this channel. Wow, thank you Kritika, thank you Sneha, thank you Manu, Radhe Radhe and once again, let's start the beginning, the first day first show of this new year okay chaitanya wow welcome chaitanya dps already subscribed okay so kids this is your p block first i will start with 12th because number of students they will appear for their board exam also so i am going to start with 12th are you ready if I talk about 12, that means nitrogen family. See kids, see everyone. If I talk about P block, then I will put cross over here. Why I have put added cross over there, kids? This is the first period. No element. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. If you are able to understand this thing, First period, second period, third period, try to put in your brain that boron is placed over here. Boron is in this. If I write boron and if the examiner is asking what is the electronic configuration of boron, so you should know that here is helium and helium's electronic configuration. See, in the P block, helium is there. Its electronic configuration is 1s2. This is the exceptional case. Helium is being exceptional case because in helium, the last electron is coming to the S subshell, but it belongs to P block. That is the exceptional case. Remember that. Now, helium, lithium is over here, beryllium is over here. So, boron's atomic number is 5. Remember that, below boron, boron, aluminium, gallium, 
इंडियम थैलियम बाल गंगाधर इन थाईलैंड रिमेम्बर दैट बाल गंगाधर इन थाईलैंड इज इट क्लियर बाल गंगाधर इन थाईलैंड नाउ आफ्टर बाल गंगाधर इन थाईलैंड क्रॉस कार्बन सिलिकॉन जर्मेनियम इन लैंड कार ऑफ सिलिकॉन मेड इन जर्मनी having sunny and prabhu car of silicon made in germany along with sunny prabhu car silicon germany sunny and prabhu now these two are in class 11th these are in class 2 these two are in class 11th right so from where i will start from here nicogen family that means nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth kits their position you have to remember this is starting of class 12th now nana patekar ashurya aunty are eating biscuit nana patekar ashurya aunty are eating biscuit us se tipo us se tipo oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium now here fluorine chlorine bromine iodine acetin first class bro and i in atla town cross cross now helium neon argon krypton xenon red on now my dear students already i have told you their atomic numbers 2 10 18 36 54 86 now this much is clear if this much is there in your brain then only i can start and i will start from here nitrogen family that is nicogen family if this picture is in your brain then do let me show me thumbs up then only i am going to start with nicogen family this 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 and later on class 11 show me thumbs up mohammad novel refresh if you are unable to see me everyone show me the thumbs up if this is in your brain if this much is in your brain kids show me thumbs up now my dear students once it is clear let me tell you in the periodic table you must have seen this thing and the electronic configuration is there tickets how much hard work i have done this table is given in your ncert and i have left this space electronic configuration now by chance if examiner is asking how to write down the electronic configuration will you follow above principle or you want to write down in a short type means trick should i should give you the trick how to write down nitrogen phosphorus nana patekar ashurya aunty having biscuit their electronic configuration within fraction of seconds yes you want to write down in the according of above poly hunt's rule or one short trick short trick now see kids everyone see to it if i say this is your see this is your here nitrogen second period third period fourth fifth sixth nana patekar ashurya aunty and having biscuit now just see it is in second period second period means before this there is helium and helium stands for atomic number 2 so if i want to write down the electronic configuration of this nitrogen just see to it kids how i will write nitrogen cross always put cross nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth you should know their period number so it's 
this is blank one two three four five six now just see if i write down helium helium stands for two and its atomic number is how much five or seven seven if you don't know atomic number then there is the problem now helium stands for two this much is two how much should i add two this is two and the p blocks configuration is like this ns2 np126 ns2 np126 so i will write down 2s2 already filled 2s2 already filled already filled this 2s2 because 1s2 and before this two elements are there they are already filled two elements 2s2 and 2p 2 this is 2 to 4 and how much should i add 3 are you getting my point everyone is it clear is it clear this lecture is sufficient for neat as well as je if this is clear kids now see for phosphorus what should i write down before that you should know kids you should know one thing very clearly helium neon argon krypton xenon radon and i have told you this is two add to it magic number magic number eight add eight then add eight then add 18 then add 18 so it will become how much 2 10 18 36 54 and 86 is it clear now if i want to write down phosphorus then what should i write helium then neon then argon then krypton then xenon now my dear students after writing this what i am supposed to write down over here do let me know kids if you are able to understand so third third period i will write down 3s2 3s2 and 3p3 just check it out neon is standing for 10 10 and this Phosphorus is having 15 atomic number. If we don't know the atomic number of phosphorus, then also we can write down 10 plus 5. Now, here I will write down fourth period. In fourth period, D is also there. D is also there. And here F and D are present. So, I will write down 4S2, 4P3 and 3D10. Here 5s2, 5p3 and 4d10. Now my dear students, in this sixth period, I will write down 6s2, 6p3 and yes, before 6n minus 1d, that means 5d10 and 4f14. Are you able to understand? Kids, you got it. Otherwise, it is going to take too much time if we follow above principle. But this is the way. If you are not able to understand, no problem, kids. Tell me in the chat section. Show me the green heart if you are able to understand. If you are not able to understand, show me the red hearts. I will explain once again. Your red hearts and green hearts. And you can show me the yellow hearts that you want to understand once again. Once again, you want to understand yellow hearts. You got it clear, green hearts. If you're nothing able to understand red hearts. Okay. <laughs> so, kids. It's looking like Indian flag. Hey, my dear students, it's looking like Indian flag, mixed feelings. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Let me explain it once again. I got it, kids. I got it. See, everyone, just see to it. First of all, the magic number. 
Do you remember if you have seen the periodic table? If you have seen the periodic table, from the periodic table, this I am telling you from the periodic table, Sunday morning, step, step, simple DP, simple DP, safe DP, safe DP. If you remember this, kids, we will get magic number from here. This is from the periodic table. We will get magic number from here. What is that? S subshell can contain maximum of two electrons, two, six, two, six, two, ten, six, two, ten, six, two, fourteen, ten, six, two, fourteen, ten, six. Now, kids, my maths is poor. Help me out. Just tell me the sum of all these. I'm not good in maths. My maths is very, very poor. Now tell me the sum of these electrons, kids. Everyone, tell me two, two, two plus six, eight, two plus six, eight, two, ten, six, ten plus two, twelve, six, eighteen, two, ten, six, eighteen. 2, 14, 2, 16, 10, 26, 6, 32, 32. This much is clear. These are being the magic numbers. Hey everyone, magic numbers are clear. If once these magic numbers are clear, just remember that helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. These are noble gases configuration. Noble gases configuration means their octet is complete and they are the boss. They don't want anyone to react. They are the king. King of chemistry. If you read out coordination chemistry, then also they are very, very important. DNF block, that means they are very, very important. Now, my dear students, just help me in writing their atomic numbers. Because in the examination, atomic numbers will be missing. See, you know the atomic number of helium. Everyone keep on writing atomic number of helium. Two. Two this two. Two this two. Add eight. How much it will come? It's now let me know. Two this two. Add eight. Keep on writing. Everyone keep on writing. I don't know maths. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Your Baba doesn't know the maths. Keep on writing fast, fast. It will come out 10. Now to this 10, add 8. How much it will come out, kids? Your Baba doesn't know. Keep on writing, keep on writing, keep on writing. Fast, fast, fast. Keep on writing fast. I don't know. Maths 18. To this 18, my dear students, to this 18, add this 18. To this 18, add this 18. How much it will come, kids? How much it will come? Fast, fast, fast. Do let me know how much it will come. 36. To this 36. To this 36, add 18. How much it will come? How much it will come? Fast, fast, fast. Everyone, everyone, I want your answer. Fast. It will come out to be 54. And to this 54, to this 54, add 32. How much it will come? How much it will come, my dear students? Fast. Fast. Bit fast. 86. 86. Now you got it. Now you got it, kids. Now you got it. Do let me know. Now you got it, everyone. Is it clear to each and everyone, my dear students? Now, do let me know. Now, till now, if it is clear, show me the green hearts. Till now, if it is very clear, my dear students, then show me the green hearts. Till 
Till now, if it is clear to each and everyone, show me the green hearts. Yeah, now, now, very good, everyone. This is the way to understand. Now, the distance will decrease in between me and you. This chat section is the yes, communication level. Very good, very good. Now, see, kids. Once it is clear, then let me write down. Nitrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. And I should understand in which period they are lying. This first period, second period, third period, fourth period, fifth period, and sixth period, right? Now, I don't know, I don't want to understand their atomic number. I don't require atomic number at all. No need of atomic number. Let me write down. No need of atomic number. No need of atomic number. No need of atomic number. Just you should know that in first and uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon is being there. Just what I should do, this nitrogen, first I am taking for the reference. I don't require, I don't require kids, its atomic number. I know that all they belong to nicogen family. Which family? All they are the part of nicogen family. That means they belongs to fifth period, fifth period, no, fifth group, sorry, fifth group. They belong to fifth group. Now, kids, just for reference, I'm taking seven. Otherwise, I don't require seven. So, I will write first. This is in second period. So, I will take for reference before second period, I will take helium of the first period. Just remember, the element whose electronic configuration you are going to write, just take noble gas element one period, yes, one period less. So, it is second period. It belongs to second period. So, I will take noble gas of first period, that is helium. So, here helium stands for how much? Two. Its value is being two. Now see kids, this is in second period, that means in, it is in P block. Before P block, before P block, S block is completed, NS2. Then only we are going to fill NP 1 to 6. That means if we are supposed to write down the electronic configuration of P block, we will write NS2, NP 1 to 6. NS2 is already filled. NS2 is already filled. Are you getting my point? NS2 will already be filled. Let me make it more clear. Let me make it more clear, kids. See, if I write down like this, hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. Now just see to it, kids. Let me write down properly. See. Just see. Now, I would like to say that if I put in P block, here also beryllium, magnesium, calcium, Now, this is S block, that means 1S2, 2S1, 2S2 is already completed, 3S1, 3S2 already completed. Now, D block is not over there, P block is there, P block is there. That means in first period, P block is, only helium is there, second period, P block is there, third period, P block, but if I move in the fourth, then 3s2, 
and they will be 3D 10. Then only I will say, what I will say, this is 4S2, I will say its configuration will be 3D 10, 4S2 and 4P 1 to 6. Now, in fifth period, I will say this is 4D 10. I will write 4D 10, 4S2, no, 5S2. Now, 5P 1 to 6. Now, in this sixth, I know that here 4F 14 will be there and 5D 10 will be there. So, I will write down 4F 14. 5D 10 and 6S2 and 6P 1 to 6 gets. Are you able to understand? First of all, do let me know. If you are able to visualize this periodic table, then only I can say that D starts from here, 3D, 4D and F starts from here. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand how to write down the electronic configuration. First of all, if this is clear, show me the green hearts. If not clear, show me the red heart gets fast, fast. I want to see then only I can help you, my dear students. If you are able to visualize this periodic table, then only it is going to help you, kids. Because it's been clearly mentioned in your NCERT syllabus that in new syllabus, electronic configuration, they can ask, they will ask. And if you are not able to understand this thing, you will take too much time and time will get lost. You won't be able to understand how to do it in your examination, my district. Now, very good. Now, get C. If you are able to understand this much, then I can tell you the configuration. Just see. Second period, that means helium stands for two. Now, what should I do in second period? I will write down that already before this before this 2s2 is already filled this stands for 1s2 this is for 1s2 2s2 now see 2s2 and it is in p blocks second period 2p3 just see the outermost configuration 2s2 and 2p3 if i do the sum how much it is coming it is coming 5 so this outermost shell configuration is coming 5. That's why it belongs to fifth group. And this 2 is indicating it is its period. Let me tell you, kids. Let me tell you. This 2 is indicating. 2 is indicating its period. Its period. And sum of 3 and 2 is indicating its group. This is the group. Is it clear to all of you, my dear friends? Is it clear to all of you or not? This is the group and this is the period. I hope this is clear. Now, third period. If I want to write down the configuration of third period, I will take neon of second period. That neon. Neon I have taken. Now, for the third period, I will write down 3s2. 3s2. 3P3, 3 plus 2, 5, group is 5, period is 3, neon stands for 10, 10, 12, and 3, 15. I don't want to go for its atomic number. I am not interested in its atomic number. Now, fourth period is arsenic. For fourth period, I have to take third period, argon. I have taken argon. Now, in the fourth period, we know that in the fourth period, just before this fourth period, there must be 3D filled, 3D filled. So, I will write down 3D10, 4S2, 4P3. Now, it is clear. Now, in the fifth period, 4D must be 10, 4D10. So, I will write down argon, fifth period. So, I will take fourth period, krypton. Krypton, now 4D10, now 5S2, 5P3. Now, bismuth, 6th, that means 4F must be filled 14 and 5D10. So, I have to consider these two. So, I will take 6th, so 5th, Xenon. Xenon I took, now, 4F, 
14 5d 10 6s2 6p3 gets you have to sit with your ncert gets sit with the ncert take out your ncert and just check it out whatever i have written am i right or wrong just check me kids now kids don't show me the green hearts first take your ncert just check it out if everything is written like this then only show me the green hearts otherwise i don't want to see the green hearts kids yeah after 12th i will teach 11th after 12th i will teach 11th first of all see it in your ncert if it is given in your NCRT like this, then only show me the green hearts, otherwise not kids. If this is clear, if this is clear to each and every one kids, I want to see green hearts, I want to see green hearts. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, kids, now see. Now, see to it. Now, let me show you, kids. This is the table. This is the table. Electronic configuration, I have told you. This I have explained. Ionization energy. Remember that. Ionization energy of nitrogen is more than that of 2A as well as 4A. And successive ionization energy will always keep on increasing. Just see 14, then 28, then 45. This is first ionization energy, this is second ionization energy, this is third ionization energy. Let me explain. Let me explain. If I tell you, kids, Nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. The configuration was like this 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. If you see the p orbital, it is half filled configuration. Half filled. This is being half filled, more stable. Half filled is more stable. That means its ionization energy will be more than that of, if I say, beryllium before this, or before this, I will say boron is there. Beryllium is here. Boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium, and after this, there is oxygen. Oxygen. Sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. So, nitrogen's ionization energy will be more than that of boron as well as more than that of, yes, oxygen. Now, this I am talking about first ionization energy, first ionization energy. See, kids, if nitrogen is going to release, this is the first ionization energy. Nitrogen will become N positive and it will release one electron. And this energy is suppose 1400 kilojoule per mole. Now, my dear students, if I say, if I want to remove one more electron from this, now in this atomic number is 7, that means protons are 7. But electrons are just 6. That means force of attraction increased, force of repulsion decreased. So this will be more. That is near about 2800 kilojoule per mole. No need to remember the value and it will become N2 plus. And one electron, this is the second ionization energy, first ionization enthalpy second ionization enthalpy and if i talk about third ionization enthalpy that means n2 plus plus ionization enthalpy and definitely it will be more than this 
suppose 4 to 0 0 kilojoule per mole then it will become n3 plus plus 1 electron negative that means always successive ionization energy is always more than ie3 will always be more than that ie2 that will be more than that of ie1 so this will be the order this is known as successive ionization energy successive successive ionization enthalpy so whatever the electronic configuration is there doesn't matter the successive ionization enthalpy is always more it's is it clear is it clear to each and everyone just see to it let me show you this table this is first ionization enthalpy 1400 second 2850 third 45 triple uh, double 7 kilojoule per mole no need to remember the values there is no need to remember the value cram the value but remember that successive ionization energy always increases and when you go down the group the number of shells are increasing the electron is going far away from the nucleus that the nucleus force of attraction on the outermost electron will decrease and the repulsion will increase and it is going away so the ionization energy will decrease here it was first was 1400 and there it is just 700 means ah. now kids if i talk about electronegativity just see its electronegativity is 3 and their electronegativity is 2 approximately 2 very less now, radii, leave it now, see kids. If I talk about ionic radii, 171, 212, triple 2, but this is C. Here it was increasing. It, it is increasing, 171, 212, and triple 2. But here it decreased because antimony and bismuth, they are metals. Remember that. Let me tell you kids why it is happening. Why it is happening, let me tell you. Nitrogen, nitrogen and phosphorus, they are being non-metals, non-metals, arsenic and antimony, they are being metalloids, metalloids and bismuth is the metal gets, metal, it is being the metal and they are going to form ionic bond just see they are going to form ionic bond so if you see the ionic radius is increasing but here it decreased because they were three negative see in the three negative oxidation state three negative oxidation state three negative but they are three plus they have donated electrons so they are looking like cations they are being cation kits now boiling point see it is increasing up to here up to arsenic it will increase remember this this is very very important important boiling point nitrogen then phosphorus then arsenic up to arsenic melting point will increase and then it will decrease see it's first oh it's increasing melting point it is see melting point Melting point and boiling point. Melting point, it is increasing up to here. Arsenic. And then it decreases. And boiling point, it's increasing, increasing, increasing. But there, it got decreased. So, this is very, very important, kids. These two things are very, very important. We have to focus over here. What I am saying? Melting point up to arsenic, asharia up to our ashoria melting point will increase if examiner is asking who is having maximum melting point in the nicogen family nicogen again again i am saying nicogen see what is nicogen 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 this is known as nicogen nitrogen phosphorus if you are not able to remember it p and n nicogen phosphorus nitrogen so nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth they are known as nicogen family 
So who is having maximum melting point? It will keep on increasing up to here as Shurya is having maximum melting point. As Shurya. But who is having maximum boiling point kits? Maximum boiling point is auntie is having maximum boiling point. Remember that auntie G is having maximum BP and arsenic is having maximum MPs. Arsenic is having maximum MP and antimony is having maximum BP. If somebody is asking generally, generally the boiling point increases or decreases down the group. What do you write kids? Generally, generally boiling point dash down the group fill in the blank this is the question of AIMS, IIT and number of various competitive exams fill in the blanks let me show you let me show you the table just see the table this is boiling point 77.2554 triple eight 1860 so fill in the blanks everyone fill in the blanks so answer is increases 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 down the group my dear students till now this is clear to all of you till now it is clear till now it is clear no secrets no secrets this is very very important table this table and how many of you want to understand this table because this table holds a hell lot of weightage number of questions will come from this table and after this table my dear friends after explaining this table i will tell you from nitrogen and phosphorus what is important what you have to leave and what you have to study gets till now it is clear Tell now, hey, my dear friends. Tell now, everything is clear. If yes, I want to see the green hearts in the chat section. Then I will explain. I will let you know each and everything. I will explain in depth. I will give you the explanation, the analysis, the theory, the fundamental thing behind this. No need to remember the values. I've told you, it's no need to remember the values, the trend you should know. You have to understand the trend only. Now see kids. You know ammonia. Ammonia can do hydrogen bonding. Rest of others, their hydrogens can't do hydrogen bonding. The hydrogen attached to either fluorine oxygen or nitrogen can do hydrogen bonding so it can do intermolecular hydrogen bonding so see melting point of ammonia is 195 and then it is increasing except this nitrogen i will tell you this is the first member of nicogen family because in the syllabus it is given anomalous behavior of first member its melting point is higher its boiling point is higher means in the respective group its melting and boiling point is highest because the molecules are too much close due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding the molecules are too much close to each other otherwise see as the molecular mass is increasing the boiling point is increasing just see kids so we can say one thing very clearly that boiling point boiling point is directly proportional to molar mass but remember that this is also directly proportional to intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding and who can do hydrogen bonding that is the clear funda hydrogen attached to 
हाइड्रोजन अटैच टू फ्लोरिन ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन ट्रिपल बॉन्डेड कार्बन और क्लोरीन कैन डू हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग दी हाइड्रोजन अटैच टू आइदर फ्लोरिन और ऑक्सीजन और नाइट्रोजन नोवल से वाई कार्बन सी फ्लोरिन इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी इज फोर ऑक्सीजन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव नाइट्रोजन थ्री ट्रिपल बॉन्डेड कार्बन थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट वन टू सो दिस इज द रीजन माई डियर स्टूडेंट नाउ सी this point is clear now these three things are very very important now let me come to the hh angle the dissociation energy and the enthalpy of formation why this is being negative this is negative rest of others are being positive why this bond angle is 107 degree why others are equal to 90 degree the reason i am going to explain now is everyone ready kids is everyone re ready now see kids let me explain it just see to it nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth i'm going to tell you that thing you will get shocked you will get shocked that in ammonia hybridization is there hybridization yes but in rest of other these no hybridization no hybridization no hybridization no hybridization now kids you will get shocked what you are writing sir what you have written what is the meaning of this now my dear friends if i ask one question tell me the answer of this question that this is phosphine this is phosphine one lone pair three hydrogens this is known as phosphine poisonous gas poisonous gas smell of rotten eggs smell of rotten eggs this much is given now the examiner has asked only one question simple question simple question what is the hybridization it is having one lone pair one lone pair and three bonds what is the steric number no need of steric number what is the hybridization this is the question kids what is the hybridization over here answer this question kids answer this question what is the answer tell me in the chat section what is the answer kids everyone do let me know what is the answer what is the answer kids i want to see in the chat section what is the answer fast fast let me see what is the answer kids so kids you have given the answer as your answer is coming sp3 sp3 everyone has written sp3 and examiner will give you zero marks for it ask me why kids this is wrong this is wrong ask me why kids examiner will give you double zero marks double zero ask me everyone why ask me why kid see i've told you i've told you that there is no hybridization see to it kid see to it what i've told you what i've told you no hybridization bonding without hybridization i would like to say there is bonding without hybridization bonding without hybridization bonding without hybridization there is the hybridization is sp3 its hybridization is sp3 kids you got shocked or not yeah dragos rule now i am going to explain this thing 
according to Drago's rule. There is one rule. Drago, remember dragon, Drago's rule. Drago's rule, my dear friend, this is known as Drago's rule. Now, how to find out percentage of S character? Just see, there is one mathematical relation that percentage of S character is equal to So, you can find it out. See, if I say the percentage of S character is equal to S, so I will write cos theta is equal to S upon S minus 1. If you apply this formula, the bond angle, you know, in if, you, if I show you these things, just see to it, the table, their bond angle is coming approximately how much? 90. Just see 90 kids, 94, 92, 91, it is 107, in ammonia it is 107, phosphine, arsenic antimony is hydride, it is coming approximately 90, if you apply the formula, the value of S will come how much, it is do let me know, you know that cos 90 is how much, cos 90 is how much, 90. And it is bond angle is either coming 94, 92. So it is coming approximately 0, or you can say the percentage of S character is coming some about somewhat about 2 to 4 percent. 2 to 4 percent, roughly about 2 to 4 percent, or you can say 0. So, my dear students, let me show you, let me tell you what's happening over here. Let me tell you, let me explain. This is your nitrogen, this is your nitrogen, atomic number 7, 1 S2, 2 S2, 2 P3. Now, these are the outermost shell electrons, I will say 2 S2, 2 P3, who is having more energy, definitely the 2 P is having more energy, am I right kids? The energy is like this. Now you must have seen the S is like this and the P is like this. This is spherical, this is dumbbell shaped. You know that whenever Indian army is going to fight, whenever Indian army is going to fight, there is somebody taller, someone black, someone white, someone fatty, someone is thin. So what they do, they will put some color on their face. They will put some, means their uniform is same. So that everyone should look like same. No difference is there and they are not going to call their names. Hey Ramu, hey Pandu, hey Champa. They are not calling like that. They will say Tango Charlie. Hello, Tango Charlie, Tango Charlie means they are uniform. They are not spherical, they are not dumbbell shaped. If they are looking like a spherical, hey, spherical Ramu, let's kill Ramu. Hey, dumbbell shaped Champa, let's kill Champa. They are not like that. Before going to any fight, they will look like uniform. That means this S and this P. They will combine. See, this is ground state configuration. Ground state configuration. And now I will say their hybridization. So, once the hybridization, hybridization is going to take place, this of S and these three of P, they will combine together. They will combine together like this. Now, my dear friends, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4 means like this. Now, there is no S, no P. Here it was S and here it was P. But here we will say what? This is SP3. 
this is sp3 this is sp3 this is sp3 that means we have got four equivalent sp3 hybrid orbitals they are equivalent in energy shape and size that means i can very clearly i can very clearly show that the nitrogen is looking like this the nitrogen is having lone pair this 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 the lone pair where the lone pair is located lone pair is located in sp3 this lone pair is having 25% s character 25% s character and they will bonded with hydrogen they will get bonded with hydrogen so this is ammonia they are also having sp3 hybridization kits first of all kits after this i am going to tell you really mind blowing reactions but it will take time without understanding if we are going kits see in the starting we were having almost 190 students but as the time is moving, kits are decreasing. This is not good. I don't like this, kids. Is this good? Call your friends. Is Baba's energy is getting decreased? First of all, do let me know, kids. What do you think? Do you think Baba's energy is decreasing? Is Baba's energy is decreasing, kids? Increasing. Then why these students are leaving kids? This is not a good thing. Always you have to remain constant. Regularity should be there. I want to see the likes. At least 175. First increase the likes. Call your friends. Call everyone. Call. Then I will let you know those things. You will say inorganic chemistry is wow. You must have seen number of movies like Pota Factory. There the one student was saying. Oh, it's very tough to understand inorganic chemistry. Baba will let you know what is inorganic chemistry, kids. Okay. One student is asking how to find out sp3. See, let me tell you how to find out sp3. In ammonia, in ammonia, if you see, there are three sigma bonds. How many sigma bonds kits? One, two, three. Just find out the steric number. Steric number. How much is the steric number? Steric number is equal to number of sigma bonds plus number of localized lone pairs lone pairs so steric number is coming out how much three sigma bonds plus one lone pair four four means s1 p3 so it is being sp3 hybridization can you see kids is it clear to all of you you got it now see kids now let me explain what happened in phosphine? Just see to it phosphine. Phosphorus atomic number is being 15, 1 s2, 2 s2, 2 p6, 3 s2, 3 p3. This is according to above principle. Electrons are filled in the increasing order of their energy level starting from the lowest energy level. This is being the energy level and the energy is increasing in this order. Now, this is your outermost shell and in the outermost shell you can say two electrons, three electrons. Now see, they have gone far away from the nucleus and its electronegativity is just 2.2, 2.2. Now my dear students, this is the ground state configuration, ground state. 
configuration and they said they are not going to mix you know number of times you must have seen that whenever the india is going to fight one of their person is saying i'm not going to obey your rules your orders i will go and fight so they are saying they will not mix they are not ready to mix their energy is like this so you see the s is having less energy and p is having more energy this is pure s you can say three s2 this is pure s and they are being pure p are you getting my point pure p no hybridization no hybridization no hybridization now there is no hybridization my dear students that means what that they are going to form the bond they are going to fight with hydrogen without any hybridization formation that means the lone pair is in pure s the lone pair is in pure s this is a lone pair is in pure s if i draw phosphine just see to it if i draw phosphine the phosphorus is here and it is in pure s and these hydrogens they are not having any s character so pure p pure p means very weak bond very weak bond very weak bond very big bond very big bond and that means their electrons have gone far away far away far away so hydrogen has taken their electrons and their electrons have gone far away these are the electrons of hydrogen there so see from the phosphorus the electrons they have gone now these bonds they are pure p they are pure p and this is pure s pure s so my dear students the percentage of s character percentage of s character is almost 100% almost 100 now my that means this lone pair is nearest to the nucleus lone pair is nearest to the nucleus nearest to the nucleus and once it is being nearest to the nucleus very tough very tough to be snatched very tough to be snatched now my dear friends the repulsion is very very less due to less repulsion due to due to less repulsion bond angle will decrease bond angle will decrease now all together i have explained two things kids i have explained two things one thing that phosphine is not that basic as like ammonia this is very 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 less basic one thing very very less basic hydrogens are very very weak bond very very weak bond so it is highly unstable also unstable and that's why it is being poisonous also poisonous also and this bond is very very weak so this hydrogen will snatch its electron and will eliminate out as hydride so good reducing agent also good reducing agent also my dear students number of factors i am explaining i don't know whether you are able to understand or not that means one thing is that its lone pair is in pure s so it is very very less basic the electrons have gone far away from the nucleus so 
the repulsion is very very less that's why the bond angle is approximately 94 degree the bond is very very weak so hydrogen will eliminate out its electron very easily so it is good reducing agent are you able to understand these points now should i explain this thing in another way should i explain this thing in another way that its bond strength is getting weak see the another approach another approach i am going to tell you another approach just see another approach baba's approach this is known as baba's approach hsp baba's approach just see to it kids hsp baba's approach just do let me know bonding of equality is good or unequality bonding of bonding of gas is good bonding of gas is good if you have seen my lecture of periodic table and chem chemical bonding you will tell me bonding of what is good in the chat section do let me know equality bonding of equality is good as we go down the group as we go down the group that nitrogen phosphorus nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth the size is increasing or decreasing definitely the answer is size is increasing size increases that means this nitrogen is smaller and this bismuth is too much bigger now if i draw the bond if i draw the bond kids that this is being nitrogen this is being nitrogen very small and this is being bismuth very big and this is being hydrogen what do you think which hydrogens are which hydrogens are more stable the smaller nitrogen is smaller smaller is smaller smaller plus smaller which one is stable and this is big bigger or biggest plus smaller which bond is more stable gets ammonia hydride first one this let us suppose is a and this suppose is d which bond is stable definitely the answer will come This is being more stable. This is being least stable. Am I right, kids? This is Baba's magic. This is Baba's magic. Kids, do let me know you are able to understand or not. This is the trick. This is Baba's trick. Nandini Devi, you liked it. Deepa, Deepa and Vita. Everyone do let me know. Hey, kids. First of all, do let me know. You are able to understand, first of all. That means, who will donate its hydride easily? So, definitely the answer is, this is going to be the best hydride donor. This is going to be the best hydride donor. And best hydride donor, hydride means H negative and H negative means loss of electrons, loss of electron. And if somebody is donating electron, that means what? Loss of electron stands for what? Oxidation. And oxidation means the one who is undergoing oxidation is very good at reducing agent, reducing agent that means if question is coming in the examination arrange the following in the increasing order of reducing agent then definitely we will say nh3 nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth so who is going to be the best reducing agent then the reducing character will be like this reducing agent am i right kids reducing agent reducing agent one thing 
basic strength will be in which order basic strength the order of basic strength will be like this yes because here the loan pair is in this the loan pair is having only how much s character loan pair is having Twenty five percent S character, and in all these, the loan pair is having almost hundred percent S character. Loan pair is having hundred percent S character almost. So they are not basic. This is this is highly basic. This is highly basic. Ammonia is highly basic. Highly basic means it will form bond even with HCl. It will form ammonium chloride, ammonium bromide, ammonium iodide. But phosphine is very, very less basic. Phosphine is very, very less basic. That means it can form ammonium iodide and some both ammonium bromide and rest they will not form. They are not basic. They are not basic. Not basic. Kids, are you able to understand? Now see, if you are able to understand this much, if this much is clear, this much is clear, now see kids. Now see if this much is clear, let me show you that table of NCERT. Just sit along with this table and check it out. See kids. Bond distance. I have shown you. Just see. If I draw whatever I have shown you, I will show you kids. See. Just see. Mm, okay. First of all, everyone must be thinking what is actually Drago's rule. What Drago has said. This was my vision. Drago said. Drago's rule is. Element. Of. Fifth. And sixth. Group. of period third and onwards have no hybridization have no hybridization if the electronegativity of surrounding atoms is 2.5 or less. 2.5 or less. This is Drago's rule kits. What Drago says, Drago, according to Drago, if I say, the ammonia is having hybridization, H2O is having hybridization, they are having a hybridization, and that is sp3 hybridized. But if I say, if I say, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, they are hydrides, no hybridization, no hybridization. If I say oxygen, sulfur, selenium, Tellurium, tal polonium is radioactive, leave it, H2S, H2SE, H2T. These elements, they don't have any hybridization, no hybridization, bonding without hybridization. No hybridization, no hybridization. Clear to all of you kids? This is the Drago's rule. This is Drago's rule. First of all, show me the green signal, green hearts, if you are able to understand Drago's rule kids. If Drago's rule is clear, kids.
I want to see the green hearts in the chat section if Dragos, once the Dragos rule is clear, my dear friend. So, if I tell you, my dear students, now if I tell you, just see to it. If I tell you that this is nitrogen, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth, these two are non metals, arsenic, antimony, they are metalloids, and this is being metal. One thing is clear this is being metal, these two are being metalloids. and these two are non-metals. So one thing is very clear, the electronegativity is in this order, electronegativity will be in this order. This is most electronegative, most electronegative and this is least electronegative. That means if I try to draw ammonia, I will draw ammonia like this, see, just see, ammonia, then phosphine, then arsenic S3, then bismuth, then just see, bismuth H3, just see to it. See, as a painter, as a painter, right now, Baba HSP is not a teacher, Baba HSP is a painter. Baba HSP is a painter. Right now, Baba HSP is not a teacher. Baba HSP is a painter. Just try to understand the feelings of Baba HSP. Just kids, try to understand the feelings of Baba HSP. It's just think about you are not a science student, you are a layman, you don't know anything, you don't know anything and you are a layman and let me show you the bismuth's electrons are like this, bismuth's electron are like this, phosphorus electrons are like this, arsenic electrons are like this. And nitrogen's electrons are like this. Just right now, focus on the yellow electrons. Yellow electrons. Just focus on the yellow electron. Electrons are like Rani. Electrons treat electrons like Rani. These Rani's, three Rani's having negative charge. They are living at a very simple, very, very small place. And these three Ranis are living and that space where they are is too much space. Just tell me which Ranis will be having maximum repulsion. Nitrogen's yellow Ranis will have maximum repulsion or bismuth Ranis will have maximum repulsion. They are just nearest to the nucleus these are these electrons are nearest to the nucleus nearest to nucleus which electron will have maximum repulsion maximum repulsion that means due to this maximum repulsion the bond angle will be maximum due to due to maximum repulsion Bond angle is maximum and that is 107 degree. 
and here repulsion is least repulsion is being least bond angle is also least and that's why it is somewhat 90 degree approximate now kids right now baba is not using drago's rule this is baba's concept and do let me know everyone is able to understand this concept or not i think everyone and now see this bond length is maximum this is maximum bond length can you understand kids why this is maximum bond length because these are hydrogen electron and the hydrogen has taken the electrons of bismuth too far if the buffalo is not having power or the crocodile is not having power the lion will take that buffalo or crocodile too much far away from its habitant so maximum maximum bond length least bond length if bond length is maximum if bond length is increase then bond strength will decrease and bond dissociation energy will also decrease agreed or not if bond length is increasing bond strength will decrease and the bond dissociation energy will decrease this you have studied from the chemical bonding now seek it now just seek it i will show you your ncert table seek it i would have copied the ncert but i have not done that i made it from my side get c the eh means metal to hydrogen distance in picometer 100 140 150 170 what do you think is this the thing to cram it or to understand no need to cram the values just see the trend and the trend is indicating that yes bond length is increasing are you able to understand kids now bond angle is decreasing now dissociation energy bond dissociation energy it will require 389 this is decreasing so it is increasing in this order just see is this the trend to cramped or you are able to understand the bond dissociation energy the bond angle the distance in picometer these points are you able to understand is this point clear is this point clear kids no no not this one i haven't explained this right now is this point clear this point clear this point is clear this point is clear and this point if all these five points are clear show me the green heart skits in the chat section if these five points are very much clear then show me the green hearts And kids likes are not increasing at least smash the like button kids i'm explaining such a great thing kids i want to see likes to get increased kids baba hey buddy i want to see more likes melting point and boiling point i have explained on the basis of intermolecular hydrogen bonding ammonia forms intermolecular hydrogen bonding i have explained now only one thing is remaining enthalpy of formation should i explain just seek it i'm going to explain enthalpy of formation first of all you do let me know if you want to fight suppose you are five friends and you want to fight will you fight without any discussion or you will fight with discussion first you will do discussion we will do this he will do that he will do that 
and then we will fight. This is your role, this is my role, then we can win the race, where you can win the match. Okay, leave the fighting. Fighting is not a good thing <laughs> on this new year. Just like you are a football player and everyone is doing whatever he or she wants to do. Then you are going to win the race, win the match. Or first you will do the discussion and then you are going to play. Which way is better? Do let me know. Which way is better? Discussion. Discussion is group formation. Discussion means group formation. Let me tell you kids. Discussion means. Discussion is. To do discussion. There will be grouping, group formation. You have to come together. Group formation means. You have to leave your energy, leave your ego. You have to, you have to keep ego away. Ego means energy away. Ego means energy. You have to come on the similar energy. Am I right? Everyone. Everyone has to come to same energy level. Whether you are a good player or bad player, same energy level. And that is C. The S was less in energy and P was more in energy. In case of nitrogen, the S and P, they have left their ego and they have hybridized. They formed the group. And then they have done the fight against hydrogen. So, the nitrogen and hydrogen when they formed, they formed ammonia and ammonia was more stable. More stable means what kids? This is endothermic reaction or exothermic? This is going to be exothermic reaction. And exothermic reaction means delta H will be negative that means product is more stable than reactant this is being more stable am i right kids am i right am i right and rest of others they have not formed the group see they haven't formed the group and that's why their product is less stable they all are being endothermic just see have you ever saw your ncrt delta h is positive Enthalpy of formation is positive and here it is negative. Have you ever seen your NCRT? This is negative. The ammonia is more stable. Rest of others are being endothermic. Have you ever seen kids? Now, I think you are able to understand this point also. Kids, do let me know. 100 times you must have seen your NCRT. But you, have you ever seen this point? This is exo, rest of others are being endo. It's, is this point very good point or not? If you are, everyone is able to understand, show me the green signal or the fire. I want to see fire, hearts or thumbs up. Everyone. Hey everyone, my dear students, I want to see fire hearts. Whenever, whenever something is good, delta H will be negative, bad endothermic. More stability, delta H will be negative exothermic reaction, bad endothermic. This table is clear to all of you. Now, after this table, Baba is going to tell you about the nitrogen then phosphorus are you ready baba is going to tell you about nitrogen and phosphorus now after this table my target is to tell you about nitrogen and phosphorus what is important for examination now my dear students before moving ahead i would like to tell you the nitrogen so, I hope that everyone is ready. I am going to tell you about nitrogen, each and everything about nitrogen. Nitrogen. 
if i write nitrogen my dear students if i write nitrogen what will you say whether it is having d orbital or no d orbital d orbital is present or absent d orbital or if i say d subshell better to say d subshell is present or absent write down a is present d is absent write down in the chat section present absent a or b a or b everyone is going for b and my dear students examiner will give you zero marks absent it is present now kids you will say sir what are you saying very bad you don't know chemistry baba you don't know chemistry kids nitrogen is having how many orbits do let me know nitrogen is having how many orbits how many orbits do let me know kids second question how many orbits nitrogen is having how many orbits kids do let me know how many orbits first 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 fast kids fast nitrogen is having how many orbits do it fast kids i want to see the answer fast two so everyone is saying two so kids examiner will give you zero marks zero so two times you have got zero marks here you got zero marks here you got zero marks answer is correct answer is infinite infinite now you will say sir i am not going to study with you i am going to leave now kids from how many years you are watching these lectures you are studying all these things in both the two questions you got failed now let me tell you nitrogen has got two filled orbits two filled orbits this is the answer rest of orbits are two filled plus rest of all empty is this clear to all of you first of all do let me know are you able to understand first of all do let me know kids are you agreed or not first of all do let me know are you agreed or not now if infinite orbits are there infinite orbits are indicating there will be infinite orbitals infinite orbits means infinite orbitals will be there that means this nitrogen is having 3d 4d 5d 6d and all but nitrogen is not having 2d there is no 2d that is low energy level low lying low lying vacant orbital is not there agreed or not all elements they have 3d 4d 5d infinite orbits but because nitrogen belongs to second period there is no 2d is it clear now only you can understand chemistry otherwise you can't otherwise you can't agreed now if i say there is no 2d as nitrogen belongs to second period
and there is no 2D. There is no 2D. 2D is not present. There is no 2D. Agreed? There is no 2D kits. No 2D means it cannot extend its what? The valency. It can't be multi atomic, and that's why nitrogen has to form bond with nitrogen. It has got unique property that nitrogen will be bonded with nitrogen only like this. This will remain diatomic gas. Nitrogen will remain diatomic gas and it is forming P pi P pi bond. P pi P pi bond only. It cannot form P pi D pi D pi D pi. There is no D, so can't form, so cannot form, can't form. P pi D pi or D pi D pi and this is a gas whereas rest of other family members they are having D cup shell they are multi atomic and they are solid rest of family members rest of family members kids rest of family members are multi atomic solids solids is one thing clear to all of you my dear students is one thing clear to all of you now if this thing is clear then let me tell you, my dear friends, the phosphorus, phosphorus will live like P4, like this. It will live like this. If you see, they can form a bond like this, P double bond O, O, H, O, H, O, H. And if you see, it is having five valency, whereas nitrogen was having nitrogen was having maximum covalency of 4 nitrogen was having maximum covalency of 4 not more than that but phosphorus now see this is it is p pi and it is using d d pi d pi now kids you must be thinking sir how to find out that this bond is p pi d pi how many of you want to know that this bond is p pi d pi how many of you are interested to know that this bond is p pi d pi just to let me know ask me 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 write down me now see if you are not able to understand this is p pi d pi let me tell you this was the phosphorus nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth one two three that was 3s2, 3p3. Now, how many? 3 and 1. This is 1 orbital. This is being 1 orbital. These are 3 orbitals. If you combine these, 1 plus 3, 4. But here, bonds are how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bonds. That means they must be using D. D must be used. This is S. This is P and D must be used. Am I right? Or you can see it's like this. Are you able to understand? Now, my dear students, so they are forming P pi D pi bond. Now, you will say how to form D pi D pi. Let me tell you how to form D pi D pi. Just see to it. If I say that phosphorus ethyl 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 and it is having lone pair and if it is donating its lone pair to some central metal atom in the coordination chemistry 
central metal atom like cobalt or anything central metal atom central metal atom i can write like this or i can uh, write it like this also suppose is not because it is only in sp not like this now suppose if i write it down like this now this is donating its lone pair so you can see this is being p pi one is being p pi one is being d pi and this is d orbital it is d is vacant so p pi d pi or i can say nitrogen phosphorus arsenic phenyl c6h5 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 and this is bonded like this and this can donate are you getting my point so they are the examples of that they can coordination chemistry acting as ligands in coordination chemistry in coordination chemistry they are acting like ligands it is given in ncrt kits so they are forming p pi and d pi bond no sorry d pi d pi bond d pi d pi bond now my dear friends if this much is clear so what i was telling you kids what i from where i have started that nitrogen is very very small rest of the family members are bigger what i wanted to tell you kids that nitrogen is such a smaller one very very small nitrogen phosphor arsenic antimony bismuth very very big so nitrogen is very very small are you able to understand very very small very very small so it will form n triple bond n but gets three bonds the power of three unity has power unity has power am i right kids three bonds the bond order is three oh my god bond order increase so bond strength increase bond length decrease unity has power unity means power when nitrogen and nitrogen has combined its energy released is such a strong energy i can't tell you my dear students its delta h no need to remember is minus 946 kilo joule per mole highly exothermic reaction highly stable n2 is highly stable kids remember that n2 is highly stable remember this n2 is inert is inert inert you see in the atmosphere if you see in the atmosphere oxygen always says hey nitrogen i want to hug you oxygen says hey nitrogen i want to hug you i i like you i want to react with you but nitrogen is saying no 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 i am not interested i am not interested nitrogen says no i am not interested oxygen oxygen is always moving hey give me electron give me electron i want to form oxide i want to form oxide but nitrogen is saying hey you can't snatch my electron my bond strength is very very high it's not possible and that's why people are using nitrogen for uh, protection of some biological materials surgical materials and nitrogen is used as refrigerant also my dear students just see to it now if i talk about bismuth is very very large in size what to do what not to do so all other family members are big rest of family members are big but my dear students how to prepare nitrogen just see preparation of nitrogen is everyone ready this question will come preparation of nitrogen prep 
separation of nitrogen preparation of nitrogen is everyone ready kids let me tell you first preparation first preparation ammonium chloride ammonium chloride is also known as salt ammonia either we can say ammonium chloride or we can say salt ammonia my dear student it sublines it sublines it sublines now if you react it NaNO2 NaNO2 you will get nitrogen gas now you will ask how this reaction is possible and how to understand it see kids let me write down let me write down once again n h4 h4 cl okay nano2 n a n o2 just see kids just see to it if i say one nitrogen one nitrogen they have combined they have formed m2 am i right just see now what can you think what is going to happen kids just think with your brain na and cl will combine they will form nacl and this and that they will form what what they will form kids do let me know in the chat section what they are going to form twice of h2o am i right is everyone able to understand kids is everyone able to understand do let me know hey kids if you're not showing the signal these kids see they are asking their name twinkle twinkle little star what is happening it's if you're not participating they will start like this only what's your name my name is ramu your name is champa his name is pandu they will start doing this see kids if you're not showing some signal in the chat section they will start like this hey i'm rumbo what's your name i'm alia how are you oh today is new year let's celebrate over here only they will start celebrating over here only kids kids are you having ncrt right now are you having ncrt right now write down yes or no write down yes or no right now are you having ncrt kids covalency means maximum number of covalent bonds covalency means maximum number of covalent bonds okay one kid is asking what is maximum covalency should i tell you one trick should i tell you the max of covalency maths of covalency then i will ask the um, this hence the ert should i tell you the maths of covalency kids okay i am going to tell you the maths of covalency but if you are having ncert just come to this page where nitrogen formation is given it's because ncert is like god and anything can be asked from ncert don't ask about the time duration kids don't ask if you are having ncrt then come to the page number where formation of nitrogen is given come to the page number where formation of nitrogen is given page number 174 old ncrt page number 174 old ncrt that means in new ncrt it should be given on page number new ncrt it should be given on page number 182 just see to it everyone just see to it i think so this is according to me just check it out you have to form a bond with strong with bond with ncert got it now see kids 
आप टोल्ड यू दिस थिंग दैट दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट अमोनियम क्लोराइड वेन रिएक्टिंग विथ एन एन ओ टू इट इज गिविंग एन टू प्लस वॉटर प्लस एन एस सी एल ओके वेन आप टोल्ड यू दैट वेन अमोनियम क्लोराइड is reacting with NaNO2 it is giving N2 plus NaCl plus water okay now I am going to tell you my concept see just see to it according to Baba according to Baba ammonium chloride is what ammonium chloride is ammonia plus HCl Am I right? Ammonia plus HCl and NaNO2. NaNO2 is Na positive, NO2 negative. This is Baba's concept. Now HCl is going to donate H positive. Now this H plus will attack on this base. Will attack on this base. it will attack on this base simultaneously it is also having negative charge this is also base it will attack on this base also am i right kids acid base neutralization acid base neutralization agreed keep on showing thumbs up kids i will always keep on seeing the chat in the chat whatever you are writing it's not too much visible to me but the signals are visible to me so kids keep on showing me thumbs up agreed or not everyone agreed or not that what i am writing for ammonium chloride are you agreed or not so this will react with this to form ammonium but this on reaction with this will form hno2 nitrous acid once again h plus will donate h it will give h plus and that h plus will attack on nitrous acid because this is stronger acid this is being stronger acid stronger acid that is being weaker acid so weaker acid will act as base and after accepting this h plus it is like this after accepting h plus it will break into nitrozonium ion no it will form no it will form no just see kids this is given in the ncrt or not that no will also be there it is given in the ncrt or not kids do let me know that no will also be formed in traces in traces in traces in traces it is given in ncrt or not just to let me know if yes show me the green signal kids if yes then show me the green signal baba want to know that baba's brain if this inorganic chemistry is for the cramming part or my dear students the inorganic chemistry is the cramming part or it is requiring knowledge kids do let me know this has to be cramped or really it's having maths it's do let me know everyone hno3 now see kids everyone got it is everyone clear to this now this no hno2 will get oxidized to form hno3 also this hno2 will oxidize to form hno3 also i hope this is clear to each and every one yeah this is for both neat board and third is j examination for each and everything this is important kids are you getting my point kids now now see kids i am going to tell you the second preparation the second preparation we are dealing with the preparation of nitrogen preparation of nitrogen now see the second preparation is remember that all salts of ammonium are white colored all salts of 
ammonium this question has been asked number of times white colored white except 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 which salt gets except ammonium dichromate except ammonium dichromate now you will ask sir why will it come in our examination yes get c ammonium dichromate it is in d block also c they will give this question they will give this question and it belongs to d block will you be able to challenge this question that this is from p block or d block it's will you be able to challenge that this question is from p block or d block it's so they will say oh i have given this question from d block now see how to do it in such type of questions how to get the answer now let me tell you the trick then i will come to this question first let me give you trick then i will come to this question just see the trick kids just see the trick are you ready everyone is everyone ready kids see the trick baba's trick hsp baba's trick hsp baba's trick whether ammonium nitrite is given or ammonium nitrate is given ammonium dichromate is given ammonium carbonate is given any salt of ammonia right ammonium carbonate just what you are supposed to do on heating on heating form maximum number of water molecules what is supposed to do kids the trick is first of all form maximum number of water molecules take out maximum number of h2o molecules H2O molecules. Are you ready, kids? In the first one, how many maximum water you can take out? Do let me know, kids, in the chat section. How many maximum number of water molecules can you take out, kids? Do let me know. In the first one, this is first, second, third, fourth. In the first one, maximum number, see, four hydrogen atoms so twice of h2o you can take out now what is left what is left this is left and this is left n2 now second one how many maximum number of water molecules two twice of h2o plus what is left nitrogen nitrogen one oxygen n2o laughing gas Now in the third maximum number of water molecules if you are able to understand do let me know in the third one maximum number of water molecules how many water molecules can you take out if you are able to understand do let me know my dear students everyone a fast fast c four water molecules you can take out maximum number of four water molecules you can take out what is left what is left four two the eight you have taken and nitrogen nitrogen is being left and rest is left as cr2 cr2 o3 green color compound now in the last one last but not the least c o2 is 8 so only three oxygens are there how many water molecules can you form if you are able to understand in the last one 
in the last one kids participate in the question and answers then only you will be able to understand otherwise not three three water molecules you can form rest is what is left and two is left and two is left what is left kids what's being left behind now do let me know and two oxygen gone so what is left kids what is left just see n2 is gone 4 h2o 3 h2o has gone 6 h2o 2 hydrogens are left and carbon is left that means what is left kids h2 then what will happen to this carbon what will happen to this carbon carbon is also left everyone just see to it ammonium carbonate 2 carbon hydrogen we have got 6 hydrogens now what is left CH2 is nothing so we will double it and we will get CH4 or we will get anything else Let's do let me know do let me know let's see who is going to tell me that hydrogen will get hydrogen will also be there now hydrogen will combine with this if hydrogen is going to combine with this so definitely what that is going to form so kids this is the trick now let's come to this part what you will get kids do let me know with ammonium dichromate what will you get kids do let me know so definitely you are going to get n2 plus 744h2o 4h2o and green colored cr2o3 you will get cr2o3 agreed everyone is everyone agreed kids do let me know is everyone agreed now this was the second preparation now let's see the third preparation third preparation is banana azad what do you mean by this banana azad banana azad Banana Azad, just like Chan Sekar Azad, just like Chan Sekar Azad, there is Banana Azad. What do you mean by Banana Azad? Kids, do let me know. What do you mean by Banana Azad? That means azides of azides of barium or sodium they gives purest form of nitrogen this question has been asked number of times number of times that gets purest purest nitrogen kits purest nitrogen let's see what is azide this is known as hydrazoic acid n3h is known as hydrazoic acid And if it is going to eliminate out 1H plus, then you will get N3 negative plus H positive. This is being azide. This is being azide. Monovalent anion. You can see monovalent. One negative charge. So I can write Na N3 or I can write Ba N3 whole twice. Are you able to understand? Is everyone able to understand, my dear student? Just see to it. And if you strongly heat it, if you strongly heat it, what will you get, kids? You will get N2. Now, 3, so multiply it by 2. So, you will get 3 times N2, 3 to the 6, 3 moles of N2. And here, also, you will get N2. That is being the purest form of nitrogen pure nitrogen kids pure nitrogen is everyone able to understand now my dear friends these are the three forms by which we can prepare nitrogen now my dear friend everyone started thinking that nitrogen is our bodyguard with these properties everyone started thinking that nitrogen is inert 
and this is our friend will never react will never react will never react with anyone now kids if you think that somebody is not reactive if somebody is inert then what they will start doing they will fill in their tire they will fill in their tire they will use it use it as preservative right so they have done people started doing this but one day in somebody's house there was explosion there was explosion and during that explosion kids temperature will increase or decrease temperature increased oh my god and temperature increased to 2000 degrees celsius that day my dear students what happened i'm going to tell you this inert has become maximum reactive at very high temperature the one who was inert has become most reactive most reactive oh my god let me tell you what is going to happen my dear students this thing that it reacted with oh it reacted with hydrogen only at 450 degrees celsius 450 to 500 degrees celsius and it has produced two moles of ammonia and delta h was negative exothermic reaction kits exothermic now my dear students the pressure also required pressure from 200 to 800 atmosphere now while seeing this one scientist is there and before telling you the name of scientist question will come question will come like this what are the favorable conditions what are the favorable conditions for ammonia formation now my dear students this is the question and this thing you must have studied in your physical chemistry also have you studied now the pressure should be increased or decreased do let me know pressure we should increase the pressure or decrease the pressure write down in the chat section pressure should be increased or decreased what i should do on the pressure do let me know kids pressure should be increased or decreased because this reaction is a reversible reaction this reaction is being reversible reaction kids so should i increase the pressure or decrease the pressure increase okay very good kids it's really fantastic that here one mole of gas three moles of gas giving two moles of gas this side gas is less so pressure should be increased very good fantastic now the second one temperature what should i do to temperature kids increase or decrease temperature should i increase or decrease kids do let me know temperature should i increase or decrease everyone now kids the answer is answer is temperature should be decreased now ask me why ask me why kids 
400 to 500 degrees Celsius, this is that least temperature which is required for the reaction to take place. This is that least temperature which is required to break the bond order of nitrogen that is 3. That is that least temperature for every exothermic reaction. Lee Chatelier principle says all exothermic reactions will move in the forward direction if the temperature is decreased. So, always for exothermic reactions, for exothermic reactions, low temperature is favorable. Low temperature. Now, the question arises why you are using this much of temperature? That is because this is that least temperature where nitrogen is going to break. Is it clear, kids? Now, kids, how many of you want this Lee Chatelier's principle of pressure? How many of you want to visualize it? How many of you want to visualize that why, what pressure actually is doing? If you want to visualize, show me the green hearts. If you want to visualize, because from the Lee Chatelier point of view, we know. We know, we can understand if we see the Lee Chatelier's principle. But if you want to visualize it, then show me the green hearts. Very good. Now see. If I say, this is an elephant. This is being an elephant, an elephant, and when elephant was moving through very, very small space, elephant was finding it very tough to move through that space. So he asked God, Hey God, just give me such type of wish, such type of one fundamental thing that whenever I need, I can become small. Then God said, oh, then God said, okay, let's see, I'm going to give you one wish, one thing, one magic, one that whenever you want, you can become ant. This is elephant. And this is ant. See, common ant is common. So, whenever you want to become elephant, you can become elephant. And whenever you want to become ant, you can become ant. Now, see, this is huge. This is very, very small. And such type of stories are also there. You must have seen. Aladdin, Kachirag, Alibaba, Jinn. When the jinn is inside the bottle, jinn is very, very small. When you open that bottle, jinn will become Vekya hai mere yaka. I will fulfill your all the wishes. Are you getting my point? Now see kids. This is occupying too much space. Too much space it is occupying. And this is occupying very, very less space. Now, suppose if the element has this elephant has to move through a very, very small space, that means pressure will increase. If you increase the pressure, if you increase the pressure on elephant. If you increase the pressure on elephant, what the elephant will do to neutralize this pressure? If you increase the pressure on elephant, this elephant would like to be elephant or it will convert into, it will convert into ant. If you increase the pressure, elephant will convert into ant. So pressure increase, it will go on that side. Once you decrease the pressure, if pressure is decreased, it will come to this side. Now see, the same I have told you that if N2NH2, see N2 gas 
3 times H2 gas, how many moles? 3 plus 1, 4 gaseous moles. On that side, 2 moles of ammonia. How many gaseous moles? Only 2 gaseous moles. So, 4 is a bigger number than 2. So, this is being gaseous, that is also being gaseous, it is occupying too much space, this will convert into that, and if you decrease the pressure, it will come to this side, no need of leach at layer, you can do it by yourself, you can do it by yourself, if you increase the pressure, the reaction will go towards that direction, if you decrease the pressure, the equilibrium will shift to this side, liking or not kids? Are you able to visualize it or not? Do let me know, kids. Now, everyone, now just see to it. Now, my dear students, let me tell you. Let me tell you the most important thing. I am going to tell you the most important thing. That if I say the nitrogen, this is the timeline of nitrogen. Nitrogen's atomic number is 7. So, I can say its maximum oxidation state is plus 5 and minimum oxidation state is minus 3. This is the minimum oxidation state. Am I right, kids? And that is going to be the maximum oxidation state. So, nitrogen. When nitrogen is in plus 5, uh, sorry, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, or plus 4, any of these oxidation states, if nitrogen is in acidic medium, if nitrogen is in acidic medium, it will disproportionate will disproportionate, remember this, this is the fundamental thing kids, in between 0 to 5, nitrogen will always disproportionate, kids, are you able to understand, I am telling you the meaning of each and everything, you are able to understand, no need to cram, first of all, because I cannot see those many hearts, though that fire, that josh, kids, if you are able to understand, show me the some fire, show, I want to see some fire kids in the chat section, then only I will let you know, I can tell you kids, see in how much detail I am going to tell you kids, you will never get such type of lecture anywhere kids, you, you won't be getting kids. I want to see some fire, I want to see some on uh, that, likes should get increased, hit the like button kids, if you have not done that till, I will give uh, this break at 9 o'clock, at 9 I will give you break kids, wow, thank you, thank you, now see kids, you have to remember this thing, the timeline, Along with this, let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing. For phosphorus, let me tell you one more thing. Phosphorus, if I tell you about phosphorus, then my dear friends, for phosphorus, this timeline, this is the minus 3 is the least or lowest oxidation state. Plus 5 is the highest oxidation state. Any oxidation state in between this means minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Any oxidation state in between minus 3 to plus 5 for phosphorus, whether in acidic medium or it is being alkaline medium. Phosphorus will show disproportionation, will show disproportionation, always remember this kids, this is very very important thing I am going to tell you kids, always keep it in your brain that this is required, are you able to understand and I am going to tell you one more thing kids, that will change your life, that will change your life, that if I say the most important thing, 
CBI pass. What I am going to tell you, CBI pass. C for chloride, B for bromide, I for iodide, phosphorus, and sulfur. In alkaline medium, always disproportionate. Alkaline medium undergoes disproportionation. This will make your chemistry super fast, super easy. Is it clear, kids? What is disproportionation? Disproportionation means same atom is losing as well as gaining electron. Same atom is losing. Disproportionation means disproportionation means. Same atom, same type of atom is gaining as well as losing electron or electrons. Got it? Is it clear to all of you? Same type of atom is losing as well as gaining electrons. Disproportionation is always redox reaction. Disproportionation is always disproportionation is always redox. But redox is not always disproportionation. I will give you one example. I will let you know. Just wait. Now. I was telling you what happened to the nitrogen when the temperature increased. Then why in between that I am telling you this thing. That means I don't want to just memorize the reaction. The reaction which I am going to tell you. The Babar is going to tell you that reaction. Not only to cram it. I am going to explain secrets. Just see to it. It's first of all, I'm worried that are you able to understand or not? First of all, to do let me know, kids. Because I'm telling you in detail, no one is going to tell you in this much detail, and no one is going to teach inorganic chemistry on plain slides. First of all, do let me know. Have you seen any teacher? First of all, do let me know. Have you ever seen any teacher who is teaching? On plain slides, Baba is teaching on blank slides, exactly blank. Otherwise, teachers, most of the teachers, 99% of the teachers, they will bring NCERT, they will bring some slides, they will bring some notes, written notes. Baba is here, who is not only explaining the things. Baba using blank slides, kids. At 9, I will give you uh, this uh, break. At 9. Vardhan, I will give you a break at 9. First of all, do let me know. Are you agreed or not? First of all, do let me know. That everyone is agreed with Baba or not. That Baba is teaching in such a detailed concept. Baba is teaching in that much depth. And that is inorganic chemistry on plain side. I am talking about inorganic chemistry, not the physical or organic. I am talking about inorganic chemistry. Now see, the nitrogen with whom always oxygen was saying, I want to react, I want to react. And nitrogen was saying, na 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 goriye. Na, 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 gorie. But once the temperature increase, kids, too much temperature, 200 degrees Celsius temperature, my dear students, nitrogen and oxygen, they got reacted 
and they formed gas known as no gas, no gas, no gas, why so no? It's, can you tell me what is the nature of this gas, nitric oxide, acidic, basic or neutral? Acidic, basic or neutral, what's the nature of this nitric oxide gas? Acidic nature or neutral? Acidic ne everyone is saying acidic. It's remember that CO, NO, N2O, all these three gases are being neutral. So this is being neutral gas. This is being neutral. Neither react with acid nor it will react with base. Now it's nitrogen is having how many electrons five right now the oxidation state of nitrogen is just plus two oxygen called his brother hey brother come nitrogen is having electron electrons are like money and atom is like human being i've told you this thing or not i've told you this thing or not always treat always treat remember this kids if you're new to this channel Baba has told you what? Always treat atom like human beings. An electron is like money. And oxygen is looter. Oxygen is looter. Oxygen loots the money and provides stability. Oxygen says, hey, I will provide stability. But in return, I want what money? You see, COVID pandemic, everyone was worried about oxygen. Everyone was ready for spending money, but they were not getting oxygen. So oxygen provides life, but it needs money, electrons. Now see, oxygen said, hey, bro, come. This nitrogen is having more electrons so NO combined with more oxygen to form what do let me know it will form what it will form NO2 it will form NO2 gas a brown color gas my dear students remember that this brown color gas is acidic this brown colored gas is acidic this is being acidic and one more thing should i tell you it is paramagnetic because because it is having one electron free electron paramagnetic now my dear students this no2 is having plus 4 oxidation state plus 4 oxidation state are you getting my point no2 is having plus 4 oxidation state. now this no2 will react with Yes, water. Now, do let me know when NO2 is going to react with water, what will you get? Now, kids, it's your turn. Whether you tell me from the NCERT or you use your brain, either you can use your brain or you can see from your NCERT this NO2 gas when reacts with water, what will you get? Either you can use your brain. Okay, let me tell you why it is being paramagnetic. Let me tell you why it is being paramagnetic. Just see. Nitrogen is having how many electrons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if I draw NO2, NO2. Now, oxygen got 8. It's 8 completed. Now, let me make these two electrons all together. It will donate its lone pair to another oxygen another oxygen now this is odd electron odd electron odd electron and that's why it will dimerize it will dimerize to form n2o4 n2o4 anyways do let me know first of all everyone do let me know what will you get the question is what will you get I'm waiting for your answer. 
Yes, yes, yes. Nitric acid. Deep, uh, Deepan Bala is asking Chatterjee, NO is having electrons and oxygen will snatch its electron. Seek it. Everyone is writing HNO3. Now, my dear friends, do let me know. This is reaction in between NO2 and water. This is acidic oxide. Acidic oxide. Do remember that as the oxidation state increases, acidic strength of oxide increases. As the oxidation state increases, the acidic character increases. Okay, now my dear friends, once the HNO3 is formed, this is acid and NO2 is in plus 4 oxidation state. And what I have told you kids, in acidic medium, whenever nitrogen is in the oxidation state of 1 to 4, just see this slide, just see this slide, what I have told you, whenever the nitrogen is either in plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4 oxidation state in acidic medium, where it is one in acidic medium, just see to it, in acidic medium, it will undergo disproportionation or not. This thing I have told you, it will undergo disproportionation. So, the answer will be, so, nitrogen plus 4 oxidation state, it has formed plus 4. 5 oxidation state plus 5 oxidation state. Now, 4 to plus 5 oxidation state means oxidation has taken place. Oxidation has taken place. And once the oxidation has taken place, these reactions are somewhat reversible. Now, HNO3 is not that much acidic. So, acidic medium disproportionation has to take place along with HNO3 which other gas should get formed means having lower oxidation state. So, NO will also get formed. Just check it out, NO, because in NO, the oxidation state is plus 2. There it is oxidation and here it is reduction. So, my dear students, nitrogen is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction. So, this is disproportionation reaction just check it out my dear friends i will tell you how to find out oxidation state but before that before that gets you will never get this type of lecture anywhere kids right now i am just on nicogen family only see kids and how much time has been passed four hours have gone just in these four hours, I am at Nicogen family only. See in how much depth I am telling you the things gets. Now, just first of all, just check out in your NCRT. This is written or not. Just check it out in your NCRT. Everyone just check it out. No one is going to tell you. Check. Check in your NCRT. Check NCERT. And this is no need of cramming, no need to cram. This Baba is telling you the concept, each and every concept. Page number 179, old NCRT, 179 old. That means it should be given on 187 new. Am I right, kids? Just check it out. New NCRT, it must be on 187. First of all, everyone. Just after 15 minutes, I will give you the break kits. Everyone do let me know, this is given or not. Now, how to find out the oxidation state? Some kids are asking about the oxidation state. Just see to it. There are two ways. Suppose if I write NO2. One is kid way for kids and one for grown up child which way would you like to which way would you like to see the kid way or the grown up child in the air in the air or in the written way oxidation state how to find out oxidation state would you like to see in the written way 
और एयर वे रिटर्न वे और एयर वे विच वे वुड यू लाइक टू सी रिटर्न और इन द एयर और बोथ और बोथ बोथ ओ माई गॉड बोथ नाउ सी इफ वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट इट्स ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट टेक इट एक्स एंड वन ऑक्सीजन एटोमिक नंबर इज सिक्स तो टू सिक्स एंड टू कंप्लीट इट सॉफ्ट इट ऑक्सीजन इज नीड ऑफ टू मोर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट इज गेनिंग टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट्स ऑप्टेड विल गेट कंप्लीट टू एट सो वन ऑक्सीजन नीड्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो एक्स प्लस टू इन टू माइनस टू एंड द कंपाउंड इज न्यूट्रल सो विल राइट जीरो वाई वी आर राइटिंग जीरो कंपाउंड इज न्यूट्रल सो एक्स माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो so x is equal to plus 4 can you see or if i if i am interested in hno3 just see h n o3 so hydrogen donates one electron 1 plus x plus 3 into minus 2 no charge on the compound 0 so 1 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 5 this is a written way can you see this is the written way now now i am going to tell you in the air just see air 2 to the 4 2 oxygen has snatched four electrons from this nitrogen so plus 4 3 oxygen have snatched six electrons six electrons so it has given one so it must have given five that's it Six, three to the six. Oxygen needs six electron. One from hydrogen. So how many from nitrogen? Five from nitrogen. That's it. Got it? Is everyone clear? Now see kids. What this HNO three will do? HNO three. Role of HNO three. Now my dear students. One more thing. This ammonia. We have got this ammonia. by the combination of by the combination of n2 and h2 in the presence of finely divided iron 450 degrees celsius temperature and 200 atmos pressure this process was known as haver's process haver's process now my dear students there is urea urea also says i will produce ammonia urea you have, have you heard urea nh2 co nh2 this is urea neither urea nor urea urea when this reacts with water this urea forms ammonium carbonate nh4 whole twice CO3 and if you heat this ammonium carbonate, this is nothing actually. This ammonium carbonate is the combination of ammonium hydroxide basic plus H2CO3 acidic, and this is nothing. If you eliminate out water from this, if you eliminate out water from this, this is being ammonia gas, and if you eliminate out water from this. this is carbon dioxide gas so see if you heat this ammonium carbonate this will give ammonium hydroxide plus h2co3 and they will finally give ammonia gas and carbon dioxide gas and water so this is ammonia preparation you got it i hope that everyone is able to understand now this is the first approach this is the second approach first and second approach is there any third approach also yes my dear students now you will say sir these many things yeah they are organic chemistry also they are inorganic chemistry also and they can be asked in physical chemistry also haver's process lee chatelier's principle chemical equilibrium now see kids the third way how you can prepare ammonia just see and remember one thing all ammonium salts and this is we are going to salt analysis all ammonium salts
on reaction with alkali on reaction with alkali on reaction with or we can say or heating with on heating with alkali releases ammonia gas releases ammonia gas now my dear students this is the concept you must have seen in Jeldal's method and Dumas method class 11th organic chemistry purification of organic compound you must have seen now my dear students if you take any salt of ammonia like if I say ammonium chloride if I say I am having ammonium chloride and I am heating it with NaOH what I am supposed to get on heating I will get ammonia gas ammonia gas now what is left ammonia I got that means NaCl and water NaCl and water these are the side products no need to remember now if I say I have got ammonium sulfate NH4 hold twice SO4 ammonium sulfate you are going to heat it with alkali what do you get you will get ammonia gas once again ammonia gas now what is left Na2SO4 and water Na2SO4 and water is left side product no need to remember now all they are giving ammonia now ammonia is very very important kids Wow, that's fantastic, Vijay Gaming, fantastic. Now, my dear students, why ammonia is very, very important? I'm going to tell you, just see to it. I'm going to tell you very, very important thing. Very, very important concept I'm going to tell you. Once there was water, once there was water, ting, 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 ting. This is being water. Now, once ammonia have seen this water, ammonia said, oh, let me take bath. So, ammonia got interested in taking bath. Now, my dear friend, ammonia is being basic. And this is being amphotric, so it will act as an acid. So, it will donate its one proton to ammonia. Water will donate one proton and that proton will be accepted by ammonia. So, once this is losing, see, it is sp3 hybridized percentage of S character is only 25. So, they will combine together and this will become ammonium. And because this ammonium has in dirt inside the water. So, this ammonium has to live with OH negative in the form of ammonium hydroxide NH4 positive OH negative and this is known as ammonium hydroxide or it can be written as like this ammonium ammonia aqueous ammonia aqueous till now I hope this is clear now what it will do kids first of all the concept is clear if the concept is clear now let me tell you what this is going to do kids very very important point if you are having any salt of iron like fe cl3 and ammonium hydroxide will go over there and it will form fe oh whole thrice remember that and this is being the precipitate reddish brown precipitate always remember this point it is being reddish brown PPT, reddish brown precipitate. How will you remember? Just see how to remember. Trick I am going to tell you fever. Fever. What is the code? Fever. Fever means ferric hydroxide is brown in color. Fever. Ferric hydroxide is brown PPT, brown PPT. But there are four elements in this world whose hydroxides are soluble in ammonium hydroxide and that is very good. Let me tell you kids, this is for salt hydrolysis also. Let me tell you very, very important thing kids. You know that in your chemistry this time P block, salt, salt analysis is there. That is inorganic 
प्रैक्टिकल केमिस्ट्री दैट इज इन ऑर्गेनिक प्रैक्टिकल केमिस्ट्री इज देयर एंड फॉर दैट सॉल्ट एनालिसिस सॉल्ट एनालिसिस इन ऑर्गेनिक प्रैक्टिकल केमिस्ट्री और कैन से क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस यू कैन आल्सो कॉल इट क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस क्वालि qualitative analysis this is really very very important kids qualitative analysis what is important the important point very very important point i am going to tell you kids do remember this point always keep it in your brain that all hydroxides are precipitate all hydroxides except except sodium potassium rubidium cesium are precipitates are ppt agreed there are there are four only four four metal hydroxides which are soluble in which are soluble in soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide now see kids the funda i am going to tell you this is not only important for practical chemistry this is also important for organic chemistry also tollens and phalanx test now see why p block is important this is important for tollens test as well as phalanx test now my dear students you must be thinking sir whether we have to study or we have not to study because we are have, we are supposed to study the reduced syllabus now my dear students these things will either come in the salt analysis or organic chemistry let's see and wait see kids if you are having copper chloride let's take copper chloride copper chloride and if you add ammonium hydroxide to this if you add ammonium hydroxide to this my dear students you will get light blue copper hydroxide ppt remember this the color of this is light blue precipitate light blue ppt now once you add excess of ammonium hydroxide to this ammonium hydroxide in excess then you will get dark blue dark blue cu nh3 hole four oh hole twice first you will get sulfate or sulfate is not there so oh hole twice and if you remember this compound its hybridization was dsp2 if you have studied coordination chemistry but huggins et al said sp2d sp2d according to huggins et al but if you remember my dear friends this is your what this is your phalanx solution and the color of this is dark blue solution dark blue solution dark blue solution and if you remember this is phalanx solution do you remember kids this is being your phalanx solution if you remember kids now is this inorganic chemistry is this being inorganic chemistry or it is being organic chemistry or it is being physical chemistry kids or it is being salt analysis first of all do let me know because one minute is left let me tell you in one minute one more thing then i will give you a break then i will give you a break kids see if i say i am having agcl if i say i'm provided with ag oh my god i was supposed to tell you what are those four elements 
whose hydroxides are solvent in excess of ammonium hydroxide. Let me tell you, those four metal hydroxides are Ag plus Ag Cu Mg Zn. These are those four metals whose hydroxides are soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide. How will you remember this? Their hydroxides are soluble in are soluble in excess of NH4OH. How will you remember it, kids? See. How will you remember it, kids? Is there any trick? Or should I make the trick, kids? Do you know any trick or should I make the trick? Cousin is having Maggie in silver apparatus. Remember that? Cousin, cousin, where is cousin? Where is cousin? This is cousin. Cousin is having Maggie in silver apparatus. In silver apparatus. Cousin, cousin is having Maggie in silver apparatus. And Ammi, Ammi means ammonium. Ammi dissolved it. Ammi, Ammi means Ammi dissolved it in water. Ammi dissolved it in water. Ammi dissolved it dissolve it in water how is the trick kids cousin is having cousin is having maggie in silver apparatus and ammi dissolve it in water ammi dissolve it in water cousin so this is the trick baba's trick the last point before the break, last point before the break, I am going to tell you, kids, I want to see some fire in the chat section. Baba is giving you so many tricks and the things. Now see kids, AG, if I am provided with AgCl and if I react with ammonium hydroxide, I will get AgOH, then excess of ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide in excess, my dear student, I will get Ag NH3 whole twice OH, or I can write it down like this Ag NH3 whole twice positive. Kids, what do you say? Do you remember this? Is this P block or this is tolerance reagent? Is this P block or this is being tolerance reagent? Kids, do let me know. This is P block or this is being tolerance reagent. It is being tolerance reagent. Do let me know, kids. Everyone, now my dear students, how the chemistry is interrelated now. It's 20.03, 4 hours past. Right now, I'm at Nicogen family only. Just see the depth of this labels. So, I'm going to give you the break, but before that, kids, before that. Kids, do let me know. Should I tell you in a short or in detail? Because anything can come from here after the break you tell me i don't know whether the whole p block today i'll be able to complete or not but should i tell you in a short or should i tell you each and everything first of all do let me know 
everyone I want to see according to that should I tell you see each and every each and every point I am telling in detail I'm not giving just to cram it I'm telling you each and everything kids okay I can see your love your support that's really fantastic you are liking it so I want to see fire in the chat section and then I'm going to give you the break it's 25 so we will meet at 2030 Meet at 20, it's 20 means 4 hours past. So let's meet at 8.30. Okay, only 3 hours past, not 4. So, okay kids, okay kids, say yes, everyone write down yes and come with energy. Uh, everyone, you have to come with energy. Come with energy. Come with energy. And come with energy as well as NCERT. As well as NCERT also. I will show you the magic. I will show you the magic. Baba will show you the magic of inorganic chemistry. Baba will show you the magic of inorganic chemistry. Come with friends also, okay? Come with friends. Come with NCRT, come with energy. Baba is going to tell you, Baba is going to show you the magic. ATP means energy.
Pranam Suswagatam. Welcome once again to this HSP in World of Chemistry at this Unacademy platform. My dear students, right now we are going to deal with HNO3. So, how is the Josh? I want to see Josh with the fire symbol. Yes, kids, let me see. Are you with full Josh? I want to see fire in the chat section, my dear students. Yes. My dear students, this is the time you have to be regular, obedient, with full of energy kits. See, Baba is here, standing in front of you. Now, HNO3, the turn of HNO3, I will let you know how much important HNO3 is. Because HNO3 is important for P block. HNO3 is important for salt analysis and HNO3 is important for organic chemistry, physical chemistry everywhere. Wow. Wow, my dear students. J, yeah, it is important for J boards as well as neat examination. Dushant Balaji, I can see. I don't know up to what time the class will go. But I can promise, I can assure you only one thing, my dear students. Baba will not leave even a single concept to be untouched. Whatever is important, whatever can come in your examination, whether it is what type of examination, only for NEET, syllabus of NEET as well as K is almost similar, my dear students, with the point of view of that's inorganic chemistry. If I talk about inorganic chemistry, because inorganic chemistry is going to decide the rank. So, is everyone ready? So, everyone is ready, my dear friends. Call your friends. Call your friends. Everyone, I want to see the like button. You have to smash it. I want to see likes should get increased. I know that after the break, some new students must have joined. Some new students must have joined, so I want to see likes to get increased and the HNO3, how we formed HNO3, what was the story of HNO3, let me tell you kids, we got, we got what, we got, yeah in the starting it was nitrogen, in the starting it was nitrogen gas, then that gas reacted with Hydrogen gas to Havers process, if I tell you, Havers process, and that has converted it into ammonia. Now, my dear students, this has also reacted with oxygen. This has also reacted with oxygen O2. It formed nitric oxide that reacted with oxygen that formed NO2, and that reacted with water. And it has formed HNO3 plus NO. Now you see the NO was used. In the starting NO was used and it is producing NO. What sense can you correlate? I have told you come with NCERT. NO was the reactant. This NO was the reactant. If you see the mind map, I am going to tell you the mind map. This was the reactant and this is the product. The reactant is acting as product once again. Once again, it will go over there and get recycled. Can you see? It will get recycled and examiner can frame out question at this place. Recycled. It will get recycled. Recycled. Just see the beauty. Now, this HNO3, we got HNO3. Now, ammonia will also give HNO3. See, one process. The process I am going to tell you for the pro pro production of HNO3, that is known as Ostwald's process. Ostwald's process, this you must have studied in class 11th or class 9th, 10th. Your teacher must have told you, my dear students, what is this process? Let me show you the beauty of this process. That... 45, 45 and 46, 45, 
and 46 just see 45 46 now what is this 45 and 46 just decode it 45 46 45 and 46 i mean 4 moles of ammonia plus 5 moles of oxygen in the presence of rhodium or platinum you will get 4 moles of no plus 6 moles of water is the reaction balance no need of balanced reaction but just try to see is this reaction this is the plus sign not no plus it's not being no plus this is being the plus sign this is being the plus sign 6 moles of h2o oh is right <laughs> it's, it's plus 6 moles of h2o is this balance 6 to a 6 to the 12 and 4 3 is a 12 it's balanced now this no once again you know that no no you got no and this will recycle to give hno3 so this is old world process my dear friends now see what this hno3 is going to do see kids but before i am going to tell you the role of hno3 we should know electrochemical series if you know electrochemical series then it's fantastic well and good if you don't know electrochemical series then say you want to know if you want to know show me the green hearts then i will understand that you want to know electrochemical series if you don't know electrochemical series you won't be able to do anything electrochemical series ecs i can say e c s this electrochemical series 15 percent of the inorganic chemistry is based on this electrochemical series electrochemistry redox reaction means total 25 percent of the chemistry is based on this electrochemical series if you don't know you can't do anything and to understand to get the best frank you should know you should know i want to see the green signal if yes oh is punk cream ma'am is there oh that's really fantastic if ma'am is there so great teacher and wish you very happy new may almighty god bless you with all happiness and prosperity if ma'am is there sir is there that's really fantastic really kids oh ma'am is not there okay no problem kids see to it show me the green signal if you want to know otherwise see this is the electrochemical series lithium potassium okay this the first tanja and its trick is like baba sir can soda do magic the trick is like baba sir can soda do magic soda do magic first of all do let me know like baba sir like baba sir can soda do magic this is alkali metal and these are up to here alkaline earth metals then once again alkali and then magnesium like baba sir can soda do magic what does it mean like means l-i-k like baba barium baba sir strontium can calcium Soda and A can do magic like Baba sir. Can soda do magic? Liking it? Are you liking it or not, kids? Like Baba sir, can soda do magic? Hey, kids. Everyone, write down at least in the chat section. Then, then only you can remember it. It's it holds a hell lot of weightage like baba sir can soda do magic why to sing other songs why to sing movie song you can sing your song your chemistry song and then definitely you are going to get the rank like baba sir can soda do magic like baba sir can soda do magic after this after this after this the so second stanza let's see the second stanza like baba sir can soda do magic like 
बाबसो कैन सोडा डू मैजिक All men, all man in jink car. All men, all man in jinnis car or jink car. All men in jinnis car. Like Babas can soda do magic. Everyone say, like Babas, like. Baba, so can soda do magic? All man in jink car felt cold, felt cold, felt cold, felt cold. Felt, felt Canadian cold. Felt, felt Canadian. You know, in Canada, in Canada, the temperature goes from minus twenty eight degree Celsius to minus fifty three degree Celsius. Felt Canadian cold. Canadian cold at Nishan Pub in Hyderabad. At Nishan Pub. Nishan Pub in Hyderabad. First of all, do let me know. Everyone is able to understand this much. Everyone is able to cram it. Like Baba, see how many stanzas are there. Let me divide it into stanzas so that better you can remember it. Otherwise, you won't be able to do anything. This part. Like Baba Sir, can soda do magic? Like Baba Sir, can soda do magic? All men in Jinnis car. 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 Felt Canadian cold. Felt Canadian cold. Felt Canadian cold. Felt. Canadian cold at Nysen pub in Hyderabad. It's this is going to help you a lot. First of it's wow. So everyone sing along with me because nothing to keep for homework. Like Baba Su can soda do magic. All men all men in Jinnis car felt Canadian cold. At Nice and Pub. At Nice and Pub. Is it clear? Because this is going to play a very, very important role. Like Baba Sir, can soda do magic? All man in Jinnis car felt Canadian cold at Nice and Pub in Hyderabad. Very good, very good. First of all, kids, you know that in Hindi, I made it 24 years back. In English, this trick I made. What, 24 years back, Likwa Sir ka naam alvanjan kar fake do nishani par betha hai loku eji eji pandita ho, completed. But in English, I made it just 15 days back along with the help of Avengers Patch. Avengers Patch students helped me a lot, lot, lot. Now, my dear students, after hydrogen, after hydrogen, there is, there is, C U H G A G P D P T A U. These are below hydrogen. These elements, these whatever the elements I have written right now, these are below hydrogen. Their SRP value, SOP value is negative. Their SOP is negative. SOP is negative and their SOP is positive. SOP standard oxidation potential value is positive. They are good reducing agent. These are the best reducing agent. 
these are mediocre reducing agent these are very very less reducing agent and these are not the reducing agent what it gets once it is clear then i am going to tell you then i am going to tell you gets okay now see once this is clear now i can tell you the role of hno3 just see role of hno3 you know that hno3 is an acid acid nitrating agent and oxidizing agent see the oxidation state is plus 5 plus 5 so oxidizing agent on oxidizing agent so it will undergo reduction oxidizing agent is it clear to all of you now my dear students the most important thing when it is going to react with metal what it will do when HNO3 is going to react with metals what it will do if it is going to attack elements like Au platinum these are noble metals no effect no effect no effect first of all no effect if it is going to react with some element just see this is very very important point the elements which forms layer of oxide these elements they form they form oxide layer they form oxide layer and that's why they are not reactive they, that's why they are not reactive it's these elements they are very inert why they are very inert just see platinum gold you must have seen girls ladies singers they are wearing ornaments of gold suppose if they are wearing ornaments of sodium when they are going to take a bath sodium will zoom will be explosive magnesium broom oh my god <laughs> what is going to happen so they are wearing ornaments of gold platinum that is not reactive so these are noble elements highly stable elements but these elements are not stable but they form oxide layer that's why not reactive that's why not reactive now kids there are two ways in which we can learn see FeCO NiCr aluminium now it's very tough to remember but we can do one thing just see if you see at the back where is chromium here is chromium here is aluminium aluminium all men in zinc car you can see felt Canadian cold now see all men in zinc car all men in zinc car felt Canadian cold this is easy way you can see this is easy way which elements are forming oxide layer you can see aluminium is there chromium is there nickel is there felt canadian cold in night felt canadian cold one thing is missing see one is missing here no nickel is there see felt canadian cold aluminium is there chromium is there and these are the elements which are forming oxide layer in this way it is easy now let me tell you some other things what will happen when this HNO3 is going to react now I am going to give you one table one important table just see to it kids just see to it effect of HNO3 let me divide in two three parts so in first part this is being the first part and this is being the second part and second part let me divide in two parts the second part i am going to divide in two parts second part let me divide in two parts i've divided in two parts just see to it kids 
the first part is having um, metal rest of the other metals plus concentrated HNO3 concentrated HNO3 so you will get metal nitrate water and naughty gas which is being naughty gas NO2 naughty gas one thing is clear one thing is very clear kids the first line I hope it's very much clear to all of you now just see the second line in second line I will write dilute HNO3 means up to 20 percent concentrated and very very dilute HNO3 that is I would like to say 6 percent to 10 percent now just see this is very very important kids number of times they have asked question number of times they have asked question based on this just see to it kids this one is very very important and this one I will divide it into two parts just see everyone try to understand one is Maggie man Maggie man will release hydrogen gas hydrogen gas remember that with very very dilute HNO3 magnesium and manganese will give hydrogen gas most important thing my dear student now see the another one is Fe Zn tin Fe Zn tin will evolve ammonia gas ammonia gas ammonia gas now how will you remember this how will you remember this Ginny's son is having iron rod and giving to Ammi. What is the trick? Ginny's son is having iron rod and that rod is giving to Ammi. Ginny's son, the trick is, trick is Ginny's son, Ginny means, let me write down like this, Ginny's son is giving iron rod to Ammi. Ginny's son is giving iron rod to Ammi. Ginny's son. Okay, let me rub this. Otherwise, no space is there. Now. Ginny's son is giving iron rod to Ammi. Now, is it clear? Ginny's son is giving iron rod to Ammi. Is it clear? Maggie man is releasing hydrogen gas and Ginny's son is giving iron rod to Ammi. First of all, do let me know. Everyone, I can't see your anything in the chat section if you are able to understand always show me some thumbs up or the green heart so that I can understand it's you are far away from me but your chat section whatever you are writing in the chat that will make easier to understand whether you are getting it or not my dear students please don't do that this is the new year and Baba is here oh my god on new year also Baba is here Baba has Baba is celebrating his new year along with you kids Baba has not gone to any pub, TV. Baba has not gone to any other place for eating this thing, that thing. Baba is celebrating his first day of this new year with you kids, the future doctor engineers. Kids. Now, Maggie Man is releasing hydrogen gas. Let me write down. Maggie Man. Maggie Man. Maggie man is releasing hydrogen gas, H2 gas and Ginny's son is giving iron rod to Ammi. Now see kids, 
here also I would like to divide it into two parts, divide it into two parts. What's that? Let me divide it first, then I will tell you what's that. Now see kids. FP and ZN. L, this is going to give you N2O, N2O gas, whereas tin with this dilute HNO3 will give you once again ammonia. Now, let me tell you, my dear friends, one theory, one part this ammonia, this ammonia will react with HNO3 to give ammonium nitrate. So, whether in the option ammonia is given or ammonium nitrate is given, both means same, both means same kits. And if you heat ammonium nitrate, if you heat ammonium nitrate, you will get N2O. If you heat ammonium nitrate, you will get N2O. Now, this, this is very important what I am going to tell you, see kids. See, I have told you I have not gone to the pub. They will release NO gas, NO gas, NO gas, nitric oxide gas that is being neutral. Both of these two gases are being neutral. Pub, pub, see you having hug, silvery hugs. Now, how will you remember this? In the pub, see you is having silvery hugs. So, how to remember in the pub, in the pub, in the pub. CU is having silvery hug. They will release NO gas. Just remember in the pub, in the pub, trick is in the pub, CU is having silvery hugs. And people said, no, 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 this is not good. So everyone said, no, 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 this is not good. This is not good. It's, is it clear to all of you? Do let me know, is it clear to each and everyone? Now, my dear students, I have told you that platinum and gold will not react with HNO3. Platinum and gold will not react with HNO3. Then see, just see, if you take Aqua regia. What is aqua regia? Aqua regia is also known as aqua regia is also known as royal water. Royal water. Royal water. And this is made up of one part of one part of concentrated HNO3 and three parts of concentrated HCl both together will combine to give you what they will combine together to produce nascent chlorine they will combine together to produce nascent chlorine and if you react AU with aqua regia it's you will get HAU Cl4 Oro chloric acid, oro chloric acid, its name is oro chloric acid, oro chloric acid. And if you react platinum with aqua regia, you will get kits H2PTCL6, H2PTCL6. So remember that these were the noble elements which were not reacting with HNO3, but they will react with aqua regia. Is it clear to all of you, my dear friend? Do let me know. Now I'm going to show you the magic of phosphorus. If everyone is ready, then only kids. Is everyone ready, kids? I'm going to sh show you the magic of phosphorus. Phosphorus, hey, phosphorus. Phosphorus, phosphorus. Is everyone ready? C4. 
Y2, Y2, Vaxi, Vaxi, glowing in the dark. Y2, Y2, Vaxi, Vaxi, glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. This is known as Cami Luminescence. Cami Lumini sense cami luminous sense but this is poisonous what is the reason why it is being poisonous oh my god you are poisonous so somebody asked why you are poisonous this phosphorus said oh i'm too much strained i'm too much strained too much strain what type of strain you are feeling that is being angular strain angle strain oh my god so my dear students are you ready kids people are feeling getting bored i think kids i think you got tired everyone do let me know you got tired just after the break Do let me know. Now, my dear friends, this is white phosphorus. It is waxy, glowing in dark, and this phenomena is known as cami luminescence. Cami luminescence, and that's why it is highly reactive form of phosphorus. Reactive. Now, how people are going to store it? How people are going to protect it just see to it i'm going to tell you kids remember always that phosphorus is kept in as long as the phosphorus is inside the water remember that as long as the phosphorus is inside the water water will protect this phosphorus so if the examiner is asking if the examiner is asking how the phosphorus is protected phosphorus plus water nothing will happen stable just like sodium catches fire with water sodium is kept under kerosene in the same way p4 is kept along with water otherwise it will catch fire it will catch fire it will catch fire kids torsional stain i will tell you what is torsional stain jyoti don't worry i will tell you now see it is stable nothing will happen now see let me tell you phosphorus this is your phosphorus one bond e north south east west east or west north or south just see what is going to happen pp T P T P T P and T P and P P. Just see, one phosphorus is having how many sigma bonds right now? One sigma, two sigma, three sigma, and this is being its lone pair. All the phosphorus they are having lone pair. Three sigma bonds. You can see what is the hybridization. Steric number is how much? Steric number is number of sigma bonds plus lone pair localized. So three sigma bonds plus one lone pair four. So it is sp3 hybridized. According to sp3 hybridization, what is the bond angle? Supposed bond angle kits. SP3 hybridization says bond angle should be 109 degree, 109 degree. But math says this bond angle is just 60 degree. This bond angle is just 60 degree. See, kids, what is strain? Let me tell you, kids. Let me tell you. This is my hand, and this is this is finger, middle finger, or whatever the finger. If I take, and if I somebody is 
putting force in the opposite direction of my finger and wants to touch this finger over here. What will happen? Just try. Don't do that too much. Don't apply too much force. Just try. If you apply force on this finger and you want to roll it down and you want to touch it over here, what will happen? Just do let me know what is going to happen. Kids, do let me know what is going to happen. Hey kids, do let me know if you if you want to touch this finger over here, you will feel a strain. You will feel a strain. You will feel strain. So chemistry says 109 degree is supposed to be 109 degree, but it is actual 60 degree. So how much strain? 49 degree strain is there angle strain that's why this phosphorus is unstable i hope that everyone is able to understand now everyone is able to understand kids do let me know now if this phosphorus if this phosphorus is coming outside the water if this phosphorus is coming outside the water my dear friends or somebody has thrown inside this inside this water was there water was there phosphorus was there and somebody has thrown NaOH if somebody has thrown NaOH to this NaOH now the medium is basic basic medium kids I've told you one thing in the starting in the acidic as well as basic medium if phosphorus is lying in between minus 3 and plus 5 oxidation state what will happen kids do let me know what will happen if phosphorus is lying in between minus 3 to plus 5 oxidation state what is going to happen disproportionation will take place and here phosphorus is in zero oxidation state so it will undergo disproportionation and just understand what will you get kids disproportionation and you will get pH3 phosphine gas phosphine poisonous gas you will get poisonous gas invisible invisible you cannot see invisible gas invisible uh, rotten rotten fish smell rotten fish smell and along with this you will get NaH2PO2 this is known as sodium hypophosphite hypophosphite now how to name it I will let you know when I when I'm going to tell you the oxy acids then i will let you know now my dear friends just see to it now let me tell you this is h3po2 h3po2 is what it is hypophosphorus acid hypophosphorus acid phosphorus acid and why it is hypophosphorus acid i will let you know very soon i am going to tell you oxy acid then you can understand now my dear friends here phosphorus is in zero oxidation state from zero oxidation state phosphorus has turned to minus 3 from 0 to minus 3 this is being reduction you can see this is being reduction and from this two can find out 1 plus 2 plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 so 1 plus 3 3 minus 1 x is equal to 1 plus 1 that means from here 0 to plus 1 it has undergone oxidation and that you can see this is redox reaction and this reaction has been asked number of times in the examination the examiner has asked number of times this thing now my dear friends let me tell you if phosphorus is coming outside the water what will happen see if phosphorus is not in water if phosphorus has come outside the water then phosphorus will catch fire in the oxidation oxygen is being looter electron snatcher electron snatcher this is being looter it will loot electrons of this and it will form either 
P2O3 or it will form P2O5. P2O5. Now P2O3 will dimerize to give P4O6 and this will dimerize to give P4O10. P4O10. This will dimerize to give P4O10 that will dimerize. Now, my dear student, let me tell you one more thing before going ahead how the 3 and 5 oxidation state is coming how will you understand here the oxidation state is plus 3 here the oxidation state is plus 5 how to find out plus 3 and plus 5 otherwise you have to cram let me tell you kids let me tell you just see if i talk about nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth let me tell you kids if i say this is the first period second period third period fourth period fifth period sixth period if you see that on moving down the group the metallic character is increasing metallic character is increasing now my dear students they all these elements can show this is 2s2 2p3 all they are 2s2 means as you go down the group 3s2 3p3 now here 3d 10 4s2 this is, i have told you in the starting now 4d10 now 5s2 5p3 now here 4f14 5d10 6s2 6p3 just see this is known as lanthanoid contraction if you remember this is known as lanthanoid contraction lanthanoid contraction and due to lanthanoid contraction my dear students lanthanoid contraction and due to lanthanoid contraction there will be inert electron pair effect inert electron pair effect what is that inert electron pair effect says its nucleus will put that force on the outermost electron that these two electrons will not these two electrons will not be able to participate in the bonding because of the Z effective will increase high effective nuclear charge these electrons will not be able to will not be able to participate in the bonding participate in bonding now if it is not able to participate in bonding only three electrons will participate so it's plus three oxidation state is stable now my dear friends just look at here here is D, D orbital contraction. This is lanthanoid contraction, D orbital, and this is D. See, let me tell you, D is having poor shielding. Poor shielding. Poor shielding. Shielding, you know, I have told you in the predictable. And F is having very, very poor shielding screening effect that is known as you must have studied. And due to this, on moving down the group, the tendency of S electron to participate decreases due to inert electron pair effect. So, I would like to say on going down the group, the plus 3 oxidation state becomes stable. And tendency to take electron because the metallic character is increasing. So, tendency to take electron decreases. So, minus 3 oxidation state on moving down the group decreases. And plus 5 oxidation state also decreases and this is given in your NCERT. So, let me tell you the consequence of this. The conse As a consequence, on moving, on moving down the group, in Nikogen family, Nikogen family plus 5 and minus 3 oxidation state decreases stability of uh, family plus 5 and minus 3 oxidation state is stability decreases whereas 
whereas whereas plus 3 oxidation state stability increases 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 this is written in ncrt if you check your ncrt the statement must be given over there and this is the reason which i have told you my dear students and if i say bismuth being the metal only bif5 is known because only the fluorine has got that tendency to snatch electron of bismuth then bif5 is only known my dear students now see what I was telling you, why, why I have told you all these things, what was the reason which I have told you, I was teaching you this thing, I was teaching you this thing, that phosphorus can form plus 3 and plus 5, both the, both the oxidation state, because phosphorus is nitrogen phosphorus, so both the oxidation states are okay for the phosphorus now, my dear students, once it is going to combine over here, over here, the examiner will ask question how many lone pairs are there in P4O10, how many POP bonds are there, such type of questions examiner will ask, what type of questions the examiner is going to ask, examiner will ask questions, questions will be number of lone pairs, first question, second question they can ask, number of pop bonds third question number of pp bonds now to answer all these questions are you ready i'm going to tell you i'm going to tell you see see how to find out how to find out just see to it if i say P, 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 and P, east, west, north, south. Now, there was P, P, P. There was P, 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 4 P. Once they got oxygen, now they will form a bond like this, P, O, P. Papa has become pop. After getting oxygen, Papa has become what? Papa has become pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. Now just see, pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. Now one more pop. Just see to it. One more pop. Pop. P O P. Pop. Pop. Now see, pop. Just write down the formula. What will you write? P four. Oh, how much? 4 and 2, 6. P4, O6. Am I right, kids? That is the dimer of P2, O3. Now, if they are asking how many POP linkages, just do let me know. The question, question A, how many POP linkages? How many POP linkages? Do let me know, kids. How many POP linkages? Yes, what's your answer? What's your answer? How many POP linkages? How many POP linkages kids do? Let me know. Answer is, answer is 6. Now, question number 2. How many sigma bonds? Question number 2. No, no, not how many sigma bonds. How many lone pairs? How many lone pairs? How many lone pairs kids do? Let me know. How many lone pairs? What's your answer? What's your answer? How many lone pairs? Now see kids, every phosphorus is having how many lone pairs? Each phosphorus is having one lone pair, one lone pair, one lone pair, one lone pair and every oxygen is having two lone pairs, two lone pairs, two lone pairs, two lone pairs. So 4 into 1, 4 into 1 that is 4 and 6 into 2 that is 12 and 12 plus 4 that is answer is being 6 or 12 plus 4, 12 plus 4, that is being 16. It's clear to all of you. Everyone got it? Everyone got it? If yes, yes. Now, let me show you P4O10. 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 
410. Just see to it. P, 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 P. So I have told you, pop, 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 pop. This already we know very well. Pop, 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 pop. Now, once again, let me write down pop. and pop pop just see to it one pop another pop now kids there was lone pair here also you will see you will see double bond o you will get double bond o double bond o double bond o so it will look like this see to it everyone it will be like this Double bond O, double bond O, double bond O, double bond O. Now check it. What is this? How much valency? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So oxidation state of all the phosphorus is plus 5, plus 5. There it was plus 3, plus 5, plus 5. Now see kids, how many lone pairs and how many POP linkages you can see. POP linkages are remaining same. But how many lone pairs? What's your answer for the lone pairs, kids? Lone pairs. Now, lone pairs. Question is number of lone pairs. Now, you will see P4O10. P4O10. Phosphorus is not having any lone pair. So, 4 into 0 plus 1 oxygen is having 2 lone pairs. So, 10 into 2 that is coming out 20 lone pairs am i right kids everyone got it not 12 it's 20 it's o10 and all the oxygens they are having two lone pairs all the oxygens they are having two lone pairs are you getting my point kids is it clear to all of you is the answer clear to all of you my dear friend do let me know it's not 22 10 oxygens are there just see how many oxygens 1 2 3 4 5 6 and for 10. If you are able to understand, show me the green hearts, kids. If everyone is able to understand, show me the fire or the green hearts. Show me the fire or the green hearts. I want to see kids. Now, my dear friends, after understanding this much, I am going to tell you very, very important thing oxy acids of phosphorus. It holds a hell lot of weightage, a number of questions will come from here. Just try to understand, my dear friends. Just try to understand. Just see. Oxy acids of phosphorus. I'm going to tell you oxy acids of phosphorus. Oxy acids of phosphorus. Are you ready, kids? This is really very, very important. What is the necessary condition for oxy acid? It should have P double bond O and OH. At least this structure is necessary for being the oxy acid. One P double bond O and OH. Why this is necessary? Let me tell you. It will release this proton. This is acidic hydrogen. This is being acidic hydrogen. Acidic hydrogen. And once it has gone, it will look like this P double bond O, O negative, and like this, it will do resonance. This compound is resonance stabilized. This compound is being resonance stabilized. Will do resonance stabilized by resonance. So conjugate base is stable. This is conjugate base, and that is being stable. Conjugate base stable stabilized by resonance so this is acid and this is acidic hydrogen i hope this point is clear now the second thing for this remember that for the oxy acid the oxidation state plus 5 and plus 4 i will say ic acid ic higher oxidation state we will say ic acid and in the lower oxidation state gets lower oxidation state like uh, 
plus 1, plus 2, and plus 3, we will say us asset, us asset. These two points are clear. If these two points are clear, then I am going to tell you the most important thing about the oxy acid. Just remember. And before I am going to start this, let me tell you, my dear friends, if any ic acid is there, ic acid is there, and to this ic acid, remember this funda. I am going to tell you very, very important funda. If you, what you can do, if you multiply this ic acid by 2, ic acid multiplied by 2 and remove water, remove H2O, this ic acid, this ic acid will become pyro, pyro, pyro. And if you remove from this pyro one oxygen, if you remove from this pyro one oxygen, this will become hypo. Hypo, remember that hypo. And directly, if you remove water from this, if you directly remove water from this, my dear students, it will become meta. It will become meta. And if you, my dear students, if you add one oxygen to this, if you add this one oxygen to this, this will become pyro. Pyro. In case of halogens, it will become peroxy. No, sorry, it will become peroxy. It will become peroxy and in case of hydrogen it will become pyro in case of halogen it will become pyro now my dear students if you remove one oxygen from this if you remove one oxygen from this it will become us us acid us us acid us acid and if you remove one oxygen from this us acid it will become hypo us I put us now you are not able to understand anything I think nothing you are able to understand let me tell you the things in a better way see kids we are having we are having P double bond O O H O H O H just see to it what do you call it H3 PO4, what do you call it? Plus 5 oxidation state is there. So, ic acid, and you call it orthophosphoric acid. Orthophosphoric acid. Orthophosphoric acid. Now, my dear student, just double it. Just double it and remove water from it. Just see to it the magic. P double bond o o h o h o h one molecule and i have taken second one p double bond o o h o h o h this is going to take place at 110 degrees celsius water will get removed and water is getting removed just see to it remove water what do you get kids? You will get one acid and that is P double bond O O H O H and this O P double bond O O H O H. Can you see kids? And if I summarize it, if I summarize it, it is H4 P2. O7 and what is the oxidation state of phosphorus you can see minus 2 so plus 2 minus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 so plus 1 you can see plus 5 if you're not able to find it like this you can find it like this H4P2O7 H4P2O7 so I can find it out like this 4 into 1 plus 2x plus 7 into minus 2 no charge on the compound so 4 plus 2x minus 14 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to 10 so x is equal to plus 5 you can see in this way you can find out so my dear students this is ic 
and because I have heated two moles, so I will place pyro. So this compound's name is pyrophosphoric acid. I hope that everyone is able to understand pyrophosphoric acid. When to place pyro? Because pyro means heat, and we have heated it, so we are placing pyro and ick because of plus 5 oxidation state this oxidation state is plus 5 that oxidation state is also plus 5 higher oxidation state so ick gets to move further ahead do let me know you are able to understand first of all do let me know everyone do let me know show me the green hearts or the fire in the chat section then i will let you know more things but my dear friends everyone keep on writing in the chat section otherwise it's of no use i'm going to tell you so many things in a better way baba is telling you so many things in the best way kids do let me know in the chat section that you are able to understand or not my dear friends first of all i want to see your feedback that you are able to understand these things are really very very important Okay, now let me tell you, my dear students, we have seen pyro, we have seen pyro, just see, if this was my acid, P double bond O, OH, 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 its N factor was, N factor was 4, no, 3, 3. I have taken two molecules, I have taken two molecules and remove water, 110 degree, no need to remember the temperature, 110 degree Celsius, I have removed water, I got H4, P2, O, H3PO4, O7, this is known as pyrophosphoric acid as I have told you, pyrophosphoric acid. Now, if I remove one oxygen, if I remove one oxygen, what I will get? I will get H4P2O6 and this will be known as hypo, now hypo, phos, now phosphorus acid or phosphoric acid, that will be dependent on the oxidation state. Now, let's see how much oxidation state for. 4 into 1 plus 2x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, x will come out how much? 4, 12 will go that side 8. x will come out 4 and 4 means ick. So, hypophosphoric acid. I hope that everyone is able to understand. But how to draw its structure? It's how many of you want to draw structure of any compound, any oxy acid, how to draw its structure, how many of you want to know how to draw its structure kits, any, any oxy acid, any compound structure how to draw. Show me the green hearts, show me the green hearts, I will let you know how to draw a structure of any oxy acid or any compound, just see, just see kits. Remember one thing, just remember one thing, Kata. Just remember how to draw first of all. Let me write down how to draw structure of any oxy acid, any oxy acid, any oxy acid. Let me tell you, kids. Today I will show you the magic. Just remember kata. What is this kata? CA plus TA. If CA, TA. If CA is 2, what is CA? Central atom. Central atom is 2. And terminal atom, terminal atom is odd. Terminal atom is odd. Odd value, odd. What I am saying, this is 2 and this is odd. Then in between, CA 
in between central atom it should be ca central atom it's not calcium central atom o ca will be there it will be like this once again i have written calcium it's ca means in between two central atom there will be oxygen remember this in between two central atom there will be oxygen and if if Carta is like this CA, CA, this is 2 and this is even, this is even, then it will be Kaka, CA directly bonded with CA, Kaka. There is only one exception, there is only, only one exception is there, only one exception is there, that is H2. S2O5. This is the only exception. Oxy acid of sulfur. This is the only one exception. I will let you know in detail. But remember this. But this is valid. Valid only when the oxidation state, oxidation state in the range, oxidation state in the range. In the range means what? If I talk about phosphorus in the range means, if I talk about phosphorus, then the range is minus 3 to plus 5. If I talk about sulfur, then the range is minus 2 to plus 6. This is the range. If the range is going out like Marshall's acid, H2S2O8, then I will let you know if it is out of order. But till now, this is no secrets. Let me apply to this. I was having two structures. Just see, these are the two structures. Let me apply to this H4, H4P2O7 and the second one H4P2O6. Let me explain these two with the basis of that. Just see, just see it. Let me apply over here. Just see to it. Just seek it. Just see. If I say I am provided with H four E two. O6, the oxidation state. First of all, find out oxidation state. It is coming out 4. It is in the range because phosphorus range was minus 3 to plus 5. So, plus 4 is in the range. Now, central atom is 2. Ca, Ca. I have told you if this is 2 and this is even, then we have to write C A C A Kaka. This thing, if you are able to understand the concept now, see, I will write P P. Now, one thing is clear. If anyone is asking, is there any P P linkage? Yes, there is being P P linkage. Now, it's very clear because this is an oxy acid. So, oxy acid for being an oxy acid, I have to write down O and P double bond O, and at least one O H should be there. At least one O H should be there. Now what is left? How many oxygen? Six. Already four oxygens I have used. And now I have to use OH. OH. This is the structure. You liked it. Now the N factor is four. All these hydrogens are being replaceable hydrogens, acidic hydrogens. So N factor is being four. And there is no PP linkage. This is the question number of times they have asked. No PP linkage is there. No PP in this compound. There is no PP linkage. No, no PP linkage. No, oh, no POP linkage is there. Sorry, no POP linkage is there. There is one PP linkage. One PP linkage is there. This thing is, I hope this thing is clear to all of you. You can find out how to do it. Now see, if I write down, if I write down H4P2O7, if I write down H4, P2, 
O7. What I have told you? CATA, Kata, TA, TA. If CA central atom is 2 and TA is odd, what I have told you? It should be CAO, CA. That means CAO, CA. How to write down? Just C. P O P P O P linkage is there. It has been an oxy acid, so P double bond O should be there, and at least one O H should be there. P double bond O should be there. At least one O H is there. Now, how many oxygens? Seven. One, two, three, four, five. So six and seven. So how is that? Kids, do let me know. There is no P P linkage in this compound. There is no P P linkage. But there is one POP linkage. These are the questions. One POP linkage. Kids, first of all, do let me know. You like the trick, Baba's trick. I want to see, are you live? Are you enjoying it? First of all, do let me know in the chat section, kids. I'm giving you so many tricks. How to write down the structure of any compound. This is valid everywhere, kids. This is. Kids, you are not giving me energy. You are sitting like this. You are not giving me any structure, any structure. You can apply anywhere, kids. Anywhere. Anywhere. See, let me let me show you. Let me show you. Anywhere you can apply. Just see. If I write N2O5, N2O5 is there, N2O4 is there. Just see. N2O4 is there. Just apply it. This is Kata. T A T A C A two and this is odd. What I have told you, if kata is like this, there will be C A O C A. This should be the structure. That means I have to write nitrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. Now O five. That means double bond O, coordinate bond O, double bond O, coordinate bond O. I I hope that you are able to understand. See. It's like this. Now, NTO4, kata. Kata. Kata is this is 2 and this is even. Let's see. It is in the range or not. The oxidation state is 2. 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So, 2x is equal to 8. x is equal to 4. And the range of nitrogen is minus 3 to plus 5. So, it is in the range. So, it will be kaka. Ca. Ca. Oh, Ca. CA, how to write down its structure? Nitrogen, nitrogen, double bond O, coordinate bond O, double bond O, coordinate bond O. It is valid everywhere. See, everywhere it will work. Now, see, nitrogen oxide structure, you, 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 I think you must be getting confused. You see, kids, first of all, do let me know. Baba is. Giving you these many takes, kids. At least you should be happy, kids. What I'm going to give you, I've told you when you're becoming tired, Baba is going to show you the magic. Kids, tell everyone, tell everyone, tell everyone anywhere you can apply, anywhere you can apply, you can apply this anywhere, kids. You can apply anywhere. You can apply this Baba tricks and you can apply anywhere, kids. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere you can apply. Now, see, kids. I was telling you oxy acids of phosphorus. What I taught you, what I'm going to teach you, I told you this one that H3PO4, H3PO4 is known as orthophosphoric acid. Don't don't think like benzene's ortho meta para. Benzene's ortho meta para is something different. This is ortho. This is known as what? Ortho phosphoric acid. Ortho phosphoric acid. Ortho phosphoric acid. Ortho phosphoric. Not and. Orthophosphoric, it's being acid. It's being acid. 
Oh my God, gone, 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 gone. Okay, leave it. Let me write down once again. H three P O four is orthophosphoric acid. Ortho, ortho, phos, phoric acid, acid, orthophosphoric acid. Let's see this time. Yeah, this time it's okay. Orthophosphoric acid. I hope that everyone is able to see this. Now, what I did, I have taken two moles of this and I have removed water. Then I got H4P2O7. And what I called it, kids, I called it pyro phosphoric acid, right? Pyrophosphoric acid, the C to it. I called it pyrophosphoric acid. And then I have removed one oxygen to this, oxygen from this. I have removed one oxygen from this. I got H4P2O6. I called it hypo phosphoric acid, hypo phosphoric acid. This thing I have told you kids till now. I have told you it's clear to each and everyone till now it's clear kids. Ortho, pyro, hypo. Now I have told you once you have taken two moles, two moles and remove water, remove water we have got this. If you directly remove water from this, if you directly remove it will require too much temperature. No need to remember the temperature. But yes, it will require too much temperature and water will get removed. You will get kits. What you will get? See, remove water H2O. Only one H will be there. HPO3 you will get. It will look like this P double bond O, OH and coordinate bond O. And the oxidation state, if you want to find out, minus 2 for this for plus 2, minus 1 over here. So plus 1 minus 2 over here so plus 2 plus 5 oxidation state is there so we'll call it meta phosphoric acid meta meta just remember meta phosphoric acid my dear students let me tell you one thing very clearly if you take two moles and then remove water pyro if you remove water only from one molecule then it is known as meta ortho pyro Meta and this will trimerize because it is not stable. So trimerize, trimerize linear or cyclically HPO3 whole thrice, or it will polymerize to give HPO3 whole N like this. Now my dear string, if I remove one oxygen from this directly, one oxygen. If I remove from this, what I have told you. If I remove one oxygen from this, I will get P double bond O, OH should be there, OH should be there. Now how many oxygens? H3, PO3, 3. So this is hydrogen, just see to it. This is hydrogen. This hydrogen, my dear student, is responsible for its reducing character. And CRT said directly, if any hydrogen directly attached to this phosphorus, this is reducing in nature. So this is a reducing agent. Reducing agent. And according to me, what is the oxidation state over here? Just see. I can write it like this H3PO3. So just find out what is the oxidation state. 3 plus X minus 6 is equal to 0. So x is equal to plus 3. If you are able to understand for plus 3, should I use ik or us? It's if you are able to understand, do let me know. Should I use ik or us? Hey, my dear friend, if you are really understanding it, what should I use? Ik or us? Should I use ik or us? Do let me know. It's you are not participating in this way. In this way, yeah, us. So we will say orthophosphorus acid. Ortho, phos, 
porous acid and my dear students its n factor is just 2 n factor is 2 don't say this is 3 so 3 no its n factor is 2 only two replaceable hydrogen atoms are there till now if you are able to understand show me the hearts or the fire in the chat section then i will let you know some more thing if you are able to understand show me the hearts or the fire in the chat section kids and hit the like button hey kids that's the like button i want to see more likes now let me show you kids once again what once again just see just see once again in a fast mode fast mode H3PO4, what do you call it? H3PO4 orthophosphoric acid. Take two moles and remove water. Two moles, remove water. Pyrophosphoric acid H4P2O7. Pyro. Now remove one oxygen. Remove one oxygen H4P2O6. Hypo. Directly remove one water, directly remove one water, meta, HPO3 meta, remove one oxygen, remove one oxygen, yes, orthophosphorus acid, H3PO3, remove one oxygen, remove one oxygen, hypophosphorus acid, H3PO2. Can you write down their names, kids? Fastly, can you write down their names? Can you write down their oxidation state plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 4. So all they are being ick, ick acid. This is, yes, this is being meta phosphoric acid. Meta phosphoric acid. Ortho phosphoric acid. Ortho phos Phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid, what do you call it? Pyrophosphoric acid, pyrophosphoric acid, phosphoric acid, what do you call it? Ortho, uh, no, it's hypo because hypo means less, hypo means less, hypophosphoric acid, hypophosphoric acid, hypophosphoric acid. Now, this is orthophosphorus acid. Ortho phos y phosphorus plus three phosphorus acid. Phosphorus acid. This is also known as phosphonic acid. Phos nickname is phosphonic acid. Number of times examiner has asked phosphonic acid. Phosphonic acid and this is known as phos phenic acid. Phos Phenic acid, phosphenic acid, highly acidic phosphenic acid, or we can say from this we have removed one oxygen, hypo, hypo because oxygen is less, hypo, phos plus one oxidation state. So, us hypo phos, for us acid, hypo phos, or hypo phos, for us acid. Now, kids, you can check, you can check your NCRT. And this should be given an NCRT. I hope this is clear to all of you. Vijay is writing Baba Ben below. Jane is right. Oh, Baba Vijay, please watch it. Just check your NCRT. All the questions answer get getting clear or not. One thing, let me tell you, my dear friends. One thing, uh, let me tell you because H3PO2, H3PO2, just see to it. Just see to it, kid. If I say P double bond O, OH, OH. There is one direct hydrogen. This is your H3, PO3. And if I write down like this, P double bond O, OH, and two hydrogens are like this. So what do you think? This is X that is being Y, which is better reducing agent. Better reducing agent. H3, PO3 or H3, PO2. If the examiner is asking, which one is better reducing agent? Do let me know. X or Y? Which one is better reducing agent? Kids, X or Y? Which one is better reducing agent? Question is, which one is, which one is better reducing agent?
x or y do, do let me know x or y y is better reducing agent because two hydrogens are there so y is the answer now my dear students according to ncrt y is the answer if you see baba's logic let me tell you baba's logic then also you will see why this is the answer baba's logic is that if you see the oxidation state of h3po2 h3po2 then 3 plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 so x is coming plus 1 here um, h3po3 3 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so x is coming plus 3 which is having phosphorus phosphorus lies in fifth group the range of phosphorus is minus 3 to plus 5 which is having more electron to donate here the phosphorus is in plus 1 oxidation state here the phosphorus is in plus 3 oxidation state which phosphorus can donate more electron definitely the answer is this phosphorus can donate more electron this phosphorus can donate more electrons and can donate more electrons so that means it is better reducing agent it is being better reducing agent is it clear to all of you this is the fundamental thing you must have studied in uh, physical chemistry also i hope that you got it you got it kids you got it everyone just do let me know okay after this oxy acid of phosphorus let me tell you something very great something very great for which you must be always searching a lot just see to it kids just see to it if i have if i have uh, one one thing let me tell you very clearly so apply this thing everywhere you can apply this thing everywhere during hydrolysis during hydrolysis oxidation state generally doesn't change oxidation state generally doesn't change mostly doesn't change generally doesn't change this thing if you don't know you should know you should know this thing now let me tell you let me show you this thing let me tell you the example of this thing my dear students if we apply this thing so if i say this is suppose plus 5 if you add water to this anything it will remain plus 5 only for example if i say there is pcl5 so it will form h3po4 it will remain plus 5 only now let me give you more examples more examples see to it if i say i am having p4o10 what is the oxidation state of phosphorus over here plus 5 is being plus 5 if i add water to this if i add water to this what i will get i will get something of plus 5 only that means i will get h3po4 h3po4 now how to balance it let me check it out whether it is right or wrong p4 so four times i have written now if i say that um, how many hydrogens are there there are four three are 12 so six hydrogens so six plus 10 16 and four four the 16 it is balanced now let me show you some more examples some more examples p4 o10 plus water i have written water I can also get HPO3 because here also the oxidation state is plus 5. There it was plus 5. Here also plus 5. Now, kids, let me balance it. Let me balance it. It is right. Then it will get balanced 4. So I will write 4. Now, it is hydrogen star 4. Let me write down 2. So 10, 2, 12, 4, 3, 12. That's fantastic. Now, you will say, sir. It can be like this also P4 O10 plus water H4 P2O7 H4 P2O7 will it be valid over here yeah it has to be because 
Once again, the oxidation state is plus 5. It has to be valid. Now, let's see. Uh, P4, P2, so multiplied by 2 is right. Then it should get balanced. 4 to the 8. 4 to the 8. Oxygen, P4, O11, no? P4, O10. Now, 10 oxygen, 4, 14 oxygen, 7 to the 14. So, this is correct. Now, my dear students, you just see to it. Here, I have added 6 moles of water. 2 moles of water, 4 moles of water. Now that means 2 and 6. If I add, if I add uh, 4 moles of water to this, I will get this thing. 4 H2O and I will get this thing. Now here I have added 4 and there 2. If I add 2 moles of water, I will get this thing. 2 moles of water, I will get this thing. Now 4 and 6, if I add 2 moles of water to this, I will get this thing. See kids, it is easy or not? Vijay is continuously writing. Let's see what Vijay is writing. Baba, when will our J energized batch will extend? Vijay, I will let you know this thing in the class only. This is not the place. Vijay, I will let you know this thing in the class. When I take class, I will, yeah, I will let you know. Now, my dear students, first of all, do let me know this is really fantastic or not. Definitely, this is really fantastic. Now, see kids. Everyone, just see to it what I am going to tell you. Next thing is, if I react phosphorus, if I react P4 with the chlorine, what will you get? If a small amount of chlorine, I will get PCl3. If large amount of chlorine, that means chlorine in excess, what I will get kids? Definitely I will get PCL5. Now my dear friends, this question is very very tough. If somebody is saying, if you react with thionyl chloride, SOCl2, now how to identify this thing? This is really tough, thionyl chloride. And if you react with SO2Cl2, now see how to find it out. Just see, this product is having plus 3 oxidation state. This product is having plus 5 oxidation state. Just see, here sulfur is in plus 4 oxidation state. Here sulfur is in plus 6 oxidation state. So sulfur's lower oxidation state, sulfur's highest oxidation state, sulfur's lower oxidation state, lower to lower. You see, if elements, elephant, elephant kid, definitely elephant is big in size, bigger kid will be there. Cat kid, cat is smaller in size, so kid will be smaller. So for higher oxidation, so lower oxidation state, you will get lower oxidation state. For higher oxidation state, you will get higher oxidation state. Now, if I react this with water, definitely you will get H3PO3 because with water, oxidation state will not change. Now, if I react with this water, first you will get POCl3 and then with water, you will get H3PO4. Now, my dear friends, definitely you will ask why we have got POCl3. What is the reason why we have got POCl3? This is a million dollar question for the examination. Let me tell you why we have got. If you see your phosphorus, if you see your phosphorus, then the phosphorus is bonded like this. Then the phosphorus is bonded like this. These are equatorial chlorines. These are being equatorial chlorines and these are being axial chlorines. Axial chlorines, just see to it. It is very, very important with the chemical bonding. This chlorine, this chlorine, this chlorine are known as, these chlorines are known as equatorial chlorines, equatorial chlorines, equatorial, equatorial. These bond in these stronger bonds. These chlorines are being axial weaker bonds. Why weaker? Five sigma bonds. Five sigma bond, that means steric number is five. I write down 
5 sp 3d hybridization divided into sp2 plus pd if i apply bent's theory this is having 33 no no it's having 33 percent s character no percentage of s character that means no percentage these are the weakest bond weak bond weak bond these are being strong bonds strong bonds you see the bond length then also you can see the bond length its bond length is 2 4 0 picometer and this is 2 0 2 picometer these equatorial bonds are being stronger that is being weaker bond trigonal bipyramidal structure is being trigonal chlorine chlorine trigonal bipyramidal it's first of all do let me know till now it's clear to all of you it is clear to all of you and this bond length they can ask in the from the chemical point of views it's i'm just teaching 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 i want to see it's keep on showing some signal the chat the chat the fire signal or the heart signal something so that i can see click it's you are getting it you know kids even teacher needs energy motivation that you are able to understand and if you are new kids hit the like button and till now if you have not smash the like button kids smash the like button i want to see likes to be 450 you know kids now this pcl5 says hey hey just take my two chlorines i'm not i don't want these two chlorines they are very very poor chlorines no i don't want to have these two chlorines they are very very poor chlorines trigonal bipyramidal this is being the shape so what pcl5 wants kids what pcl5 is saying to everyone everyone just come and take my what? Take my two chlorines. I am not interested for these two chlorines. Anyone please come. So, get see what happened one day. A day has come that this was PCL5 and it was telling everyone that he is not in need of these two chlorines. That's like tentacles, zoom, 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 ziga, 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 zoom, 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 zoom. So, who has come? Who has come, kids? Who has come? Water has come, and water said, "Okay, dear." Ding, 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 ding. Just see, HCl, HCl. Can you see, kids? It has taken away. Now you can see. P double bond O Cl3 has got formed and plus who has gone two moles of HCl has gone just see the axial chlorine has gone first axial chlorine has gone now if you add too much water still the oxidation state was here PCl5 plus 5 here also plus 5 and too much water if you are going to add you will get H3PO4 plus 5 can you see kids the oxidation state is remaining intact constant now my dear friends remember this thing always that if I talk about PCL5 this is in organic chemistry also if you say in liquid and gaseous state, it will remain as trigonal bipyramidal. Trigonal bipyramidal. But if I talk about in solid state, in solid state, remember this thing two moles, one will form PCL. 4 positive 
and another will become PCL6 negative. Now, why this has happened? See, symmetry is there. This is being tetrahedral. This unit is being tetrahedral. All the bond lengths are equal, and this is being square bipyramidal. Bipyramidal. All the bond lengths are equal, and in between this plus and minus, there is ionic bond, electrostatic force of attraction, feeling stable. This is feeling stable. Got it? Everyone got it? Now see, my dear students, everyone. The phosphine gas, because number of questions they can ask the phosphine also but before that let me tell you ammonia phosphine arsenic antimony bismuth if you add water to this what will happen if you add water to this what will happen if you add water to this water to this water to this now let me tell you these are being metallic in nature so this will form SBO positive and this will form BIO positive and these what they are going to form so kits ammonia plus water you know but phosphine plus water phosphine plus water what you will get kits just try to understand what you get or if I add NCl3 PCl3 like that what you will get that you have to understand or let me tell you simply if I replace these hydrogens, oh ho ho, it's gone. Gone kits. Mm -hmm. No problem. No problem. Let me tell you, kids. So let's see the phosphine PH3 gas, how it can be prepared and how it reacts. Remember that. This phosphine can be prepared from calcium, phosphide, either you add water to this or you add HCl to this and this can be prepared from white phosphorus if you add water and NaOH to this. This is invisible and highly reactive but remember that if you spray some water to this if you add some water to this, this phosphine gas will convert into red phosphorus and it will release hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas. That is very, very important thing. This phosphine, if this is coming in contact with, remember that either Cl2, Br2, or HNO3, any oxidizing agent, oxidizing agent oxidizing agent then my dear students it is going to produce explosion explosive it becomes explosive explosive that is really fantastic thing and you should know now my dear student why this phosphine is important let me tell you Holmes signal have you heard this name Holmes signal Holmes signal this signal is for giving signal to ships Chips, they are getting such type of signal. What the people are going to do in the drum? This is the drum. This is the sea. This is the sea water. Sea water. Ship is there. She is there. Ship is there. Water is there. And they will do one hole to this. There is hole. Hole whole signal hole in the drum and what they are going to do kids they will add calcium carbide CaC2 and calcium phosphide and once the water is coming inside it from this hole the water will come and when they are coming in contact with water this calcium carbide will form acetylene gas and this calcium phosphide will form phosphine gas phosphine gas and this phosphine gas has got characteristic of forming vortex rings vortex rings like this and this is also used to produce smog not like tornado vortex rings 
and it will catch fire continuously it will be in the fire form so this is going to produce signal to the ships ships will get signal this is a million dollars question you should remember my dear students is it clear to all of you is it clear to all of you now this is all about nicogen family so now i am going to come to my dear students oxygen family then halogen family thank you thank you shishadri thank you naharika thank you nicogen family is completed now i've told you each and everything from my point what can come in your exam my dear students now let's come to chalcogen family that is being oxygen family just see to it everyone see to it the oxygen family that is chalcogen family are you ready kids are you full of energy chalcogens sixth group they have six electrons in the outermost shell six electrons in outermost shell these are being oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium polonium polonium is being radioactive so leave it and these now kids here very very important thing is oxygen atomic number is being 8 so 2 6 it is in need of two more electrons sulfur is 16 2 8 6 both are in need of two electrons the most important thing about these electrons comes to their negative electron gain enthalpy but my dear friends are you ready because today is new year and you must be thinking baba what are you doing you are taking so lengthy lecture oh wow chadri thank you thank you kids i want to see your energy if you are getting tired what baba will do kids call everyone now i have now oxygen family is not going to take too much time and zero group will not take too much time. Halogens will take a bit time, but nicogen family was very, very important. Now, see, kids, let me tell you their negative electron gain enthalpy. Remember that whether I talk, first of all, Negi, do remember what is the meaning of Negi. Just remember this concept, Negi concept. What is the meaning of this Negi? It means negative electron gain enthalpy. This is the correct word, kids. This is the correct word. Just see to it. Everyone see to it. If I say the oxygen is there, atomic number is 8. 2, 8, 6, if it has taken one electron, that means bond is formed with electron. So, it will become O negative. 2, 8, 7. The energy will get released. This released energy is known as exothermic reaction. So, this is negative. So, this is electron gain enthalpy that I write like this electron gain enthalpy that is being negative but if I give one more electron to this O negative that is 287 you will think like that oh it, its octet will get completed so it will be more electron negative no my dear students the second electron gain enthalpy will always be positive it will be positive means you have to supply energy to this that will not get released for any element, the second electron gain enthalpy can never be negative. It will always be positive. It will always be positive because of electronic repulsion. 
the reason is because of electronic repulsion because of electronic repulsion it can't be negative but you know size of oxygen is very very small so remember that if i say there is nitrogen phosphorus there is oxygen sulfur there is fluorine chlorine these are the elements of second period these are the elements of third period so always remember that always remember that second period element size is very very small very very small in size anomalous behavior very very small in size their negative electron gain in enthalpy value is less than this or i can say these will have more Negi. Negi is negative electron gain enthalpy and they will be having less Negi. Less negative electron gain enthalpy. Or you can simple language, some people call it electron affinity. So their electron affinity will be more. They will have more electron affinity. If I tell you the value, I remember no need to remember it is minus 333 kilojoule per mole and this is minus 349 kilojoule per mole so this point is clear to all of you my dear friend I think this point is clear and let me show you the values if I can let me share uh, show you uh, this is the table this table I have drawn from the NCER if I show you uh, Electro oxygen sulfur cell internet negi negative electron gain enthalpy. You see, oxygen is having only minus 144. This is being exothermic reaction, but this is minus 200. You can see sulfur's electron gain enthalpy is more negative electron gain enthalpy as compared to oxygen because its size is more, its size is less. So, this is all. It is having less because of inter-electronic repulsion. Now, ionization enthalpy is similarly, it is uh, on moving down the group because the size is increasing, it is decreasing, electronegativity is decreasing, no problem, no, no where it is problem, but melting point, boiling point, see up to here it is being increasing at the last, it's decreasing. So, we can say generally it increases, generally, generally what? An increase, then nothing like that. It's very simple. But now if I tell you kids, if I tell you that these, now here it's very simple kids, due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding, due to intermolecular hydrogen bonding, their melting point and boiling point, the first member is more. Although its molecular weight is just 18 and its molecular weight is 34, the one who is having more molecular weight is supposed to be having more boiling point. But see, because of intermolecular hydrogen bonding, H2O's boiling point is more as compared to H2S and H2S is a gas. This is liquid at room temperature. I hope this point is very much clear to all of you. Now, Drago's rule. I told you Drago's rule. So, 104. Here, the hybridization is there. Its hybridization is being sp3. but 92, 91, 90, Drago's rule, no hybridization, no hybridization, the same concept like nitrogen, ammonia, phosph phosphine, arsenic is applicable over here, just see, it is giving energy, exothermic reaction, this is also bit exothermic, but they are endothermic reaction, and if you see dissociation, so this will require more energy, less, so I have explained it in Nicogen family, same fundamental thing is valid over here as you go down the group. Let me tell you one more thing, fundamental thing, very important thing, kids. Just see to it. If I said, if I say this is maximum basic, maximum basic, so who is going to be nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth so definitely this is maximum basic so this is the least basic 
but who is going to be most acidic my dear students remember that acidic strength will increase in this order why why so i will let you know acidic strength will increase in this order let me tell you um, oxygen sulfur selenium calorium if i write h2o h2s h2se h2t so the acidic strength will increase in this order only kids acidic strength will increase in this order only why c acidic strength will increase in this order if i say oh negative if i say h2s hs negative so remember that negative charge is more stable now you will say sir negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom no my dear student negative charge first of all we have to see is more stable on bigger atom so size matters a lot this is more stable more stable now you will say sir what is this i am unable to understand more stable yeah my dear student first of all we have to see size this is more stable this is more acidic means in water and this the acidic strength is in this order if you are not able to believe let me show you something more just see then definitely you will say oh my god sir yes you are right absolutely correct see kids if i write down hf hcl hbr hi according to me the acidic strength should be in this order and if you're not believing just see to it the size of iodide is maximum so once the proton is released so this electron is maximum stable maximum is stable because of the biggest size because of the biggest size biggest size maximum delocalization will be there and if you are not able to understand if you are saying that negative charge is most stable on most electronegative atom then that thing is valid only when the size of element bearing the charge is almost same means the atom belongs to the same period in the longer form of periodic table but if the uh, group is remaining same and period is getting changed now first of all we have to see the size and now if you are not able to follow this rule just see the pka value its pk is minus 10 its minus 9 its minus 7 it is plus 3 less is the pk value more is the acidic strength that means this is highly acidic and i hope that you people are able to understand it now see if i talk about oxygen so this thing is everything is clear to all of you because i have explained drago's rule melting point boiling point distance will keep on increasing and the enthalpy of formation definitely these are endothermic too and these are exothermic now see kids how fast we are able to cover the oxygen family because we have studied most of the things in nicogen family and once the fundamental thing is clear basic is clear then it is not going to take too much time i hope it's i'm not fast i'm not moving fast first two let me know i want to see kids do let me know everyone is able to understand show me the fire in the chat section if you are able to understand or green hearts hey everyone either green hearts no break right now right now no no break kids crystal clear right fantastic now how the oxygen is produced let's see how will you produce oxygen just see to it oxygen oxygen you know COVID time, pandemic time, how can you get oxygen? How oxygen can be produced? Oxygen preparation. If you remember, that time, the COVID pandemic time, oxygen cylinders were in huge demand. Now see, if you heat KClO3, K ClO3, what is the name of KCA3? Potassium chlorate. It is known as potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate. If you heat it and on heating, oxygen will say, Oh, I can't tolerate this heat. I'm to moving. Potassium is saying, Let the oxygen to go. Chloride, you have to be along with me. I want to. 
spend my life with okay you can get like this potassium chlorate any nitrate if you heat you will get like this now my dear students what do you think any other element is there that is going to release oxygen so if you remember like baba sir can soda do magic like baba sir can soda do magic which are in need of oxygen and which are not needing of oxygen so let me tell you the second way this was the first way if i talk about second approach then kids if i heat mercury oxide or silver oxide then they are saying oh we don't need we don't require oxygen so on simply heating we can remove we can lose this oxygen so you will get hg plus o2 you will get silver plus o2 are you getting my point kids do let me know are you getting my point kids so these are inert elements inert elements inert elements will give you like this but if you heat more reactive element they will require more heat as you go down the in the electrochemical series as the standard oxidation potential value is decreasing these elements now see as the srp value is getting decreased that means sr sop value is getting decrease so srp value will get increase are you able to understand they have got very high srp value their srp value is positive 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 now my dear student if i say that if anyone wants to snatch electron from here now it will be very tough if you say that al2o3 heat it and you want to say it should give oxygen so where definitely it is going to release oxygen but very very high temperature will be required very very high temperature will be required now for this you can see alingam diagram uh, that's your metallurgy metallurgy or you can say application of thermodynamics application of application of thermodynamics if you see the alingam diagram you will better understand alingam diagram the complete knowledge you will get from alingam diagram that is very very important my dear student alingam diagram so you will get it now third from where you can prepare if you heat if you heat kits if you heat h2o2 if you heat h2o2 you know that hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide h2o2 twice of h2o2 if you heat it you will get my dear students twice of h2o twice of h2o2 twice of h2o plus o2 gas and that's why it is either in this way or you can say h2o2 this is known as perhydrol this is used for washing not the washing uh, means medicinal use of just what under the name of perhydrol it is producer of nascent oxygen doctors use it to just clean the ear ear cleaning they are using it that is being h2o2 that is the source of oxygen now my dear student very very important thing i am going to tell you this really holds a hell lot of weightage that in the upper part of stratosphere now this is very very important upper part of stratosphere upper part of stratosphere stratosphere you know upper part of stratosphere what is that there one reaction will take place what is that o2 plus nascent oxygen in the presence of sunlight that will form o3 o3 that is being ozone and this ozone layer protects us from 
the ultraviolet rays which are causing cancer. Now my dear students, this reaction is being endothermic or exothermic. Do let me know. Endothermic or exothermic reaction. Definitely this reaction is exothermic. This reaction is being exothermic. And if you increase the temperature, then you know that thermodynamically ozone is not stable. Thermodynamically, thermodynamically, ozone is unstable. Ozone is unstable. Now the question will come, why it is not advisable to store too much amount of ozone? The question is, why it is not advisable to store too much oxygen? Why? Question is, why we should not, we should not store too much ozone? Do let me know too much ozone. This is the question. So definitely, if you are going to heat ozone, it will convert into oxygen. So large amount of oxygen, large volume of oxygen will get produced. Large volume of oxygen can be dangerous. Can be dangerous. I hope you got it kids. So this is all about this oxygen but how it is different from sulfur. So let's see the oxy acids of sulfur. That is an important point. I hope that everyone is ready kids. Is everyone ready? You are not tired enough. Let me have a glass of water kids. I can see only some students are there who are regular because kids, it's very, very important thing that you should feel energy. Otherwise, what Baba is going to think about that kids are not, Laharika is there, very good. Luke Abraham is there. Oxytocin is there. Wow, that's really fantastic. Vardhan is there. Vardhan, I will give break. At uh, 11.15, I will give break, means after completing this sulfur, oxy acids of sulfur, after completing oxy acids of sulfur, I will give break, okay? Very good. After completing oxy acids of sulfur, I will give break. Okay, kids, now see. Oxy acids of sulfur. Oxy acids of sulfur. Just see to it, kids. If I write down like this S double bond O, double bond O, OH. OH. This you know, we call it H2SO4. H2SO4. Right? Ortho sulfuric acid, or we can say sulfuric acid. Either we can say ortho sulfuric acid, or we can simply say sulfuric acid, or we can say sulfuric acid. Now the same funda we will apply if I take two moles of this, two moles and remove water kits. What will you say if you are able to understand two moles and remove water? Which word I will use kits? Do let me know if you are following it and if you are able to understand which word I should use. Definitely I will get water is removed, I will get S double bond O, double bond O, O, H, O, S double bond O, double bond O, O, H, H2, S2, O7, 
this is ortho from ortho I have taken two moles and remove one water the word will you use what what term you will use kids if you are able to understand definitely the word is pyro pyro now sulfurous or sulfuric higher oxidation state plus 6 plus 5 we will use c224 so plus 4 minus 4 plus 4 and 116 plus 6 plus 6 very good i got the answer from one student two students very good gade sahib satish very good pyro sulfuric acid pyro sulfuric acid pyro sulfuric acid now kids if i directly remove one water molecule from this i will get meta my dear students i will get meta so let's leave it now my dear student if i add one oxygen to this if i add one oxygen to this I will get S double bond O double bond O O H O O peroxide linkage is there peroxide linkage so I will use the word this is actually caros acid caros acid I will say peroxy peroxy monosulfuric acid monosulfuric acid monosulfuric acid I hope this point is clear to all of you now if I add one oxygen to this, this will become H2S2O8 known as Marcel's acid. Marcel's acid, my dear friends, this is known as peroxy disulfuric acid. Peroxy disulfuric acid. Peroxy disulfuric acid. Now my dear friends, this pyrosulfuric acid is also known as the CH2S2O7, if you remember, this is known as your what? If you remember, kids, this is known as uh, fuming H2SO4. Fuming H2SO4, if you remember, this is what? Oleum, 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 known as oleum, my dear friend. Now, I told you one trick how to do that. Now, before that, let me tell you one more thing. This is your sulfuric acid H2SO4, like S double bond O, double bond O, OH, OH. This you call it sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. And I've told you if you remove one oxygen, what will you get, kids? You will get sulfurous acid H double bond O, double bond O. This is H2. SO4, now you will get H2, SO3, H2, SO3, H2, SO3. Now, in place of this, remove oxygen and add sulfur to this. What do you get? H2, S2, O3, thiosulfuric acid, thiosulfuric acid. Thiosulfuric acid. Now, my dear friends, how to draw the structure of anything? I have told you that trick that will work over here also. So, this is all about sulfur. Now, my dear friends, we have completed nitrogen family, we have completed chalcogen family. Now, most important is halogen family. And see, you can do any question from the halogen family and see, this is the fantastic way. Let me first of all tell you we have arrived to halogen. It will not take too much time. Halogens. Halogens are derived from C. Derived from C, not C. Derived from C. Derived from C. How many halogens? The Fluorine and this is very very important. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Now my dear friend, here whatever the thing I am going to tell you, it holds a hell lot of weightage. So are you ready, kids? Are you ready, kids? In a group, effective nuclear charge first increases and then become constant. It not clearly increases first, increases and then becomes 
constant and moving from left to right it increases okay now see kids halogens very very important they are having seven electrons in the outermost orbit this is second period third period fourth period and fifth period now i'm going to tell you the most important thing about halogens just see and then i will explain kids just see to it very very important thing baba is going to tell you kids and you have to put your energy you have to try to understand the most important thing now see kids if i say i am having fluorine i am having chlorine who is more electronegative definitely chlorine's electronegativity is 4 and chlorine's electronegativity is 3.12 definitely that is more electronegative very clearly now if i say i am going to give one electron one electron if i am providing to fluorine just take one electron and become f negative and one electron i am giving to chlorine just take one electron and become cl negative who can easily accept electron after accepting electron fluorine will be like this one electron accepted it will be f negative and after accepting one electron chlorine will be like this chlorine now my dear students definitely it is more tempting towards electron if i say this fluorine is like ant chlorine is like ant and hungry hungry or starving from the last two days two days nothing it has eaten and this is like elephant just have done the breakfast right now in the morning now if pizza is there pizza one kg pizza is there one kg pizza is there to both of these creatures got one kg pizza who will eat fastly the elephant elephant has done elephant has done breakfast in the morning only but ant is hungry for the last two days who will eat pizza more easily definitely it is more hungry it is less hungry means less electronegative more electronegative this is more hungry more hunger less hunger but who will eat pizza more pizza or more easily pizza do let me know in the chat section chlorine gets you know the size of ant ant size ant is very very small in size elephant is too much bigger in size do you remember this thing kids who will eat more and more fast who will eat more and more fastly so kids remember that remember that it's negi negative electron gain in enthalpy is less that is delta h is equal to minus 333 kilojoule per mole only and it's negi electron gain in enthalpy is more that is minus 349 kilojoule per mole are you able to understand electronegativity is just the temptation towards electron how much do you like electron and the negative electron gain in enthalpy means once you have accepted electron what amount of energy you will release and this is less because inter electronic repulsion inter nuclear electronic repulsion now my dear students are you able to understand its size is very very small size is very very small size is very very small and that's why inter-nuclear repulsion is more my dear students everyone is able to understand if yes if yes then do let me know the story of ant and elephant how was it how was it kids first of all do let me know how was the story kids 
it is scientific or not if yes show me some fire show me some fire kids i want to see some fire in the chat section my dear friends okay okay that's really awesome that's really awesome that's really awesome now see let me show you let me show you that's why my dear friends and this is the reason that if i talk about electron gain enthalpy negi negative electron gain enthalpy of these elements which elements fluorine not diatomic it's single 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 fluorine fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so definitely its delta h value is no need to cram it no need to cram it it's minus 333 kilojoule per mole it is minus 349 kilojoule per mole it is somewhat mm, how much it should be minus 325 approximately kilojoule per mole and this is near about 290 89 like 94 kilojoule per mole exactly like that now you can see who is having maximum electron affinity in the whole periodic table negative electron gain enthalpy is like this maximum electron affinity you can say maximum electron affinity what you can say or you can say or you can say maximum negative electron gain enthalpy negi negi means negative electron gain enthalpy negative electron gain enthalpy word you can use i hope that everyone is able to understand and let me show you the value no need to cram the value no need to cram the value let me show you let me show you somewhere it should be given uh, this is the table just see and i hope this point is very much clear to all of you negative electron gain enthalpy of fluorine minus 33 kilojoule per mole is in kilojoule per mole now 349 325 296 wow see my memory kits will you say wow baba's memory wow baba's memory can you will you say kits will you say kits great memory baba is having now my dear students now my dear students let me tell you the most important thing we know that electron affinity of chlorine is more although now see what question the examiner will ask examiner will ask this question just see see the question kit oops fantastic question question is although negative electron gain enthalpy or electron affinity of chlorine is maximum maximum but then also but then also chlorine is best oxidizing agent best oxidizing agent kids what do you want should i explain it easily like this only verbally or should i tell you it in detail this is really this holds a hell lot of weightage as you say i will do that should i explain in detail or like in this way only simply what do you want laharika and all detail now see the whether the thing is good oxidizing agent or reducing agent it depends on three fundamental things standard reduction potential srp standard reduction 
potential value depends on three fundamental factors three fundamental factors what are these it's if i say the fluorine or the chlorine they exist in this form no fluorine exists like this f2 chlorine will exist like this cl2 first we have to break and to break them we require dissociation energy what will require we require dissociation energy am i right dissociation energy now my dear students to understand who is having more dissociation energy once again baba is going to tell you one trick just see it's not that easy kids things are not that easy just see if i say chlorine if i say chlorine chlorine fluorine chlorine and fluorine chlorine is bonded like this fluorine and fluorine 2p 2p and chlorine is bonded like this cl cl what do you think which is stronger bond which is being stronger bond the x or y what do you think it's which is being stronger x or y which is stronger bond which is being stronger do let me know x y everyone is saying x no my dear friend just see in the x size is very very small and the size is very very small so due to internuclear repulsion interelectronic repulsion due to enter electronic repulsion into electronic repulsion weak bond it is weak bond and this is being a strong bond and if i tell you my approach my approach kids just see these electrons are fully localized but if i say chlorine's electron are not fully localized just let me tell you chlorine is in third period that is in second period this is in third period and its electron are in 2p its electrons are in 3p 3d is vacant these electrons are in 3p these electrons are also in 3p but get simultaneously who is vacant its 3d is vacant 3d is vacant so what will happen its 3d is vacant 3d is vacant empty empty now due to this my dear students the vacant this 3p electron will go to this and this 3p electron will go to this so it's a type of back bonding so this is the strongest bond very strong bond and this question the examiner will ask what is the bond dissociation energy order let me tell you kids the bond dissociation energy order you have to remember this is very very important question bond dissociation energy you can learn it like birdie b d e birdie 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 now to celebrate birthday i am going to give you trick baba hsp trick secrets to celebrate birthday chilled bro chilled bro florida to india florida to india this is the bond dissociation energy order to celebrate birthday chilled bro florida to india captain bro florida to india okay how is the trick how is the trick so kids this is the bond dissociation energy order now now let me write down to celebrate to celebrate birthday chilled bro chilled bro 
Florida to India. Florida or flew to India. Chill bro. Flew to India. Flew to India. In this, our Avengers batch students has given contribution. Now, my dear students, let me come back. Let me come back. Why I'm <coughs> tell you, telling you. So, bond dissociation energy, this is higher. This is higher on higher end, right? This is higher. This is lower. Means you have to spend lower energy, higher energy. Once they have broken down, once they have broken down chlorine, chlorine, now they will accept electron. They will accept electron. After accepting electron, they will emit out energy. One electron it has taken, one electron it has taken. It has given out energy and it has, it has turned out to be fluoride. It has turned out to be chloride. Now this is exothermic. This was endothermic. This we have given. They are being released. And now they will go inside the water. Now they will enter inside the water. Now water. Water will hydrate them and they will become F negative aqueous, Cl negative aqueous. It's like this, kids. So it will also release energy. These two energies are eliminated energies. Exo. This is exo. This is exo. This is exo. Now, my dear students, this is higher. Spend energy is higher. The released energy is higher. And this energy is lower. This is maximum. This is winner because of. This is winner because of two things. Less energy is required and more energy. This hydration energy is very high. This hydration energy is very high. Approximately 500 kilojoule per mole. This is the energy released. So this chloride is winner. Winner. Because of. Because of, because of hydration energy, hydration energy. Should I show you the values? Let me show you the values, all the values, so that you can find out. See, kids, if I compare, the hydration energy is 515 kilojoule per mole. Rest, they are having very less, and these are the energy released. Negative electron gain enthalpy, who is winner? This is winner, this is winner, but see, this difference, this difference is just how much? 350, 333, 16, 17, but this difference is too much, too much difference is there. Everyone, are you able to understand? So, two things are in the favor of fluorine. One is low dissociation energy and high hydration energy, and if I say only one thing, then fluoride, fluorine is maximum best oxidizing agent because of hydration hydration energy and that this case is with the lithium also lithium's ionization energy is high but who is in favor of lithium the best reducing agent the hydration energy hydration energy. everyone got it you liked it kids everyone you liked it now let me show you the whole data all the each and everything let me show you kids see Dissociation energy. See, if you see chlorine, chilled bro, just see what I have told you. This is the data. See, chilled bro flew to India. Just see, kids. This is the NCRT. NCRT language I am using. Chilled bro flew to India. Got it? Everyone got it? Chilled bro flew to India. Now, let me sh show you. The bond dissociation enthalpy also kids just see this table. This is also NCRT given an NCRT bond dissociation energy. No hydration energy. No, that is dissociation energy HF HF HCl. This is you know will easily break up. That's why its pK value is a minus 10 and it is 3 boiling point melting point. It's very clear. But now, my dear friends, I will give you that question where everyone is going to get failed. Is everyone ready, kids? Is everyone ready? I am going to give you such type of question where most of the people are going to get failed. Are you ready for that? Question is, 
how many reactions are feasible? How many reactions are feasible? Or which reactions are feasible? Which reactions are feasible? Feasible. Which reactions are feasible? Right? So I will give you four reactions. A is HCl plus Br2. B is HClO3, HClO4 plus Br2. C is HBr plus Cl2. D is HBrO4 plus Cl2. So these are the four reactions. Let's see how many questions or how many reactions or how many answers are being correct. So the ball is in your court, my dear students. The feasible one you have to tell me and I will note it down the record. What's your record is being everyone? Your time starts now. Zero reaction can be feasible, all can be feasible, any two can be feasible, three can be feasible. So do let me know. I'm waiting for your answer, kids. I'm waiting. Let's see how many of you are able to give the correct answer. And those who have joined right now, hit the like button, kids, smash the like button. C is possible. Okay, kids. Everyone is going for C. Now, kids, do let me know how many of you always feel difficulty in this type of question. And if you really feel difficulty in this type of question and you want the answer without cramming, without mugging it up, show me the green hearts. Show me the green hearts if you want the solution, if you need the solution for such type of questions. Show me the green hearts. Baba will tell you scientific things. C and D. Jyoti is going for C and D. Okay, everyone, show me the green hearts and then I will tell you the scientific way. I will tell you the scientific way. Definitely, I will tell you the scientific way. Kid. See, I will come to this question once again. Let me tell you some stories and then I will come to this question. Okay. Let me tell you three to four stories, right? Now, see, scientific story number one, scientific story number one, scientific story number two. Scientific story, right? Scientific story number one. You have to answer me, right? There was one hydrogen and hydrogen has seen chlorine. Hydrogen said, hey, chlorine, where are you going? I want to donate one electron. Just think, atoms like, atoms are like. Treat atoms like human beings, insan, human, and electron like money. Money, to understand money, we have to use brain. And atoms we can see with eye. Atoms, human beings, we can see with eye. But just to think about money, we have to apply mind. Is it clear? Now, hydrogen is saying, hey, chloride. I want to donate one electron. So hydrogen has donated one electron. Chloride has gained one electron. And they will, they are living like HCl. Clear to all of you? This is clear. Now, scientific story number two. Story number two. That one day, hydrogen was roaming. And bromine came there. He has donated one electron. And they started living like HBr. Uh, story number three. 
story number three. Let's see story number three. One day hydrogen was there, chloride also come has come, bromide also has come. One hydrogen, one chloride, one bromide. Now what will happen, kids? What will get formed? HBr or HCl? What will you get, kids? Do let me know what will you get. HBr or HCl? Both have come together. HCl because because chlorine is more electronegative and it will snatch one electron from this. This can't, and this you will get HCl. Am I right, kids? Am I right or not? Till now, everything is clear to all of you. Show me the green signal that it's clear. Now I'm going to tell you story number four. Story number four. Just see, story number four. Fourth story is, there was hydrogen and bromine has come. Bromine has come and chlorine got late. Chlorine has started from the home. Now who will snatch electron? Definitely hydrogen will snatch electron and it will form HBr. Now chlorine got late. Now what will happen kids? What will happen? Do let me know. What will happen? This bromine is enjoying the electron of hydrogen. Now chlorine will say, hey bro, I'm being more electronegative. I am being more electronegative. Give just this electron to me and I will throw you out and it will be like this. Am I right kids? You can write it like this twice of HBr plus Cl2 has come. You got two times of HCl plus Br2. This is the decent way of writing. But the thing is same. Are you able to understand the story number four? Story number four is clear. First of all, do let me know. If it is clear, show me some fire in the chat section. Keep on showing some fire. Otherwise, what's the use? If this much is clear, kids, do let me know. Okay. If this much is clear, now see. I'm going to tell you after this, if this much is clear, I'm going to tell you the story number five. That is very, very important. That is very, very important. Story number five. Just see. This is very, very important. Story number five. Just focus on a story number five. Story number five. There was hydrogen. The chlorine arrived over there. They formed HCl. Chlorine was having seven electrons. Mama has given and it has taken one electron of hydrogen. Right now it is having eight electrons. Now there arrived one oxygen. Oxygen said, hey, chlorine, hydrogen though is not having electron. Hydrogen is not having even a single electron. Now, Oxygen will snatch electron from whom? Because chlorine's electronegativity is 3.12. Oxygen electronegativity is 3.5. Oxygen will say, hey, chlorine, what are you doing? Give me this electron. I want to take this electron. So HClO will get formed. Now, the oxidation state of chlorine is how much here? Plus one. Mamma of chlorine has given how many electrons? Seven electrons is still chlorine is having electron. How many electrons? It is having six more electrons. Oxygen said, hey bro, hey bhaiya brother oxygen come here. This chlorine is too much rich. We are going to accept this electrons and this oxygen will come. You will get HClO2. Oxygen will come. You will get HClO3. Oxygen will come, you will get HClO4. Why not HClO5? Because whatever the number of electrons chlorine was having, it has donated all electron. It has snatched all the electrons. Now, I will let you know these are the oxy acids of chlorine. Oxy acids of chlorine. I will tell you the names also. Till now, are you able to understand, kids? Everyone, hypohalus, halus, halic, parhalic, I will let you know. But till now, 
everyone is able to understand this story is everyone able to understand this story story number five if yes show me some fire kids i want to see some fire in the i'm not good see kids in what way baba is teaching you kids fantastic awesome way now story number six just see the story number six story number six story number six Recap of story number five. Recap of story number five. H was there. Cl was there. You got HCl. Then four oxygen has come. Four oxygen has come. You got you got HClO4. HClO4. And everyone was worried because hydrogen is being snatched. Chlorine is being snatched. And there entered chlorine. Now kids. No, no fluorine, no fluorine. There entered bromine. Bromine. Now, fluorine will ask bromine, hey bro, I'm being more electronegative. I will snatch electron from you. Is it possible or not? Fluorine is saying, hey bro, bromine, I will snatch electron from you. So definitely, as chlorine is being very highly electronegative, it will snatch electron from this. And you will get H B R O4 and chlorine will come out. Chlorine will come out. Are you getting my point? Everyone getting my point. But see, this thing is possible. This thing is possible. Possible or not? Why? Just think about that. Here chlorine is in plus seven oxidation state. That's why it is possible. If it would have been like this if it would have been like this that if I say uh, HCl plus bromine what do you think is it possible is it possible see here chlorine is minus oxidation state and this cannot snatch electrons so this reaction is not possible but this reaction is possible because chlorine's oxidation state here is minus one there is plus seven this is being positive chlorine this is being negative chlorine are you able to find out the difference kids are you able to find out the difference that what is the difference in between these two everyone everyone are you able to find out now let me go back to the original question now tell me which reaction or reactions are feasible? What's your answer, kids? If you're able to understand scientific stories, now you can definitely give the correct answer. So, first reaction is possible. Do let me know. Minus one. Can bromine snatch electron from this? Is it possible that bromine can snatch electron from Cl? The first reaction is not possible. Not possible. Second, it is plus seven. Bromine, yes, it is possible, and you will get HBRO4 plus Cl. Yes, possible. Now, Br is a minus one, Cl will snatch electron. This is also possible. HCl plus Br, and this Br is plus seven. Chlorine, no, 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 this is not possible. How many of you are able to understand kids? Do let me know. Now, the tough question and you can see your answers everyone's answer was wrong and this question has been asked number of times in aims j whatever the examinations now first of all do let me know that everyone is able to understand or not kids first of all do let me know how was the story now after this i'm going to tell you oxy acids of halogens oxy acids of halogens just see to it Oxy acids of halogen. Oxy acids of halogen. Now, how to name them? How to name them? Just remember two things. This is, we call it ferrous, us, and this we call it ferric. Do you remember? Ferric. Ferrous, ferric. Now, if I write 
H X O two we will say us. If I write H X O three we will say ik. Till now, will you be able to remember the sap correlated with class tenth that Paris so us Paris so ik. Till now, is it clear to all of you? So, us we will say, halus, halus acid, halus, ik, halic, halic. Halogen is there, so halic, halus. Till now, is it clear? Is it clear? Now, if to this halic I add one more oxygen, I will use per. Per halic, per halic acid, and if I remove one oxygen from this, if I remove one oxygen, H O X, I will use hypohalous, hypohalous because it is something less. So this is related to this, and this is related to this. Are you able to understand hypohalous, halous, halic, per halic? Can you correlate? Oh my God, Bardhan, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just let me complete this. The table of this, I will give break. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Alina, Ashfaq. Yes, yes, I will give break. Just let me draw the table of this. I will give break. Okay. Now see, hypohalous, halus, halic, perhalic. If you are able to understand, now I am going to draw the table. Just see to it. Because I have promised, Vardhan, yeah, you are right. I have promised to give you a break. Now see. One, two, three, four. HOF. HOF. Unstable at room temperature. Remember that unstable at room temperature. HOCl, HOBr, HOI. Now just remember, my dear students, this is dash, this is dash is blank all these are being blank so to this is blank here we will write down something here we will write down something but it is having all these type of assets that means I will write HOCl HClO2 HClO3 HClO4 and here I will put cross 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 here I will put cross cross HBRO3 HBRO4 HIO3 HIO4 just tell me the names anyone let me hypochlorous chlorous chloric perchloric just these are the names that's it hypo Chlorus, chlorus, chloric, perchloric, right kids, perchloric. Now my dear students, like that, hypoidus, idus, idic, paritic. Now my dear students, after this, I will tell you something more about halogens. Now 14 to 15 minutes, zero group will take 14 to 15 minutes. Then boron family will take some time and then carbon family. Then it will get completed. Now my dear friends, first of all, do let me know. I am taking too much time. I have not gone anywhere kids today. Tomorrow at tomorrow at 10 o'clock. No, it's 10 or 11. 10 o'clock. There is special class of this T block only. I will solve all the questions at that place. I will take. All the doubts, but right now I am not going. I am going to give a break, short break. But kids, do let me know. Is it fruitful? Before giving you break, just to let me know. Because 
I want to come with lots of energy after the break. First of all, do let me know very clearly. I am teaching you on the pure plain blank slide. And I am telling you each and everything which is going to come in examination. And I am stick to the NCERT. It is really good. I am explaining each and everything kids. Or I am moving very fast. Duration, it is not going to take too much time. In Within one hour, it will get completed after, after the break. It will take just one hour, approximately one hour. Thank you, thank you. So, kids, right now it is 23.29. So, let's meet at what time? 23 means 11, 11.30. It is 11.30. 11.30. So let's meet at 11.50. No, no, no to us. It's only 15 minutes break. So let's meet. Let's meet at. Short break. Let's meet with same energy. At eleven fifty, right, kids? Okay, kids. You have to, you have to come with, you have to come with 11.45. Okay, that's really awesome, kids. Fantastic. 11.45. Okay. Yes, that's really fantastic, kids. Really. Thank you, thank you.
So Baba is back, my dear friends. It's terribly cold over here. So everyone ready? Kids? I'm always in time. I'm always in time, my dear friends. Baba is never late. Right now I'm in Lucknow and its temperature is 9 to 10 degrees Celsius. Thank you, Vardhan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Now, one question for you people. One question. Just see. Just see what is the question, kids. Let's see what is the question, kids. So, let me remove jacket. Otherwise, I won't be able to teach. Thank you. Thank you, kids. Thank you. Thank you, kids. Now, Baba is... It's full of energy kits. So I want to see your energy kits. I want to see your energy level. Baba is full of energy now, right now. I want to see your energy. How is the Josh? Wow, Nawab's world. Fantastic. Now, let me tell you kids. What else can come from this halogen? I'm going to tell you one thing, kids. See, first of all, the melting and boiling point of this is higher, and then you can see simply it is on increasing as the molecular mass is increasing. As the molecular mass increases, the boiling point will increase, and this is highest in the respective trend because of. Intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Intermolecular what? Hydrogen bonding. That's simple. And this thing already I have told. Now, my dear friends, I'm going to tell you one thing and try to understand and try to give the questions answer. Right? So the thing is, this is you can say ocean. This is being ocean. This is water, this is being water, water is there, inside the water there is fish, we draw fish, we try to draw fish. Now, from the ship, there is being ship, let me Try to draw the ship also. And from the ship, this is the ladder. I'm trying to make a memory picture so that you can remember for a longer period of time. So, who has entered in this water, chlorine? Chlorine, bromine, and iodine. But this fish, fish said thanks to fluorine only, thanks to fluorine. And fish has nothing said to chlorine and bromine, nothing. And fish started hating, fish started hating iodide. Why? Fish said thanks to F2 and fish started hating iodide negative and nothing to this chlorine and bromine. It's first of all tell me the answer of first question. What? Happened to the fish? Why fish is saying thanks to fluorine? Do let me know, kids. Why the fish is saying thanks to fluorine, kids? Now, 
the answer is fish start from f and fluorine also starts from f is this the answer no not at all this is not the answer now let me tell you why why it is saying thanks to fluorine secrets let me explain it just see to it fluorine when reacts with water it will produce oxygen o2 it will produce oxygen o2 and will form hydrogen fluoride now my dear students this oxygen is liked by everyone fish got oxygen and that's why fish is saying wow i'm very happy now when chlorine and bromine reacts with water chlorine when reacts with water or when this bromine reacts with water they will not produce oxygen they will produce like uh, hcl plus hocl hypohalous acid and hypo and this hydro acid hbr and hobr no oxygen is produced and why fish has started heating iodide iodide reacts with oxygen it is going to consume oxygen and it will convert into i2 further it will convert into i2 now see kids chlorine is oxidizing this water its minus 2 oxidation state is coming to zero whereas in iodide minus 1 oxidation state is coming to zero that means iodide is undergoing yes oxidation this is undergoing oxidation oxidation and now my dear student this fluoride is from 0 to minus 1 this is undergoing reduction can you see this is the thing which can be asked in the examination i hope that everyone is able to understand all these things now this is all about halogens my dear students let me tell you one thing very very important about halogens that i told you that whenever you are having compound like this just see to it compounds like this i have told you cbi c p i pass in basic medium in basic medium that undergoes disproportionation and this thing you must have studied in class 10th or 11th also just like if i say i am having cl2 plus naoh so this is in basic medium and the cl2 will undergo disproportionation to give what nacl plus naclo this is disproportionation how to find out the c its oxidation state is zero here it is being minus 1 here it is being just see 1 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to plus 1 plus 1 so it is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction so from chlorine to here it is undergoing reduction and from chlorine to here this is undergoing oxidation so same atom is undergoing oxidation as well as reduction but same reaction if i carry out at higher temperature just like cl2 plus naoh you must have studied at higher temperature once again basic medium once again it will undergo disproportionation so you will get nacl plus na cl o3 here it is 3 to the 6 plus 5 oxidation state minus 1 oxidation state you can see oxidation and reduction so these two reactions they take place whether i say chloride bromide iodide phosphorus you have already seen and sulfur you have seen so this is the fundamental thing of disproportionation is this trick good do you like this trick or not my dear students at least show me some fire in the chat section and get smash the like button also you are not feeling energetic then how i will feel energetic kids i want to see everyone's energy in the chat section now this is clear 
सो अबाउट हेलोजेंस वी आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग माई डेज फ्रेंड्स नाउ आई एम स्विचिंग टू जीरो ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स नाउ सी जीरो ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आई एम मूविंग टू वर्ड जीरो ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स दिस इज ऑलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इलेक्ट्रोनिटी मेल्टिंग एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट दिस एनाइजेशन इन थेरेपी दैट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ जीरो ग्रुप my dear students if i talk about zero group zero group you know zero group fantastic zero group zero group that we can say noble gases noble gases and in noble gases they are being inert and here helium is being exceptional case why helium is exceptional case its last electron is coming to s electron is filled in the s subshell s subshell but it is placed in p it is placed in p now another thing is that helium is very very exceptional it's very very unusual it can diffuse it can diffuse it is like mr india it can diffuse through rubber it can diffuse through plastic it can diffuse through glass oh my god means if you fill helium gas in the tire it will come out if you are sitting in the car it will come inside through glass it diffuses it is like mr india it can diffuse diffuses double f it can diffuse to all these things that's why helium is oh my god it can move when you are you are sitting in the car you are thinking like you are safe it will come through the glass it will come through the tire plastic whatever the thing oh my god this is it is given in ncert this i am not telling you from my side it's being given in ncert it's given in ncert now my dear students people up to 1966 they were thinking like up to 1966 they were thinking like no what they were thinking i will tell you first of all let me tell you kids helium neon helium neon argon krypton xenon radon they have stable configuration their octet is complete if you want to supply electron to this that means if you want to supply electron suppose neon if you want to supply electron to neon hey neon just take electron it is not feeling hungry it is full on stomach so it will not take electron so we will say they don't want to they don't want they don't wanna gain electron and then also you want to give electron that means that is endothermic you have to supply energy they have positive value of electron gain in enthalpy that means you have to supply electron with force you have to apply we have to apply force we have to apply force and that force is in the form of energy so endothermic their electron affinity means they have we have to supply they don't have negative electron gain enthalpy they have positive they have positive electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy they have positive electron gain enthalpy i hope this is clear to all of you because they don't want to gain electron and ionization energy will keep on increasing if i say its ionization energy in ionization enthalpy is approximately 11 um 70 kilo joule per mole kilo joule per mole no need to remember but yes on moving down the group it is decreasing but very tough to take out electron because 
On moving from left to right, ionization enthalpy generally increases. On moving down the group, because the number of shells increasing, the ionization energy will decrease. Let me show you some data, then I will tell you. Then I will tell you things, no secrets, where the data is just look at the properties. Just see to it. Just see to it. Helium neon iron captain. Uh, Ionization enthalpy, see xenon. Oh my god, such a great memory I am having this much kilojoule per mole. So it, see, it is decreasing, it is having 2372 the maximum ionization energy, and on moving that side, it is decreasing. That means I can say it is increasing on this side the ionization enthalpy. This is having maximum. So electron gain enthalpy, just if you see. They have positive electron gain enthalpy. I have told you, you have to apply force to give electron. Otherwise, they are not going to gain electron. Is it clear to all of you? Is it clear to all of you kids? And you see, my now why this is deleted? Because they have van der Waal radii. They have what? Van der Waal radii. Van der Waals radii. And they are largest in their respective period they have maximum size because van der Waal radii is being maximum this you know very well so my dear history what i am going to tell you what i want to explain see kids my interest is just see what is my interest there was one scientist there was one scientist named as neil wortlet have you have you heard this name? 1966, Neil Wartlett. Neil Wartlett. What he saw? He saw one compound. The color of that compound was red. Red color compound, my dear friend. Red colored compound. And that compound was. O2 positive this compound secrets O2 positive PTF6. Now this was a red color compound and he started thinking because he was too much indulged into the search. He was doing research, research papers, he was publishing, he was having too much knowledge and he started thinking because he was having too much knowledge, what he saw kids, this is O2, O2 dimolecular oxygen, I would like to say dimolecular oxygen, it's not simple oxygen, dimolecular oxygen, not, it's not oxygen atom and he has seen in the literature just to remove one electron, the energy required ionization enthalpy was 1175 kilojoule per mole. No need to remember this data, but if you see NCRT exactly, you will get this data and O2 positive. One thing he has seen in the literature. Then what he got, I have told you that xenon's ionization energy is also how much? Anization enthalpy of xenon is 1170 kilojoule per mole. Means it will give Xc plus what he saw, these, these two equations that to remove one electron which is placed over here in this compound, this anion, this is being anion, this is being monocation, whatever the amount of energy is required to form this monovalent cation of O2. The same energy is required to remove one electron from xenon. That means this compound with xenon is also possible. If you see your NCRT, same energy will be given over there. It's just check it your NCRT, the same energy. Now he got, he got that just like this compound O2 positive Pt F6. He has prepared the first compound. And he got breakthrough that Xc Pt F6 in 19 
66. This wartlet has prepared the compound of xenon in 1966. Wartlet, Neil Wartlet, he got success in preparing compound of xenon, the first compound, the first compound, first compound, he got success in preparing this compound. So remember this compound, my dear friend. Now, once he has prepared this compound, then everyone started saying, yeah, we can prepare compound of xenon. Now see kids. Now see what they did. Now see what they did, what they have started doing kids. See the zero group. It's really going to be awesome. Just see. They have taken xenon. They have taken xenon kids. They have taken xenon and they said, hey xenon, combine with fluorine. Hey xenon, combine with fluorine. Fluorine is highly electronegative. Xenon said, hey, I don't want to react with fluorine. I'm a noble gas element. I don't need anyone. I want to remain alone. It's, it is having complete configuration why it is going to react. But public said, hey, you have to react. You have to react. They have increased the temperature, my dear friends. They have increased the temperature to 673 Kelvin. That is approximately 400 degrees Celsius. Not approximately, exactly. Now, xenon has combined with fluorine. They said, hey, I'm just increasing the temperature. Haven't used pressure. Just like if parents are beating you, they are using temperature and they are saying like this, hey, so this is the applica application of pressure. So people are saying we have used only temperature, we have not used pressure. This reaction is taking place at one atmosphere. One atmosphere. Now my dear friends, Zenon said, okay, you want to use pressure? They said, yes, if we are using pressure, if we are using pressure, then see what is going to happen. Xenon, if we are using pressure and we are using more fluorine and we are using 873 Kelvin and 7 bar, that is 1 bar, so you will get bond like XeF4. Oh my God, very high temperature and pressure, XeF4. People said, okay. Xenon is having more electrons. We formed XeF2. Here, Xenon's oxidation state is plus 2. Here, it is plus 4. Let's form plus 6. So, they tried, but they haven't got success. Then, what they have done? Kids, they decreased the temperature. Thought this is increasing. They have decreased the temperature, but they have used 70 bar pressure oh my god and in this way xcf6 got formed now my dear friend see it is over here plus six so xenon compound c got if you have ncrt if you are having ncrt just check it out you will get exactly the same temperature and same pressure i'm not saying i'm genius but you will get like this only now my dear friends if they are left with water, let's see what will happen. So kids, just see to it. This is maximum temperature. This is less, less. Let me write down once again the same thing so that we can find out. See, there is XeF2 plus water. There is XeF4 plus water. There is XeF6 plus water. My dear friends, this question will be definitely asked in the examination. And how to answer it? Just see. The one who was prepared at maximum temperature. Who is prepared at maximum temperature? Okay, Jyoti is asking who is bigger, atmosphere or bar? See, ATM and bar, which guard is feeling more pressure? Okay, let me tell you. Jyoti, 
which guard will feel more pressure do let me know one guard is at atm one guard is at atm atm you know atm machine and one guard is at the bar pub which guard will be feeling more pressure do let me know definitely this guard will be feeling more pressure so more value more value now how to find out just see one atm is equal to one point now see it is looking like zero this is looking like one and this is looking like three bar jyoti is it clear you got it you got it if you are happy then do let me know yes i got it one kid is writing a sai krishna gangula if it is like that what are you doing over here sai krishna gangula what you are doing over here at this time hey everyone just give him the reply <laughs> this is some fake student if you are thinking like that what are you doing over here everyone just let him know sai krishna gangula what are you doing over here why you are wasting your time now see everyone everyone just see let me come back i was telling you which out of this a b c which was formed at maximum temperature definitely this was formed at maximum temperature formed at maximum temperature so it will give number of products maximum number of products it will give see kids what it is going to give it will give you xc plus hf plus water no water it will give you what kids xc plus hf plus xeo3 explosive explosive pyramidal shape explosive now what is left here what will come one thing is left do let me know what you will get over here just to let me know kids what will you get everyone do let me know what will you get kids do let me know what will you get at this place everyone do let me know what will you get at this place kids i want to see your answer only one place i have left kids everyone do let me know what you are going to get at this place yes i want to see your answer kids fast 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 kids if you are applying your brain do let me know what will you get at this place the fish will be happy if this reaction is taking place in water if this reaction is taking place in water the fish will feel happy this is the hint fish will feel happy if this reaction is happening in water if this reaction is happening in water do let me know kids wow vardhan thank you vardhan thank you this is the way to teach such type of students how xco3 i will let you know to sure i will let you know this is explosive so the fish will feel happy do not do let me know what you get at this place kids fish will feel happy o2 yes laharika o2 gas will be there now my dear students in this place this was formed at least temperature least temperature so minimum number of products minimum number of products least temperature so minimum number of products x e o3 explosive plus hf no oxygen no oxygen no oxygen now my dear students in this 
intermediate so you will get x e plus h f plus o2 now my dear students these three reactions are given if you know the product the examiner will ask the third reaction is the third reaction redox disproportionation the second reaction is disproportionation which reaction is disproportionation my dear student just see here xc is in plus 4 oxidation state you see it is in zero oxidation state xc and here it is in plus 6 oxidation state just see from 4 to 0 this is a reduction can you see this is being reduction and from 4 to plus 6 that is being oxidation if you remember these products you can say yes this is disproportionation reaction disproportionation agreed or not first of all do let me know everyone Vardhan, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, this is disproportionation. Now, if examiner is asking, is this disproportionation? Then the answer is no, it's not disproportionation. See why? See why? It is in plus 6 oxidation state. Here also, it is in being plus 6 oxidation state. This is in minus 1 oxidation state. This is also in minus 1 oxidation state. This is in plus 1. This is in plus 1. So, it is simple reaction, simple hydrolysis. It's not, it's not disproportionation. It's not disproportionation, right kids? It's not being disproportionation. So, all the questions answer you got and this was zero group. Now, only boron family and carbon family, two families are left. Only two families are being left. Are you ready kids? Only two families. Boron and Carbon family, zero group, I've told you. Now, kids, just see in the NCRT. Just check NCRT, whether it is given like, now, let me explain how XeO3 you will do in your examination because kids can't do. Just see, kids, Xe, XeF6, just see, XeF6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six secrets. If one water molecule has entered, one water molecule, just see to it. O H H. What can you see? Kids? What can happen? See, just try to understand. Just try to understand. This HF. This HF, right? What do you get? You will get the partial hydrolysis. You will get kids X E F4 and one oxygen X E F4 plus 2 HF. This is partial hydrolysis. Partial hydrolysis. Partial hydrolysis. Now, my dear string, the second one, the second one, just see, see carefully X E F. F, 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 F. Now, two water molecules are coming if one like this, one more like this. Now, see what you get. You will get X, E, O, 2, F, F, how many F? 4 are gone, 2 plus 4 times H, F. This is also partial hydrolysis, partial hydrolysis. First of all, do let me know. Everyone is able to understand. This A1 is partial hydrolysis. This B1 is also partial hydrolysis. Everyone, if you are able to understand, do let me know. Now, complete hydrolysis. I'm going to tell you the complete hydrolysis. Just see to it. If I say complete hydrolysis, what do you get? Just see. X, E, F, F. F, 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 X, E, F, 6. Now, one oxygen is over here, H, F, H, F, one oxygen at this place, H, F, H, F, one oxygen at this place, H, F, H, F, just see to it. What is going to happen, kids? See? 
so we will eliminate out hf 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 what is left this is complete hydrolysis my dear friends now you can see very clearly x e o3 plus six times of hf this is being complete hydrolysis this is explosive compound now see xc is having how many lone pair xc actually xc has eight electrons so xc is eight electron means two mm, like two now this now this shape is see how many sigma bonds sigma bonds are one two three one lone pair means steric number is three plus one that is four one but lone pair so pyramidal shape you can say this is the shape of XCO3 pyramidal shape is it clear to all of you my dear friend so complete and partial hydrolysis I have told you Vardhan is really doing very fantastic thing kids now this is class 12th P block I have explained first of all do let me know how much you liked P block means of class 12th now I'm going to explain the class 11th P block Baba is going to explain class 11th P block but before that I would like to say really you kids are doing hard work the success is waiting for you because it's right now first day of this new year has gone and it's 20 past of the second day that is being Monday, Monday, Monday means, yeah, Monday, Monday, which day? I don't know, it's Monday, Tuesday, even I don't know the days, <laughs> my dear students, Monday, Tuesday, okay. So, anyways, 2024, now kids. We are going to start with the fantastic group from where number of questions will come. Number of questions will come, my dear students. Let me tell you which group from where number of questions will come. And it holds a hell lot of weightage kits. Really fantastic because it is scoring one and it is most important one kits. Why it is important, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Why it is being important, let me tell you, kids. The boron family, if I talk about boron family, just we have to know the periodic table. Little bit knowledge of periodic table, just see to it. Let me draw. Let me give you an idea about the periodic table. Otherwise, we won't be able to understand it. Just see to it. Just try to understand what I am going to tell you kids. What is being important. Just see to it. If I say there is hydrogen, lithium, sodium, beryllium, magnesium. Here is potassium, calcium and science teacher very crazy man felt cold at night with cousin. Cousin. Now just see, if I say kids, because this is really, it's, it holds a hell lot of weightage, that's why I'm going to tell you kids, just try to understand, there is being boron, aluminium, and here is being gallium, gallium. This gallium is just coming after D, D1, 2, D10. Now, why this is important? This gallium D is having poor screening effect. Poor screening effect. That means the nucleus of gallium will have strong hold on the electron because after D10, after D10, electron is getting filled in P, P1. Are you getting my point? Now, after this, let me tell you, it is going sec scandium, iterbium, lanthanum, actinum. 
Now let me tell you from length num, atomic number of length num is 57. From cerium to lutetium, there are 14 elements, 58 to 71. And after this, which element will come? Just see. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th period. 6th period means it will come over here. Just see. One more element, boron, aluminum, gallium, indium, and there will be thallium. And thallium has to face F14. That is being very, 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 very poor shielding effect. That is shielding. Now, my dear students, either I can say shielding effect or I can say screening effect. Now, we will see the very, very drastic problems over here. Number of questions will come from this boron family. Are you able to understand my dear students? Everyone, are you able to understand? So, this we have to see in detail that from boron to aluminum, there is no problem. But we have to face a lot of problem from gallium to thallium. This is danger point. Dangerous point, my dear friends. Are you ready for this? Number of questions will come from this because d orbital contraction and lanthanide contraction they will be the consequence of d orbital contraction and lanthanide contraction. Everyone ready, kids? Everyone now see kids. Okay, now see kids. See, let me tell you if I say boron, if I say boron, boron. Aluminium, gallium, indium, thallium. Now, if I say the supposed order of atomic size, means I am not saying reality, the support, the supposed order, that means expected order of atomic size. Expected, expected order of atomic size should be like this, kids. I am not saying this is right or wrong. This is the expected. I am saying expected order. Expected means we are thinking like this that it should be like this expected order. Am I right kids? As we go down the group, number of shells are increasing. As, as we go down the group, down the group, as we go down the group, the Number of shells increasing, number of shells increases, number of shells increases. Am I right, kids? And as the number of shells are increasing, the size should get increase. Am I right, kids? This is happening, this is happening everywhere. But my dear friends, now see, due to d orbital contraction, the size of, see, boron is greater than so, this is barium, <laughs> by chance barium I have written, sorry kids, it's boron, it's boron, by chance I have written barium, it's boron, my dear friends, boron, aluminum, gallium, and thallium. So, the size of the truth is, the truth or the experimentally what they have found that boron than aluminum, aluminum size is greater than boron, aluminum size is greater than boron that is fantastic that boron and the size of aluminium is greater than boron it's okay it's according to expected order but aluminium size was found greater than that of gallium also gallium's gallium size is found to be less than that of aluminium i think i don't remember the data a bit but a bit I have an idea. Let's see. If I say this is 143 picometer, I don't know this is right or wrong. 139 picometer. It was formed like this. And then it's indium and thallium. It's okay. Indium and thallium is approximately equal or whatever the thing. But yes, you see the anomalous behavior here that gallium size is means approximately either it should be given like this the aluminium and gallium size is like this 
or it should be given like this aluminum size is greater than gallium so both are being correct now let me see let me see am i right or not let me see the data let me see the data my dear students see where is the radii uh, radii 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 yeah see oh my god this is 143 aluminium and gallium is just 135 see kids see the data what i have told you that i have given the clear picture of this data this is 143 and this is 135 only see kids are you getting at this point are you able to understand my dear students see i have told you this thing now you must be able to understand my dear students now kids do let me know do let me know i have told you this thing now 88 picometer 143 135 and 67 and 70 they are approximately equal just see they are approximately equal why they are approximately equal there is lanthanoid contraction and there is d orbital contraction there is d orbital contraction and there is lanthanoid contraction my dear friends i hope that you are able to understand this is due to d orbital contraction d orbital contraction poor shielding of d and this is lanthanoid contraction and what is the reason of lanthanoid contraction that is f shielding clear to all of you is it clear to all of you my dear friends so in the whole this you can see this is greater than this so one thing is clear one thing is clear now if this is clear the size effect the lanthanoid and d orbital contraction will definitely affect the ionization energy now let me tell you kids ionization energy the ionization energy expected order of ionization energy boron 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 aluminium gallium indium thallium the expected order of ionization energy is like this this is the expected energy ionization energy am i right expected order for ionization enthalpy but kids you know that there will be some anomaly because you know that here d orbital contraction and here lanthanoid contraction d orbital contraction is there that is pure pure and that's poor shielding of d orbital and there lanthanoid contraction due to lanthanoid contraction due to poor shielding of f orbital contraction now my dear students the real order was real real order experimentally found experimentally found order is my dear students that b b b b b b b boron it's okay then tl oh my god just see this is due to very very poor shielding very very poor shielding of very very poor shielding of f subshell now nucleus is putting pores and f is unable to f is unable to cross that pores and that pores is felt by this outermost electron so this electron is coming inward so z effective is very high z effective increase and z effective increase so ionization enthalpy also got increase so bottle garden bottle garden all india just remember this code bottle garden all india for ionization energy just keep this this trick what is the trick my dear student trick is bottle garden all india bottle garden bo tell bottle bottle garden bottle garden bottle garden all india all india how is the trick kids if you liked it bottle garden all india for ionization enthalpy for ionization enthalpy this is the order experimentally we have to learn it we have to cram it i have told you i have told you my dear students the 
reason for it these are the reasons but we have to cram it bottle garden all india for ionization energy kits first of all let me know how much you're liking it is this trick helping you a lot if yes i want to see let me have a glass of water i'm going to tell you number of tricks bottle garden and i will show you i will show you the data also my dear students i will show you the data also just to prove it let me show you the ncert data just see i'm going to show you the ncert data ncert data oh this is getting tired i think oh yeah yeah it's working see uh no no it's carbon and we have to see the boron family the boron family is over here yeah now see ionization energy sim sim just see ionization energy bottle garden all india bottle 801 see 801 it is being 801 maximum bottle bottle just see 589 it is on second number or not 589 is on second number on bottle garden third number bottle garden all india just see check just check the data my dear friend just check the data bottle garden all india hey everyone bottle garden all india just check it out i'm writing over here bottle bottle garden bottle garden all india all india for bottle garden all india for ionization enthalpy for ionization enthalpy bottle garden all india for ionization enthalpy this is clear now my dear friends so after telling you all these things let me breeze towards boron and boron things let me tell you in the boron what is being important let me tell you all those things which are important in boron family my dear friends so boron let me tell you the boron what is being important oh my god slowly 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 otherwise oh ho ho yes 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 now let me come over here now see my dear students just see to it boron compounds it will take it will take 20 20 minutes more my dear student no not more than that so don't worry 10 20 minutes more now see my dear students if i say boron's first compound is bh3 bh3 now see this bh3 boron's atomic number is just 5 so 5 means 1s2 2s2 and 2p1 so in the outermost shell there are being three electrons three electrons so how to write it down 2s2 and 2p1 2p1 like this now this is the ground state and if i say ground state and hybridized state ground no it's the first excited state because one electron should go over there this is the ground state configuration ground state configuration in the excited state what will happen my dear student first excited state in the first excited state one electron will transfer over there so this is being 2s1 and this is being two electrons are over here now excited and hybridized state excited and being a hybridized state hybridized state what do you get kids one of s and three of p will combine together you will get four orbitals but only three electrons this is one back end so this is being sp2 hybridized once it is being sp2 hybridized you can see boron will look like this this is being sp2 one orbital sp2 the second orbital sp2 
and the third orbital sp2 sp2 the smaller lobes i have not drawn and one is being vacant that is being pure p orbital like this pure p so it is this is bit uh, spherical not pure spherical because it is having s and p but this is pure p so this is lean and thin pure p orbital pure p so pure p both the lobes are there are you able to understand both the lobes are there now my dear students it is having one electron it is having one electron it is having one electron so if i draw bh3 so they will combine like this one hydrogen another hydrogen another hydrogen they will combine like this but it is having only six electrons in the valence shell only six electrons so it is electron deficient it is being electrophile it is being electrophile till now everyone it is clear to all of you till now it is clear to each and every one my dear students now this will dimerize this will dimerize now ph3 was ph3 is sp2 hybridized sp2 hybridized and once it is dimerizing it will dimerize my dear students it will form b2h6 now let's check it out what is the hybridization of b2h6 this is sp3 now how the hybridization is getting changed a number of questions they will ask on this try to understand this is being diborane this is being diborane very very important compound diborane now let's see my dear friend this diborane how its hybridization got changed and it's not that much electron deficient but yeah reversible reaction is there something is coming it will go like that it will come like this now how the hybridization is getting changed let's see to it kids everyone let's see to it if i draw one plane if i draw one plane like this let us suppose this is the plane this is being plane planar molecule let me give you the feel also so that you can understand it so this is one plane this is one plane and i have drawn one boron one boron over here and let me say this hydrogen is coming towards observer side means coming towards your side this hydrogen is coming towards your side and this hydrogen is going away from you and this hydrogen is also like this placed over here just see okay kids now if i say that this is sp2 it was sp2 like that this is one orbital and this one was vacant orbital you see this is just vacant orbital vacant not having electron but this was having electron this was having electron see it is like this was having one electron this was having one electron this was having one electron and these are being hydrogen electron if i say these are being hydrogen electron hydrogen electron hydrogen electron and hydrogen electron you can see so these are being hydrogen electron one electron of hydrogen one more electron of hydrogen one more electron of hydrogen and this borons this orbital is being vacant now see my dear student if i draw one more boron over here if i say this boron is placed over here it's one hydrogen is coming towards observer side this hydrogen is coming towards observer side this hydrogen is going away from observer okay now one orbital this is having one electron and there is one hydrogen this is having one electron and this is hydrogen just say this is hydrogen hydrogen electron this is this is borons let me draw borons electron with opposite spin let me draw with opposite spin otherwise you won't be able to understand this is like this and this is hydrogen electron i said this is hydrogen electron its electron is like this its electron is like this and hydrogen electron are like this with opposite spin this is hydrogen electron this is hydrogen electron and this borons 
one orbital is being empty this is being empty it is being empty now kids can you see at this place two atoms are present two atoms just like you see you won't be able to understand like this since you can see whenever you were going going to school two kids are there one is Ramu, one is Shamu, they are bringing their tiffin and they are sharing. Two people are bringing their tiffin, two are sharing. But in another case, there is Pandu, Champa and Shamu. Pandu and Shamu, they are bringing their tiffin. Champa is not bringing their, his, her tiffin. Now kids, at this place, three people, two tiffin. Earlier case, two people, two tiffin, which is better. Two people, two tiffin. Three people, two tiffin. Thank you, Vardhan. Thank you. Two people, two tiffin. Three people, two tiffin. So definitely, two people, two tiffin. Two atoms, two electrons. Two atoms, two people, two electron system. This is a stable one. This is not a stem. It's two atom two electron system better stable thing this is being stable this is being stable now if you see here and here three atoms only two electrons only two electrons this is being unstable this is being unstable unstable now my dear friends in chemistry language, we call it, in chemistry language, we call it two electron, two atom system, three electrons, sorry, three centered, two electron pair. We call it three centered, three centered, two electron system, three centered, two electron system. This is three centered, two electron system. And that is two centered two electron system now my dear students if i draw it properly if i draw it properly just see to it and you will be able to understand let me draw it more accurately and properly you can see just try to understand it this i am going to draw one plane Just try to visualize it, what I have told you. This is one boron, this is another boron. If I say this hydrogen is coming towards observer side, means towards your side. This hydrogen is going away from observer. This hydrogen is coming towards observer side. And this hydrogen is going away from observer. Just see. This is the bed. All six atoms are in one plane or not? All six, all six, that is two boron, four hydrogens. They are in same plane. They are in same plane or not? Yes, they are in being same plane. And they are known as terminal hydrogens. These are known as? Terminal hydrogens, terminal hydrogens. Now, my dear students, let me show you the bond. This hydrogen, how it is getting formed, I will say this bond was like this, and this hydrogen was like this, and its empty orbital, its empty orbital was like this. Now, if you see this bond properly, more properly, then you can see something, kids. You will get some memory. Just do let me know what type of memory you are getting, kids. Do let me know what type of memory you are getting. It is looking like banana shape. Looking like banana shape. This is banana bond. One banana bond over there. And it is vacant orbital. 
and this is being filled orbital from this side it is being filled orbital and this is being hydrogen two electrons at this place this is another banana bond this is being another banana bond because its shape is like banana these are going above the plane and below the plane and let me tell you my dear students let me tell you this bond angle is 120 degree but this is 90 seven degree approx and this bond strength is more so it's a a i if i say it is being uh a a i that means one one nine picometer and this is a c d that means a c d and this is my code language if you are able to understand understand it a e i a b c d a means 1, A means 1, I means 9 picometer PM, A, A, I. Alia arrived with I. Now, A, C, D, this is my code language. A, C, D means 1, 3, 4 picometer. So, these are banana bond, two banana bonds. Are you able to understand my dear students? Is everyone able to understand it? Now, another thing let me tell you oh ho oh, oh. ho so i need one plain page kits just give me some time um yeah now see kids as boron is unstable this boron is electron deficient so this is being electrophile electro File, electrophile that means electron deficient only six electrons so if you bring ammonia near to this ammonia then what will happen kids definitely boron BH3 will get one coordinate bond from ammonia side it will look like this my dear students just think about if Ammonia is not there, two boron molecules are there. Just think for this condition. Two boron molecules are there, BH3, BH3. What do you think? Anything can happen. This is given in NCRT. This will snatch one hydride from there and it will be like this BH4 negative and BH2 positive. Now, two moles of ammonia will come. Now, Two moles of ammonia. Now, why two moles of ammonia will come? Let me tell you, my dear friend. It is having eight electrons. It was having six and two gone, only four electrons. So it is, it is in need of how many electrons? Definitely, it is in need of four electrons. So two ammonia molecules will come and will provide support to this. Are you able to understand? You can write it like this. In what way you can write? See, cation and anion. This is being cation. Can write it like this is cation BH2 and ammonia hole twice. Ammonia hole twice. If you check your NCRT, it should be written like this only and BH4 negative. BH4 negative. Just see to it. It can be like this. You should be able to understand. Now, my dear students, if you heat this compound. If you heat this compound, what will you get? Do let me know. What will you get if you heat this compound, my dear students? You will get inorganic benzene. What is inorganic benzene? That is very, very important. Number of questions examiner will ask from the inorganic benzene. You know the formula of inorganic benzene? Inorganic benzene. That is also known as boragene very very important compound boragene that is also known as triborine triborine triamine triamine this is also known as borajol borajol you can call it borajol also borajol now this is b3 and 3 h6 b3 and 3 at 6 b3 and 3 at 6 how will you write it down c just see to it b3 and 3 at 6 b 
बॉन्ड विथ नाइट्रोजन बॉन्ड विथ नाइट्रोजन बॉन्ड विथ बोरोन बॉन्ड विथ बोरोन बॉन्ड विथ नाइट्रोजन एंड ऑल दे आर कनेक्टेड विथ हाइड्रोजन सी द मैजिक ओवर हेयर यू विल रियली फील हैप्पी नाउ इट इज लुकिंग लाइक दिस बोरोन इज हैविंग जस्ट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट and nitrogen is having lone pair eight electrons my dear student this is rich this is beggar what will happen this is rich this is beggar definitely the beggar will snatch electron from the rich beggar will snatch electron from the rich beggar will snatch electron from this and there will be the back bonding 2p pi c its lone pair is in 2p and its vacant is 2p so 2p pi 2p pi back bonding will take place and now they will look like this see kids how they will look like boron nitrogen nitrogen boron boron nitrogen like this all they are connected with hydrogen 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 now nitrogen has donated so plus charge boron has gained so negative charge one bond nitrogen has donated plus charge boron gained negative charge donated plus charge gained so it's looking like benzene just see stabilized by 2p pi 2p pi back bonding you can see stabilized by 2p pi 2p pi back bonding so it is looking like benzene the pi bond is not thoroughly circulated throughout the ring but yeah it's stable my dear students are you able to understand in ionic benzene 2p pi 2p pi back bonding best back bonding this is known as 2p pi 2p pi back bonding 2p pi 2p pi back bonding very stable now the important compound of boron is borax borax b test you must have heard that borax are you ready so this is going to be the last compound of boron family and then i will tell you carbon family so 15 minutes more gets only 15 minutes more then the lecture will get finished just it's the thing of 15 minutes more everyone oh sai krishna is there uh sai krishna what happened i, I, I think I, i was thinking some outside student is there but sai krishna you are the good student i was thinking somebody from outside sai krishna gangula you are to our student only i i i am thinking like that i was thinking somebody outside from outside you are to from our side only isn't it now let's see how to make borax this is very very important borax see my dear students borax borax now borax formula is na2 b4 o7 dot 10 times h2o how many of you want to learn this formula because this formula is very very important if you are going to forget this formula by chance you have to, if you have forgotten this formula you will lose one mark not one mark one question that means plus 4 and minus 1 that is minus 5 marks now see let me tell you see natu song have you heard natu song natu song natu na to na to na to na to na to there was no na to and he was rising before 7 o'clock na to wakes up before 7 o'clock na to before before na to na to na to na to na to na to before before na to wakes up before before 7 o'clock 7 o'clock 7 o'clock and drink and drinks 10 glass of water 10 glass of water 
Is it okay, kids? Not to wake up before 7 o'clock and have 10 glass of water. How's the trick? Not to, 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 not to wake up before 7 o'clock and have 10 glass of water. Okay. Oh my God. So Sai Krishna must be thinking bad. Sai Krishna must, Sai Krishna, this happens. See, you were chatting with Vardhan and I thought that, oh my God, now I got it. Now, why you haven't told me kids? Why Vardhan you haven't told me? Hey Sai Krishna, it's okay, null and void. You are very good student, very good student, very good student. That's why I, I was thinking somebody else is there, some outsider is there. I was thinking like that. Now, Happy New Year. Sai Krishna, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Kids, kids make it 500 at least. The likes are less. At least make them 500. 481. It is 481. Make it 500, everyone. So, let me tell you the structure of this borax. Let me tell you the structure of borax. Just see. East or west? East or west? East or west? North or south? East, west, north, south? Let's. This is Baba, Baba, Baba. But make it Bob. 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 Bob, Bob, just see, I made it Bob, 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 just see to it kids, Bob, 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 now let's make this also to be Bob, Bob and Bob, 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 okay, these many Bobs, now, let me place OH tree, one tree in the east, one tree in the west, one tree at north, and one tree in the south. So I have planted four trees, OH, 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 and OH. Now see, this boron has got four valencies, so negative charge I have placed. Now my dear friends, just see this much I have drawn. Now, once I have drawn this much, what I will do? I will close it. I will close it. Now, I will place two sodium outside this and a two over here in space is less. Now, how many oxygens are left? Just check it out. Then I will place eight moles of water. If you check it out, it will be like this. Now, see kids. How many? P4. OH, how many OH? OH are 4 and O are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So B4, O5, B4, I can write it like this also. Na2, B4, O5, OH whole 4 and negative 2 negative and 8 times of water molecules. Just check it out. It will be looking like Borax only. Are you able to understand kids? Is everyone able to understand the structure of Borax? Or should I tell you once again? Is everyone able to understand the structure of Borax? My dear friend, do let me know. Is everyone able to understand the structure of Borax? Or should I tell you once again? Do let me know my dear friends. Is everyone able to understand the structure of Borax? Thank you, Nawab, Laharika, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now see, if you heat borax, if you heat borax, Na2, P4, O7, dot 10 times H2O, if you heat it on heating, 
it will lose 10 molecules of water you will get na2 b4 o7 now further heating now further heating you will get what na bo2 and boron sesquioxide oxide b2o3 so known as boron sesquioxide oxide boron sesquioxide oxide the same molecule we will get if we react bcl3 with water bcl3 with water then also we will get b2o3 the same compound we will get if we react boron with oxygen lot of amount of energy will get released we will get b2o3 b2o3 this is the thing we should understand my dear student. So this is all about boron. We got boron. We are able to understand boron. Now boron is very tough and boron's boiling melting point is also going to be affected. But before that, let me show you that table boron one where the boron table has gone. We have gone through each and everything. So just see the melting and boiling point if I say the boiling point 3923 3 and melting point this much its structure is very very special if you see the structure of boron that is going to be very very special now boron aluminum gallium and thallium if you see is decreasing that is also decreasing but boron is very tough its melting point and boiling point is very high and that point to be always we have to keep in your brain now my dear student each and everything I have told you only one thing is remaining that is carbon so is everyone ready but just of all see the structure of boron thank you thank you Nawab's world just everyone see the structure of boron you will get it icosahedron it should be icosahedron now let me come to the carbon family carbon you know the king of organic chemistry this is the last topic for today's class carbon my dear friends in the carbon you know each and everything that is being the organic chemistry part but but if i say in this family in this family of carbon family the important thing is that after carbon there is silicon you know each and everything about carbon you know about diamond very well you know about diamond very well you know about graphite very well but one thing is there which you don't know kids what is that if i say say the third one is buck minister fullerene do you know about buck minister fullerene buck minister fullerene this is also known as footballine or footballine Ballin, saucer ballin. Now this buck minister fullerene carbon sixteen. You know, have you heard about it? How many faces are there? If you are having NCRT, do let me know. The like bust minister fullerene or these are known as fullerenes. How many faces are there? If you are having NCRT, just do let me know how many, how many faces are there? How many faces gets? So. You will come to know that there are 32 faces am i right 32 faces and these faces are made up of pentagonal and hexagonal how many pentagonal and how many hexagonal do let me know the pentagonal and hexagonal faces pentagonal and hexagonal faces do let me know how many are pentagonal how many are hexagonal you do let me know do let me know let's see how many are having ncrt how many of you are having ncrt then if you are having ncrt then only you can tell me so definitely you will come to know that 20 are being hexagonal and 12 are being pentagonal if you see it should be given this is very very important now my dear students this hexagonal and pentagonal just see to it hexagonal can be merged with hexagonal that is allowed hexagonal 
can be merged with hexagonal that is allowed or hexagonal can be merged with pentagonal also that is also allowed hexagonal can be merged with pentagonal but what is not allowed my dear student what is being not allowed the thing which is not allowed that is pentagonal can't be merged with pentagonal pentagonal plus pentagonal that merging is not allowed am i right kids this is not allowed this is wrong just see to it in ncrt just see to it you are able to see now fullerene is aromatic or not just try to understand whether it is given in ncrt it is being it is being aromatic or not fullerene is aromatic or not just see fullerene is being aromatic or not then the answer is yes it is being aromatic it is being aromatic am i right kids it is being aromatic just see to it one line should be given over there it is being aromatic just check it out everyone in your ncrt just check it out this is being aromatic fullerene is being aromatic everyone just see to it everyone just see to it it is being aromatic it is being aromatic so these are the things you should know my dear students these are very very important points about this now I'm going to tell you one very very important thing and that thing is very tough and I will make that tough thing to be very easy just see to it and then good morning good morning good morning now see kids what is that thing if you know if you want to know that I'm having carbon I'm having silicon Carbon is forming CCl4 and silicon is forming SiCl4. If I add water to this, if I add water to this, at normal temperature there will be no reaction. No reaction at normal temperature. No reaction at room temperature. At room temperature there will be no reaction. But if I add water to this, why? At room temperature there is no reaction see this is negative and this is being positive but it is not having any vacant d orbital means no there is no low energy there is no low energy vacant orbital but if i say to this there is 3d Vacant orbital. So at room temperature reaction with water will take place. At room temperature reaction with water will take place. And it will form SiOH hold 4. And it will lose H plus. So it will form Si O negative. O negative. O negative, O negative, and this is known as silicate SI, SI, O4, 4 negative, one silicate unit. And the question will come from here only, my dear student. What type of question will come? Let me tell you. Let me tell you, kids. What type of question will be asked? Oh my God, once again, the space. How much? Now just see what type of question will come in the examination, my dear student. Silicates, type of silicates. Question will come based on types of silicates. Types of silicates. But before I move towards type of silicates, let me represent this silicate. I have represented like this SI. SI. 1 O, second O, third O, and the fourth O have represented like this. I've shown it like this. This can be represented like this also. Just see kids. The way of representation. This they are using like this. This is oxygen. And if they are saying this is silicon. 
So if they are writing like this, this is being silicon and this oxygen is having negative charge, this oxygen is having negative charge, this oxygen is having negative charge, then this oxygen is having negative charge. How many oxygens are there? Just see, try to understand this, this and this. These two things mean same. Either I say SiO4, 4 negative or I say like this or I say like this. Just try to understand then only you can find out what I am going to tell you kids. All they mean same. They are same. All three are being same. Now kids. If you are able to understand all the four oxygens are free. They are not shared. They are not shared. And this type of silicate is known as orthosilicate. Orthosilicates whose oxygen neither of the oxygen is being shared. Now if I draw. Pyrosilicate, just see if I draw pyrosilicate, how it will look like. See, kids, how it will look like the pyrosilicate. Then I will tell you what type of question they will ask. If I say pyrosilicate, if I draw pyrosilicate, pyro, pyrosilicate, then in case of pyrosilicates, one oxygen is shed. I will tell you the trick also. One oxygen, just five minutes gets one oxygen is shared. One oxygen is shared kits. Now how I will how I will draw it? I will draw it like this that this is being silicon, this is being oxygen negative, oxygen negative, oxygen negative, and this oxygen is shared, so no negative because this is being shared. This is being shared. So I can write it like this Si2O7123456 and how many negative? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 negative. This and this means same. Now I can draw it like this also. Just see it. I means the examiner can draw it like this also. Just see how the examiner will draw it. One oxygen is common, so he will draw it like this. See, just try to understand. At that time, I have told you, like, that's why I have told you this is O negative, 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 this is O negative. This is o negative. And this oxygen is being common. This oxygen is being common, so no negative. And two silicones, one silicone at this place, one silicone at this place. So let me draw the bonds. I will draw it like this one, two, three, one, two, three, like this. Just see. Are you able to understand? Three over here, the fourth one over here. This is the fourth one. They mean same. Either I say it like this or I say like this. So, examiner will ask in pyrosilicate how many oxygens are shared. Thus, only they will ask this. So, you will say one oxygen is shared. You are able to understand one oxygen is shared. Now, let me tell you the trick. Number of types of silicates are there. Let me tell you. Trick. Baba's trick. Just see Baba at your space trick. There is orthosilicate, orthosilicate, pyrosilicates, chain silicates. Cyclic silicates, sheet silicates, and in sheet there are two types 2D and 3D. 2D and 3D. These are the type of silicates. How many types of silicates we got? One, two, 
3, 4 and 5 like this. Okay. Now, question will come. Question will come. Last one minute. Question will come. How many oxygens are common? Number of, number of oxygens common. Number of oxygens common. Just remember Baba's trick. Baba's trick is, Baba's trick is, first of all, for this, the trick is O P C O P C S O P O P O P O P C both are C C S O P C S O P computer science. This is the trick O P C S. Now zero one two three four. This is the last one. Zero one two three. O P C S zero one two three. Kids, do let me know OPCS 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the trick. Thank you, kids. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your hard work. And kids, I have completed P block by telling you each and everything. OPCS 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Wow, Laharika, very good. OPCS, let me write down. Very good. OPCS, OPCS, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is being the trick. That's really fantastic. And Baba has completed his promise. Isn't it, kids? Baba has completed or not? In the starting, you must be thinking how much time it is going to take. But yeah, my dear friends, the patience, the hard work, the regularity. Now, kids, I think what to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I could say only this much thing. I can say only thank you, thank you, thank you for showing your patience. May Almighty God, Sai Krishna is there, and Sai Krishna. Um, I screwed up. I take my words back because you were chatting with Vardhan and I thought. So, hey, Sai Krishna, are you happy now? Do let me know. Are you happy? Say yes. Sai Krishna, say yes. And kids, Baba is the one who has told you each and everything in a decent way, in a decent way. Yeah, Sai Krishna, you are happy. Now, kids, take care. Whenever you get time, do revision. And I have told you the best tricks, best in-depth knowledge I have given to you. Bye to all of you. Good night. And really, this is the first day, and I think now it's the second day. The first day, first show, even the second day, also mine and yours. This New Year's day one and day two, you will remember for the whole life that 2024 year, Baba has taken the class. Now, kids, how much the likes? At least make it 500. Let me check it out. How much far away we are? 485. Can't you increase 15 likes? Okay, no problem. But kids, in the morning when you wake up, I want to see the comments. This is the first one, I think, who has taught inorganic chemistry on blank slides and each and everything, the whole 11th whole twelfth and that too in depth knowledge with tricks and each and everything. Thank you kids. This is all because of your support and you are watching it. It's 125, 25 past 1 of the
second day of new year good night god bless you love you kids love you thank you thank you thanks a lot kids and tomorrow tomorrow at 10 am whatever the doubts you are feeling for p block i will take the classes and uh, this is free class for each and everyone open free class at your an academy platform that is uh, you know where it's free session so open for each and everyone okay so you can join that class and tell everyone good night kids good night and try to share it to maximum people whether you are in lucknow you are in kerala you are in tamil nadu you are in haryana bhubaneswar maharashtra whatever the place you are everyone you have to share it walikum salam assalam walikum jo bole so nihal satsrikal dhanyawad alum satsrikal good morning greetings good night whatever you want to say you can say welcome welcome all the best It's Hold 
Okay, okay. Now just see. Now just check kids. Now check. Voice is clear. Now just check kids. Now just check. The voice is clear, kids. Now do let me know. Is the voice clarity is there, kids? The voice clarity is there. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay. Now the price, there is huge discount. Huge discount. Huge discount is there, my dear students. Apply code. HSP10 and tell your relatives, tell your friends, classmates, because this batch is going to start from today only, that is being 2nd Jan. We have started this class on 1st Jan and now it's 2nd Jan because it is morning kids. Now, Wasim sir must have told you what is the price of this batch? Do let me know in the chat section. Yes, my dear students, you know very well that on the occasion of New Year, yes, 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 yes. Now, my dear students, just see to it. My dear students, this is the best team if you see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six people, the best teachers, best teachers in the world. Not only India's best teachers, I'm telling you, the best teachers of the world. Pankri, ma'am, you know, fantastic teacher of biology, the best. Ambika, ma'am, you know, fantastic teacher, super awesome teacher of bio. And Vasim sir, though, you know, and HSP sir, you know, Kalas sir, and Yavo sir, you know, the best teachers of physics. You are not going to get teachers like this. Two bio teachers, two chemistry teachers, two physics teachers, perfect set. Wow, 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 kids. So, Laharika is saying Ambika 10, Vasim sir 10. No one is writing HSP 10. Kids, HSP 10 is also there. Yeah, six legends in one frame. It's octahedral geometry. Here you are saying legends, I will say ligands. That metal is bonded with six ligands giving out square bipyramidal geometry, octahedral geometry. So, Tell everyone, kids. Okay? So, this is the best, the best, the best, the best batch, neat end game, the ultimate crash course, which is going to get started 
from today only that was doing 2nd of January. So, my dear students, yeah, world's exceptional teacher, the best teachers. Bye to all of you. Good night. We'll meet you. What to say tomorrow or today? Right, kids? Bye. Bye, kids. Bye to all of you. Bye, kids. Bye-bye.